Ken, lad. Morning, Alec. A little job for you this evening. You are free, I trust. I'm afraid so, yes. No one else seems to have any use for me. This is uh, escort work, I take it. Yeah, so, um, for my squiring tonight. Uh, well, uh, it's a Mrs. Turnbull. Mrs.? Oh, what if she is? There's nothing wrong with that. It's all open and above board. Well, this lady wants an escort to take her to a concert in Manchester. It's one of them classic little dudes, you know. It's, it's no vocals or all like that. Oh, well, that should be very pleasant. There you are, you see, Ken. That's exactly why I need you on my books. Because apart from yourself, there's not one of my escorts would willingly go near a bit of culture. I need the money. Oh, good. Well, pop into the Rovers this evening, early doors. I'll have all the info for you then. Mrs Battersby, is it? What do you want? Can we come in? We haven't done nothing. What's it all about? It'll save a lot of attention from your neighbours if we come inside, you know. Yeah, all right. Come in, then. Nothing's going to get done, you know. I'm going to have to sort this Battersby out by myself. Oh, forget it, Des. Nobody's got hurt. No, not yet. Typical. Flaming typical. Any trouble round here and he come picking on me. It's victimisation, is this? Mr Batters. I'm going to see my MP about this. Janice! Who's that MP? How the hell should I know? There's been a complaint and it's our job to look into it. Look, I've told you once, now I'm telling you twice. I didn't throw no brick through nobody's window. And anybody who says I did is a liar. Can you tell us where you were last night, between ten o'clock and midnight? Sat right there in that chair watching the television. The wife will bear me out. You'll swear to that, won't you, love? Yeah. I see. Well, for the time being, we'll leave it there. Yeah, I think you'd better. I know my rights. And let's hope there's no more aggro, right? Don't tell me. Tell that idiot Barnes over the road. He's a nutter. Come on, Tom. I'll see you out. The flaming nerve that Barnes has, putting the police onto me. Oh, I'm going to sort him out. Oh, yes. And in this case, it'll be a pleasure. You will, Ella's lark. You go anywhere near that Des Barnes and I'll swing for you. You what? Whose side are you on anyway? My side. And the kid's side, not yours. So you stay well away from that Des Barnes and no more bricks through his windows. It wasn't me. Oh, come off it. I know you. And you weren't sat in front of that telly all night, neither. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Oh, I am so sick of you. I'm sick of you rowing with neighbours. I'm sick of sticking up for you. I'm sick of lying for you. I am sick of being moved from one house after another. Janice, I swear to you. You get us chucked out of here. And I am telling you, the day we have to leave, you will be carried out. Right. I'm going to work. You think I've not got a decent suit. That's it, isn't it? Pardon? Yeah, well, I have. You've not seen it, of course, because it's upstairs in the wardrobe. It's a cracker, Alec. I got it when I was on holiday in Vegas. What are you wittering on about, Jack? I don't care what you wear. You could wear a kilt and a lady's blouse for all I care. Barlow's not the only one with decent suits, that's all I'm saying. Oh, now, don't start that again. Oh, come on, I can escort women ten times better than Barlow. Go, go on, give us a try, Alec. Look, you're a married man, Jack. It's not right. Oh, Vera's no need to know. Anyway, it's nothing to do with suits. It's you. You're not escort material. I am. I'm good with women. I've got all the chat. Better than Barlow. And I'm, and I'm, I'm fit and everything's in working order. Now, see, Jack, you've got the wrong idea of my business. Golden Years is a highly respected escort agency. <laughs> of course it is. It is. And stop that winking. I do not supply I fancy men. All right, all right. But I'm discreet. I mean, after 40 years without Vera, I know when I keep me trapped shut, don't I? But come on, honest, Alec. I'm better than Barlow. Look, now, see, I use Ken Barlow for highly specialised jobs involving respectable, educated women, taking them to concerts and operas and things. I mean, you couldn't do that. I could. You are you. Operas gave over, you know, no doubt about it. I do. All these operas have different names, don't they? But they all have the same plot. Gave over. No, 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 it's right, this, because I got it from an expert, you see. The tenor always wants to give the soprano a good seeing to, but the baritone keeps stopping it. Jack, I would not use you for escort work if you were the last man left alive in Weatherfield. 
If I were the last man left alive in Weatherfield, Alec, you wouldn't be able to afford me. Great, you shouldn't have followed me. I wanted to be with you, that's all. And what's wrong with that? You're a free woman. Why do we have to keep it a secret? Because we just do. It's best that way. Well, uh, can I still come round tonight? Yes, please. But look, make it about nine o'clock. Because I want to get the girls to bed. They talk to Kevin, you know, and I don't want them telling him that you're round at our house most nights. I feel like telling him myself. Don't, Chris, please. Well, he's got to know sometime. Yeah, well, not yet. Please. Yeah, the girls are fine. Going on about me again, was she? No. Oh, makes a change. Come on, we'll lock up, eh? Grab a pint. Hello, Rover's return. Yes, this is the boss speaking. Oh? Alec Gilroy? No, he's only part boss. <laughs> well, let's get it right, love. Oh, that pardon? Vera, is, is that for me? A pansy wants to speak to you. Hello. Oh, oh, pansy. Is that you? My word, my word. It's lovely. You no, know, well, I've been out of Southampton for a while now. <laughs> well, yes, and now you've caught up with me, we must. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> no, she hasn't. What, not Daisy? Uh, well, no, look, no, you see, none of us are now, are we? Sorry. Poor old Daisy. You see, we're, we come up and then we're cut down like a flower. You're what, three o'clock? Well, today, you mean? Uh, oh, well, no, 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 love. I'll be there. I'll be there. In fact, I'm leaving right now. All, all right, love. Look, I'll see you later. Yes, all right. But, yeah, bye, love. Hey, dear. Some bad news, Alec? Yeah, it's one of my old clients has just died. That was her sister. Yeah, there were three of them, the Blossom sisters, Daisy, Pansy and Marigold. Yeah. I don't know them, I don't know. Oh, well, they were like an early version of the Beverly sisters, you know. Who were the Beverly sisters? Do you know, it's like talking to Martians, talking to your generation. Anyway, call me old-fashioned, but I'm going to the funeral. Oh, that's very nice of you. Well, well, she had some nice bits and pieces, did Daisy. She might have left me a little memento. You're all art, you. Uh, Vera, Vera, love. I'm what? going to a funeral in Blackburn now. Uh, just expect me when you see me, will you, love? Oh, uh, listen. Ken Barlow's coming in this evening. Mm -hmm. Now, will you make sure he gets this? Right. Uh, thanks. It's three o'clock. I'm going to have to get my skates on. Oh, Alec! It's... What's up, love? Oh. Alec's just given me this envelope to give to Ken Barlow tonight. It's my night off. Oh, I'll see to it for you, love. Oh, thank you, Jack. You, Bob? Yourself? Oh, it wasn't bad, you know, usual lunchtime session in the Rovers. Battersby didn't show his face. Good. I see the glass bloke's turned up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I paid him, left the receipt on the side. I'll get it. Yes? Is it all right if I come in? What do you want? Well, I just wondered if I could have a few words, if you don't mind, you know. Please, if I could just talk to you. OK. Come in. It's Janice. Hiya. Yeah. Well, I think you probably know why I'm here. It's about you getting police onto our lairs. He smashed my car window. 
Then he held a brick through that window. What do you want me to do? Sit around and wait for his next trick? No. You see, I really like it here. You know, in the house that we're in. Well, I don't want any more trouble. Well, that's not up to me, is it? You don't want trouble speak to that husband of yours. I have. He swore it weren't him. Do me a favour, Janice. No, he likes you, Des. I mean, you've not been snotty with us, have you, like some folk? He's got no reason. He's got plenty of reason now, hasn't he? She's here, Sam. Des. What do you mean? I marked his card for him. Told him to lay off Pester and Sam in the pub. Oh, it was nothing I couldn't handle myself. Yeah, well, maybe. But I'm not standing for it. Making suggestions, dirty remarks. Wes. To you. Is it true? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, hello. Who got you ready? Oh, do you like it, Betsy? Mm. We got it in Las Vegas. Don't we? Mm. Right, I'm off. Don't wait up for me. You've got yourself shaving? Yes, I know. I am to be there. It was me that did the bleeding. I felt the pain. Look, I'm only saying, cos you had a shave this morning, what have you had another shave for? Ah, well, yeah, that's image theatre, you see, because... Folk in the licensing trade, they're always looking at you for signs that the ale's getting to you. So. Oh, give over. You're only going on a booze. So go on, get yourself off before I cancel your leave pass. <laughs> and don't be coming back with sick on your suit. Nice. I don't know, Betsy. It used to be women used to worry about. But it's past it now. See? Oh. Mm. Oh, here, yourself out. Uh, aye, aye. Yeah, my aye. word, my word. Some special occasion, is it? No, 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 no. Just out, you know. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Give me a beer. Um, what's Alec about? No, he won't be in tonight. He's gone to a funeral in Blackburn. Oh! Well, then I expect he's left something for me. Such as? An envelope, probably. No, sorry. Are you having a drink or what? <laughs> uh, no. No, thanks, Vera. I'd, uh, I'd better get home. I'm uh, expecting a phone call. Right. Hiya. What's the tea? Funny. I can't smell anything. Can you? Well, I can. I can smell a rat. You what? Where have you been? And who we? I've been in the pub, that's all. No, you haven't, cos I looked for you. Not in the Rovers, I was in the flying horse. Yeah, with some woman, I bet. What are you on about? I know why you and that Des Barnes fell out. You've been sniffing round his girlfriend. Yes, you have. He told me. I love him for libel. Honest, Janice. And she told me and all. You lying, oh. Randy Sod. You can't keep one woman happy. Never mind boy maids on side. On my mother's grave, Janice. Oh, you what? Your mother's grave? She's probably in that bingo hall she goes to in Rochdale. I don't mean she's dead. I swear on what I hold most dear to me. You and her don't even speak. Don't give me any of your flannel, Les. You've been after that boy maid. I didn't want to tell you. It's her. She keeps coming on to me. You lying toad. Waiting for me. Barlow's the name, Ken Barlow, and you will be uh, Mrs. Turnbull if I'm any judge. Come on, let's go. You who? It's me, lad. Sit down, lad, I'll not bite you. Let's have a drink. Enrico. A large gym for me, and uh, what's your pleasure? Uh, your pleasure when it comes to drink. Quite a bit, 
pie. Yeah, you've got guts, I'll say that. Ordering a pint in here? Good for you. So, anyway, you're the Golden Years culture champion, I believe. Know all about theatre and music and so forth. I, well, I, I feel a bit of an imposter now, you see, because my boss at Golden Years, I, I told him that I know all about culture and that, but I, but I don't, really. Um, so I think I'll be wasting your time. No, sit down, lad. I'll be the judge of whether you're wasting your time. Or your own, come to that. <laughs> Hey, you can't keep Hi. away, you, even on your night out. Now she's getting withdrawal symptoms, Vera. Give us a pint, please. Sam? A uh, glass of white wine, please. Right, then. I'll get them. It is. So, uh, what's the story? What are the police doing? In a word, nothing. Ta, Enrico. They look after me here. Well, so they should do. I've been coming here years. I'll tell you something now. I had my honeymoon in this hotel. Oh. You are in this hotel? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, by hell, she's going back a bit. You're thinking, I bet it were all fields round here in them days. Go on. You are, aren't you? No, I reckon it's like, no. Well, never mind. Because you can still get a good plinkety plonk out of an old banjo if the fella who's playing knows his stuff. <laughs> and I can see you've served your time. Well, over the years, I've been through a fair amount of time. You see, Ken, you don't mind me calling you Ken, do you? No, not at all. I can talk to you, and I know why. You put me in mind of Jack. What? My husband, bless him. You'd know him, I bet. Black Jack Turnbull, they called him, because of the licorice and the treacle. You know, Turnbull's toffee torpedoes. Oh, heck yeah, I have had many a bag full, I. He used to call me that. His little bag full. <laughs> Made a fortune out of them torpedoes. Now he's gone. It's not the same, Ken. Spending money on your own. You want company. Bit of fun. I think we'd better be going to a concert, then. I'll blow the concert. Oh, now, come on, now. you bought the tickets, haven't you? It's only money. Yeah, but I was looking forward to listening to that bit of music, you know. Well, Andal's water music. Yes, and I, I particularly wanted to hear that bit. Oh, well, that's OK. I've got the CD. It's in my room. Well, I say room. It's a suite. In fact, between us, it's the bridal suite. I always book it when I come here. Oh, brings back some memories, that sweet. I remember Jack. Oh, he was a strong fella. Carried me over the threshold. Are you strong? Not that strong. <laughs> You're a little belter. <laughs> give up, people are looking. Oh, let them. I can buy and sell this lot. Now, this escort agency, I expect they give you a bit of leeway. How do you mean? You know, make your own arrangements for extras. Oh, no, no, no. My, my boss won't have nothing to do with that like that, no. Oh, don't kid me. Now, oh, Jack had a saying he used to say to people, you'll be right with me and I'll be right with you. <laughs> Ever been in a jacuzzi? No, I've never had a Japanese car. <laughs> You're a bobby dazzler. <laughs> Help me up, lad. Let's get going. <laughs> right, if you say going, that you're going to the concert. I mean the bridal suite. Oh, over, the management won't let me go up there. The money I spend in here, they'd not grumble if we were to use this here sofa. Come on. Right, it's my round. No, it's not. It's my round. I can get the own, thanks very much. All right, all right. I'm not going to argue. Don't you just love these liberated women? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still say we can go in the flying horse. No. This is our local. We've as much right to be here as they have. But don't start anything. Pint of bitter, Natalie. And a light ale, please. Janice, leave it. I've something to say to you, lady. Leave my husband alone. I beg your pardon? You heard. He's spoken for. So keep your mucky paws off him. 
don't believe this. Hey, hang on. Has he been telling you that Samantha give him the come on? Come on, I don't need this conversation. Let's go. No, no, you work here. Hang on. Got to put this lot right sooner or later. I say do it now. Oh, come off it. We all know about barmaids. Hey, what about barmaids? We all know why you do it for a living. Uh, excuse me. Oi, oi. Do what? What you getting at? Women work in pubs for one reason and one reason only. They like serving men. We all know barmaids are easy. Ah, you're talking a lot of tommy rot, and I thank you not to come out with any more of it. I am a barmaid, and I am a decent woman. Mm-hmm. Well, don't just stand there, say something. How come it's only me that's sticking up for us? How long are you going to be in the bathroom, Ken? I'm talking to you. This doesn't seem right, you know. I'm supposed to be listening to Handel's water music. There's other kinds of water music than Handel's. Yes, I know, and, and, and it's wrong, because I'm supposed to be an escort. What's a flaming plastic bath toy? Ken. Ken, lad. Ken. What? I've twigged about you. You're a bit deaf. Uh, I don't mind. Nobody's perfect. Ah, so I've noticed. All I want you to do is get in that jacuzzi. But I've had a bath this morning. Not like this. My husband used to swear by it. Said it made him feel like a new man. And that's what I feel like. Go on, Ken, lad. I'll see you right. The bubbles get everywhere. (laughs) Tell you what. Talking about bubbles, I know what'll get you in the mood. Room service, a bottle of champagne for Mrs Turnbull Sweet. The best, and two glasses. Oh aye, and blindfold the waiter. (laughs) I'd say blind... Ken? Ken, lad. Ken? No. I don't think much of this new bread you've got here, Vera. It's, it's got little hard bits in it that stick in your teeth, you know, like, like budgie feed. It's all grain, you hey, pie, hey. Cam. It's good for you, it keeps you regular. So last night we're a wash out, then we're out. What? What are you doing now about grumble since you come home? You usually come back from them stag doos full of the joys. No, all they did was moan and groan about their aches and flipping pains, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you know better next time. It'll be a flaming next time. Ah! Good morning, all. Oh, any breakfast going, perchance? Don't you have breakfast at your place? Oh, I couldn't touch a morsel first thing, Vera. Funerals lie heavy on me. Good turnout, were it? Oh, marvellous. All the old troopers were there, you know. Brought back some memories, I can tell you. Yeah. Oh, uh, just, uh, just a couple of fried eggs will do. But if you, if you fancy throwing a slice of bacon in the pan and the odd mushroom, you know, well... I don't want to come over faint, you know, and not do me whack. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Hello, Gilroy. Well, yes, it is. Ah, m- Mrs. D- well, well, I can't, I can't understand that, uh, uh, m- Mrs. Turnbull. No, I mean, he's, he's one of my most uh, reliable of... Well, I mean, maybe maybe he was um, he was too badly. Uh, well, I'll look into it forthwith. Yes, you, uh, you have my word on that. Oh, I'm so thrilled you could both make it. Oh, it's a pity Robbie couldn't get time off work. Mm, they're mad busy, but he sends his love. Oh. Tracy stopped at my place overnight, then we travelled up together. It's been a real treat <laughs> for me. Bye. Heck, 
This looks like somewhat out of ideal homes. I know, I keep pinching myself. So, where is he then? John, he's away on a business trip, but he'll be back in time for the party. So, what's he like? Have you got any photos? Let your gran get a coat off first, and I'm sure she's dying for a cup of tea, even if you're not. What I'm dying for is a wee. Right. Well, there's one down here, and there's two more upstairs. A choice of loos. Now, that's what I call bosh. <laughs> so, will me dad be coming? Well, he's uh, been invited, but whether he'll come or not is another matter. Oh, you've not fell out again. No, of course not. So why wouldn't he come? Oh, don't tell me. He's not jealous, is he? <sighs> ah, finally. I've been knocking all morning. You've got some serious explaining to do, sir. Boots on the other foot. Last night was a total waste of my time. Yes, but even so, you could have made some excuse. I thought better of you. An excuse? To whom? To Mrs Turnbull. I know she might be a handful, but there's no reason to walk out on her. Oh, hang on, I must have got our wires crossed here. I never met Mrs Turnbull, let alone walk out on her. You left no word in the Rovers, so I sat at home all night like a dummy waiting for you to get in touch. But I left instructions in an envelope with Samantha. Did she not give it to you? Samantha wasn't there. It was a night off. <laughs> right, I'm off, love. Right. Do you want me to bring you the cream cake back? You know, if I call it rice for a coffee. Oh, just do it. Don't ask. That way I can't feel guilty. <laughs> See ya. Oh, hello. Uh, now then, I realise this lot are feckless, but I thought I could rely on you, Samantha. Oh, what am I supposed to have done now? Well, it's more what you've not done. Did I or did I not give you an important envelope to give to Kenneth Barlow yesterday? You did. Only after you dashed off, I remembered it was my night off. So I left it with Jack. With Jack? Good night, was it, last night, Jack? With the boys? Oh, heavy. Ah. Uh, you don't know the meaning of the word truth, do you? Not with you, mate. Oh, like you weren't with Mrs Turnbull last night, I suppose, either. Mm, you've got me lost now. Ah. Well, then we'll just hang on, shall we, till Vera <coughs> gets back. Maybe she'll be able to help us unravel this little Agatha Christie plot. The mystery of the missing escort. I... You mean last night? Uh, Let me tell you what happened. I'm all ears. See, you see, I just wanted to prove to you that I could handle the doings, you know. But you're flaming couldn't, could you? Handle the doings. It was her I couldn't handle and no man couldn't live to tell the tale. And Ken Barlow, if he but knew it, he owes me a big favour. Oh, that's a favour. Swindle him out of his night's fee, that's a favour, is it? It is, it is. I compared to what he'd have got if it had turned up to you, I'm on flaming toast. You are a pathetic little worm, Duckworth. You lie to your wife. I assume Vera didn't know you were taking out another woman. Come on, Alec, do me a favour. Oh, you lie to your wife, you lie to Samantha, and you lie to Mrs Turnbull. I never. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you are not Kenneth Barlow, Esquire. Oh, so you lie to Mrs Turnbull and you lie to me. And then you have the nerve to wonder why I don't trust you. Thanks, Rita. That'll be a big help. Oh, don't thank me. If we go together, we can be catty about her colour scheme, aren't we, Oh, I'm just glad of an excuse to get dressed up. Can't remember the last time I went to a party. Ah, hello, love. Do you want to lift to Deirdre's do? There's room. Oh, I haven't been invited. Unless someone wants to take pity on poor little Cinder's in. Uh, well, excuse me a minute. That's the trouble when you're on your own. Hello, Don't Karen. do that. Do what? Drop broad hints about coming. They won't mind you turning up with a friend. No, but I will. Oh, embarrass you, would it? Turning up with the hired hand. Thank you. Is that an apology I hear? I'm sorry, Samantha might be nice. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, all right, I, I'm, I'm sorry. But if you told me you weren't going to be here, you could have saved me a load of grief. Still my fault. What is? Some cock-up between him and Jack that I got in the middle of. But don't ask me what. Any news from the police? Well, I've been thinking about that, and uh, the best plan's just to let it go. Really? 
Well, if I brewed, it could fester inside me and come out in all sorts of horrible psychosomatic problems, you know, hair loss, boils. Now, whereas if I just let it all slide off me, the one who gets aggravated is Battersby. I wouldn't have thought turning the other cheek was your style. It'd be worth it if it drives him mad. You know, it's about time she had a bit of luck. What is it with Deirdre that brings out the soft spot in you? Because she's the only one that does. <laughs> you know, you're beautiful when you're jealous. And you're horrible when you're winding me up. <laughs> Thought you were out. Did you? And you thought you'd just sneak off without staying here and saying goodbye to me like a man, is that it? Oh, spare me the lecture, then. Well, it looks like a proper clear out. Well, there's one or two bits of pieces left, you know, you can give them to a charity shop or the bin men, whatever. How's the new flat? Uh, like you give us stuff. <laughs> Am I not allowed to show an interest? Not if it's hypocritical, no. Stephen, if there's one person in this household should have a chip on his shoulder, then it's me. You know, the worst thing is, is that it could have worked out. I could think of worse futures. But you had to have a crack at Fiona and mess everything up, didn't you? Not just between me and you. Between you and Mum, Andy, the lot. So don't crack on as if you're the victim. Because it wasn't me that smashed it all apart. Yeah. Have you seen the new house yet? Oh yes, I dropped my gran off. It's fabulous. Their lounge is bigger than our entire flat. Ooh. Well, you can give me the guided tour tonight. Oh, are you coming? <laughs> Try and stop me. <laughs> Mine is my pinny and my rubber gloves. I scrub up quite well. And what do you think of John? Oh, I've not met him yet, but he looks dead dishy from his photos, especially in his uniform. You know he was a pilot. Anyway, you come early and then I'll be able to show you around before the rush. I'm giving it a miss. My mum said that you might be awkward. Did she? But why? We hardly ever all get to see each other, and it's not like you two just split up or something. You're staying at my place, you'll see plenty of me. So, what's it like living in London? And how's Robert? I gather they're keeping him busy these days. Look, Dad, I know you've not had an easy time of it lately, but with Denise and David, and then the job. But don't let that stop you from wishing my mum a happy life. Tracy, it's not like that, honestly. Then stop fobbing me off and tell me why you won't go. Because uh, I'm not into parties these days. The trouble is, your poor old dad's getting past it. Can I take two? Oh, take as many as you like. Nobody's guaranteed. Hey, it's a right little mansion you've got here, isn't it? My wife keeps dropping his knots of subtle hints that if we had a house instead of a flat, I'd have an office and I could work from home. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. <laughs> well, as we landed, even I breathed a sigh of relief. Have you ever been to Madeira? Well, their runway's almost as hairy as Hong Kong. Well, of course, they've built a new airport now, but uh, that was... Oh, I've given up since then. Oh, but you miss flying. Mm. Oh, yeah. It gets in your blood. But still, things change. I can't complain. You pick yourself a winner there, love. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, well, you nosy away to your heart's content. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tracy, um, will you give Gail a drink and show her around? Tracy's appointed herself official tour guide. Well, there's wines and there's spirits. Oh, and there's uh, a lovely punch that John's made with real champagne. Oh, thank you. <laughs> stunning house, isn't it? Stunning man to match. Makes stunning cocktails as well. What more could a girl want? Say, this seems to have lost some of her usual bounds. Mind you, she's not the only one. You haven't said a word since we got here. It's just the first do I've been to, not as a part of a couple. It just takes some getting used to. Well, there's one out to the tea I'm glad to see. No spectre in the feast. Don't stop. Has he been invited, you know? Who's that? Oh, 
Wow, Phil, wake up. He's doing this all the time. Ken, Mike was just remarking he's not here. Oh, is he not? Well, the answer's obvious. He couldn't carry all the sour grapes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, Deirdre, can I use your phone? It's only a local call. Of course you can, love. You've no need to ask. Use the one in the kitchen if it's private. Great, thanks. There we go. OK, Liz. look a bit lost. Oh, a bit of a headache. I'll get you an aspirin. Can't have you of all people not in party spirit. Well, after all, it's thanks to you that Deirdre and I met. <laughs> You know Sally's going to Deirdre's do? What about her? Well, how do you feel about her going to parties on her own? It's a housewoman, not a flaming orgy. Well, say if she did meet someone, would it bother you? No, I'd be happy. Look, I don't want to see her sat in the house being miserable, do I? What is this, anyway? Just curious. Rover's return. Oh? Yes, he is. Uh, just a minute. Chris, phone for you. It's a young lady. I didn't see who she was. Cheers, Vic. Hello? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Where? Okay. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, bye. Hey, Rita, I'm off. Oh, no, hang on a minute, love. I'll run you no, it's all right. Deirdre's told me about a direct bus route, so you stay and enjoy yourself. Hey, if there's any gossip, tell me about it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you. Ta -da, love. <laughs> oh, it's a oh, shame she has to go, so. isn't it? Oh, Sal, I'm so pleased you came. I know how hard it must be for you. Well, it's not as if I was amongst strangers. No, I know, but it's still an effort starting all over again, isn't it? But it does get better. <laughs> well, it did for you. Yes, and it will for you too. Oh, no. Hey, and thank you for that plant. It's lovely. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye, love. Ken. Oh, hi, Sally. Hi. You made it. Only for your sake, I'm Tracy. Don't spoil it. It's all right, I know when to keep my mouth shut. But I still think you're mad. Oh, Dad, I knew you'd come. He loves to get me going, this one. Hey, it's brilliant. Come on, I'll show you around. Well, how about showing me a big drink first? Some pad, eh? Yeah. Beats the hell on the number one Coronation Street. <laughs> oh, don't be nasty. Ken's house is very cosy in its own little way. Yes, and our flat isn't exactly Buckingham Palace. Isn't it funny, eh, how one relationship ends and another one starts? Whose has ended? Poor Sally and Kevin's. They split up. Didn't Deirdre tell you? The Websters? I thought them two were rock solid. You amaze me. What happened? Another woman happened. What else? Even so. Little Kevin, eh? It just shows you, you can't take nothing for granted. You look like you're wishing somewhere else. I didn't think it showed. Don't worry, I'm not exactly in the party mood myself. I am trying to be pleased for that, truly I am. Plain old jealousy, sickening or what? Human. Same boat? Only in that uh, I don't want to be here either. Quiet please, can I have a bit of hush? Hush? No, thank you. Um, well, firstly I'd like to uh, well, I'd like to thank all our guests for making the effort to come here tonight. From as far afield as uh, down south, uh, Wolverhampton, and uh, even from uh, that haunt of the rich and famous Weatherfield Keys. And of course, all our old pals from Coronation Street. Um, tonight is a, uh, is a double celebration, as you know, for our new home and our engagement. Um, what you don't know is that, uh, in fact, there is something else to celebrate. You're not. Don't be daft, Mum. So, could you please all put a note in your diaries? January the 29th. It's our wedding day. Oh, oh. oh. Congratulations. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oh. oh, damn, I'm sorry. Oh, oh new carpet. Oh, oh damn. No, it, it's all right, Liz. Don't worry. It'll clean up. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'll get a cloth. Chris. Hiya. I'm sorry I'm going to hit the 
bus took ages. It's miles out. I should have stayed. Oh, I'd have enough. Besides, I want to see you. Did you? There's things we need to talk about. Why is it when people say, uh, we need to talk, it's always something unpleasant? <laughs> it's not, it's just... I do like being with you, Chris. But, there's a, there's a but coming here. You're pushing things too fast. Well, because I suggested we go to a party together. No, not just that. You keep making assumptions. Such as? It's not as though, you know, I suggested we move in together. Would that be such a bad idea? You see, there you go again. Rushing on, making plans. I'm not ready for anything like that yet. Oh, no. Hello. Hi. You know Rachel, don't you? This is Sally. This is Chris. Mm, I've seen you in the Rovers. <laughs> Everyone's seen him in the Rovers, haven't they? <laughs> so, um, what can I get you to drink? Um, no, we're fine, thanks. Oh, come on, he can't say no to a drink. I'm celebrating. He's just moved into his new flat. He's like a kid with a new toy. Well, it's some toy, isn't it? Mm. You'll have to come round and have a look. Thanks. Mm, nice to meet you. Come on, I'm starving. Let's find a menu. That's all I need. <laughs> Don't worry. But supposing... Supposing what? Supposing they go back to the street and tell everyone, well, guess who we saw having a drink together? So what, Sally? So what? You do realise that I shall be deducting the money I'll have to refund Mrs Turnbull from the till? Get knotted. Yeah. Do you know what's going on with Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Been looking daggers all day. I've got no idea, Vera. Elizabeth, join me for a drink to the end of an era. No, thanks. Yeah, have you been to Deirdre's house? Oh, they say her bedroom's like an Hollywood set. <laughs> it is, Vera, yeah. Complete with white fur rugs and sunken jacuzzi and middle of the floor of the lot. Oh, yeah, go on. on. I'll have that drink with you, why not? Is it Kevin you're worried about? Because you need us. You'll be glad you found someone else. How do you know? Because he told me. He said he wanted you to be happy, you know, not miserable on your own. That's big of him. Look, all I'm saying is I don't see why we can't go public like this. Have you forgotten about the girls? I think it'd be better for the girls. You know, no more lying, no more me sneaking out the house in the middle of the night. That's what you're bothered about. No. I love the girls, you know I do. It's just... Well, I hate having to lie to her. Chris, if we split up in the next few weeks... They're gonna get hurt all over again. But we won't. Kevin and I used to say that. So what are you saying? You're saying that, you know, you'll never be able to commit yourself again, just in case it might go wrong? I don't want commitment, Chris. That's the whole point. When we got together, all I wanted was someone to remind me that I could still laugh. Someone to hold me. Make me feel like a person again, and you did that. Just a... Just a pal to get you through the sticky bits. I never saw it as a long-term relationship. I mean, be honest, did you? I don't know. I mean, given time, yeah? We even see that differently. It's only because you hung up about your marriage. You know, just let it go. Get a life. Why does it have to be so heavy? Why can't we just carry on the way we are? Because I'm fed up of you looking over your shoulder whenever we're out together. You know, checking if anyone's seen us, like tonight. I'm proud of being with you, Sally. I don't care what anyone else thinks. And if you felt the same way, then you wouldn't either. Bill, please. It was a grand evening, love. And I've got a wedding to look forward to. Your friend Liz. She didn't seem too happy with herself. No, well, she's, uh, she's had a few personal problems lately. And Ken wasn't exactly the life and soul of the party. Ah, well, things haven't been too good for him either. Is that all it is, Deirdre? Yes, Mum. Look, why, why don't you go upstairs? 
Me and John can finish this lot off. Well, if you're sure. It has been a long day. Me bossy daughter is shooing me off upstairs. Well, quite right, you've done enough. See you in the morning, Blanche. Sleep well. You're happy. Why didn't you tell me? What? That you fixed the wedding date. <laughs> I wanted it to be a surprise. People usually arrange things like that together. Oh, sweetheart, I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Oh, it, it's just the way you do things. Everything's speeded up. You get a job. Next minute, you get promoted. Next minute, we're buying a big flash house. Next minute, you've set the wedding date. It's like being on some mad roller coaster. Just when I'm coming down one slope and I feel as if I'm getting my breath back, off we zoom up another. <laughs> You're complaining. Well, no, but... Good. Hey, you must be shattered. Let's do this stuff tomorrow. Come on, let's go to bed. No, Des, come down now. Something's happened. What? The kitchen window. Oh, not another brick. No. Oh, this is getting really, really nasty, isn't it? Right, I've had it. Des, what are you going to do? Just watch me. There you go. Uh, come on, give us a lift here, son. And do us a favour. Let's just talk about the wonderful weather we're having, shall we? All oh, right, well, you see why I'm looking for a mate now, haven't you? You still not got a lot on? Oh, tell you the truth, Gary, I think I'm finished. Washed up. Stephen's pulled out and gone now as well. You kidding? No, he came around the other night, took the rest of his stuff, so that's it. So that's it then? Mm-hmm. That's the end of MacDonald family life, such as we know it, such as it ever was, that is, you know. There's only me left now to fight with myself. Um, what are you up to this afternoon? Why? Well, we're having our baby Katie christened and then a bit of a celebration back at our house, so why don't you pop in for a drink? Yeah, I'd like that. That sounds good. Uh, we'll wet the baby's head. No problem. What time? Well, any time. After half past two. Mm. Well, I'll be there, Gary. Don't you worry. We'll have a proper chat then, eh? Aye, certainly. Good man, Gary, all right? <laughs> I'll see you there. See you later. Just come to start out this afternoon. Where are you? Hi. Hey? About me going to Judy and Gary's. Oh, yeah, right. Don't tell me you've forgotten about it. No. It's just you seem to be going to a lot of parties lately, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's fine. No, it's not fine, actually, Kevin, going anywhere on my own. But it's something I have to force myself to do if I still want to have some kind of life. Yeah, OK. So don't throw that one at me. I'm just saying, if it's a christening, why can't you take the kids with you, that's all? Because Gail and I agreed we shouldn't, all right? Yeah, fine. I'll bring them round about three o'clock. And I'll pick him up again about five. Right. You know me and Chris are working. It's two hours, that's all. I'm just telling you. And I'm just telling you. You look after them this time, not her. Don't worry about me, Sally. I'll be too busy pulling pints. I'll take them out in the back of the pickup with me, OK? Fine. I'll tell them that. Why did you pretend you'd forgotten? I think you actually prefer it when she's angry with you, don't you? I mean, have you heard this? That's been going on for half the night. And it's been going on since 8 o'clock this morning at full tilt. Lively lasses, eh? Lively lasses? They must be deafer than my old granny. And I'll tell you something else. If he knocks me again, well, I'm going straight to the police and that'll sort him out, eh? Hiya. Can you hear that? Hey. The noise! Oh, is he noisy? Noisy? I want a word with your husband. Des, look, don't do this. 
You don't know it was him. Sam. Shut it up! We are going down like this when I flex. He let me know if my flow be sex. Toya, I said turn it off now. Gina. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. They just don't think, do they? Youth, isn't it? World of their own. Right then. You just say like. Any time, love. We get used to it, you see. Yeah, and we don't want to cause a nuisance. Do we not, Les? No, no, not if we can help it, no. All right, well, thanks very much. You're very, very well. Here, you. You got sick of bricks, did you? Hey. Yeah, don't come the innocent with me, mate. Oh, what you honoured him now for? He knows exactly what, so don't you try and protect him again. Oh, that enough hey, hang on, hang on, Des, Des, what is the matter? My kitchen window covered in spray paint by somebody who can't even write his own name. What do you mean, you, he can write his name? And I'm sick of it being dragged yeah. through the mud by you, yeah. pug face. So get out of my house yeah. right now! Well, come outside with me, cos you're paying for this, mate. Hang on! What's going on here? I've told you! Yeah. I've got to shut his dog! Get him out of here! He's got him out of here! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! You're a bleeding maniac, you! I'm the one that should be calling the police out! I told you, didn't I? You can lick the boots of the people in this street and they'll still come round and lynch you! Time for a glass of wine? What would you like? Oh, uh, Red or white? Whichever. Are you still cross with me for wanting to be your husband? No. I was just thinking about Liz, actually. Liz? Mm, I didn't get much chance to speak to her at the party, and then she was gone so quickly. Well, she had a good couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just sometimes she makes me feel so guilty. What? Guilty about being happy? Well, because it was her who introduced us. Uh -huh. I, I sometimes wonder if, you know, the singles night. I sometimes wonder if she thinks if I hadn't have been there, then maybe you uh, wouldn't... Maybe uh, she'd be living here now, you mean? Mm. No, darling, she wouldn't. No, I know, but... And I really can't think that she'd believe that herself. <sighs> no. You know what I wish? I just so wish she would change her look. I mean, why does she do herself up like that? Well, some men must like it. Yeah, the wrong ones. Well, have you ever suggested to her? You can't suggest that. I just end up making her feel worse. Must be a way, if you think it would make her feel better. Well, don't you? Well, I don't know. Looks aren't everything. Oh, but 40 years old and doing yourself up like a dolly bird. She's never going to attract the right blokes like that. Well, I think you should give her a call if you're worried about her and see how she is. Mm. After all, you've got the rest of the day to yourself, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But listen, you have absolutely nothing to feel bad about. Why don't you even let me in for five minutes? Chris, I just need some time on my own to think. It's all... I just feel so rushed. OK. OK. Promise me you won't go up near your mouth. I said. Especially not to Kevin. It's up to you. It'd just be so stupid if you lost your job. Yeah, well, that's my lookout, isn't it? No, it's not. Not if I can't give you what you're asking me. All I'm asking is not to have to put on a pretense. No, Chris, it's more than that. Cos what if... What if Kevin's really right about me? Mm hmm And all I am is just a boring old housewife. <laughs> Don't be that. Cos that's what I play the two, Chris. My kids, my home, that's what I care about the most. Not... Not wild adventures. That's the life I want to share with you. <laughs> well, maybe we can't. Hey. Eh? Well, it's not as simple as that, is it? And I just... I don't know if it's what I want. But you're not... You don't really mean you think we ought to finish, do you? Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, we're off now, Alec. Ah. Oh, yeah, look, yeah. I forgot to put crates out. Yeah, but you can't be messing with them now, love. Yeah, but they'll be in better way and you'll be bringing food out soon. Natalie! I forgot to put crates out. Do you think you could put them out? In the yard? Please. Yeah, OK. It's just that we're going to do this christening. <laughs> yes, now listen, Jack, I'll expect you back around when. In good time, Alec. In all good time. 
Oh, Natalie, if you've got a minute, you couldn't pop to the corner shop for half a dozen eggs, could you? Yeah, OK. I'll just put my fan down on the ones that I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing now? I've got the wrong bed. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to lose you, sir. Chris, I just need some time to think. Okay. You didn't like that then? Miss Biggie me. I wish you'd let me pay halves with you though. Well, I am the one with the job. And I said no problem. Okay, thanks. But at least my mum's got herself well set up now anyway. Mm -hmm. And you've got to be glad for her, haven't you? Have I said I'm not? You're not exactly oozing it, are you? Well, maybe oozing isn't quite my style. So, are you a one-man band now then, Jim? Well, I tell you, three sounding more like a one-man joke. Oh, things not going well. I'm just not equipped to do the big jobs anymore, you know what I mean? And the odd repair job's no living for me. Still, you've got the profit from your last big job, haven't you? Well, let's just say young Stephen is not prepared to give me my share right now. Don't tell me he's done the dirty on his own father now. What is it, Jim? I mean, are they born bad or what? The best is locked away with his own kind, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's best you don't let me hear you say that, Sandy. Janice? Oh, yeah. Yes, Janice. Whiskey and cork, please. Ice and lemon. Yes. And you better make that a double whiskey. What the hell? So, you're having a relaxing day off, then? <laughs> I'm more relaxed at work, if you must know. I look forward to Mondays, me. I've been meaning to ask you. Has Sally taken to avoiding this place lunchtime? What, because of you, you mean? Just wondering. No, she just said she'd rather go home, you know, get some of her jobs done. Really? Why? Missing her company, are you? No. I just don't like to think she's not leading a full life, that's all. Uh, 3.20. Oh, is it that time already? Yes, I said I'd be standing outside. You didn't need to order a cab, you know. It's done, Dad. Anyway, you've been great letting me stop over, and I hate big goodbyes. Well, look, at least let me come. No, on. stop and stay. I'll see you at my mum's wedding. Mm. Okay. Oh, and I hope you're not such an old grump about it then. Bye. Bye, love. This is what we laughingly call the lounge. These red marks on the walls are where we've been swinging cats round. Oh, shut up. Very nice. Oh, oh no. weren't she good? Do you know they want to peep out with her? No, oh, no. she's a happy baby. Oh, yeah. she always is, unless she's got a good reason. Hey, you lucky. I would tell you, non-stop misery guts. She's still flipping it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I best get her fed again before she spoils herself. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, Judy. Hmm? I want you to do something for me. I'm tucking £50 behind this cushion and I want you to open the savings account for this little girl. Uh, no, Rita. Yes, Rita. Please. But £50, that's too much. You but mustn't... I want to do it. And when she's old enough to understand, you can tell her that it was given to her by a lady who never had any children of her own and wishes her a lovely life. Oh, well, that's ever so generous of you, Bill, to talk. It's my pleasure. <laughs> oh, nice spread, Jude. Must have been all night. Oh, that's normal. Yeah, she's forgotten what they're like at that age, haven't you? Oh, who disturb your sleep at all ages, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just want to be there for her. Oh, she's lucky that you are, Judy. I hope she thinks so. Because she hasn't exactly had the best start in life, has she? Mm, could never complain of not being wanted, though, could she? No. Mm. It's when they get to teenagers, that's when they start to complain. The sooner you let them run wild. Oh, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Jim, I've been thinking about you needing a workmate. I'm going to be laid off soon. Oh, eh? what are you saying, Gary? I know my way around the toolbox. I'm not frightened of hard work, and I've done a bit of most things. 
Uh huh. Right. Well, I have to tell you, Gary, this is the building trade. It's not exactly regular income. You know what I mean? I haven't got that now, and I'm sick to the death of the same old, same old day in day out. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. Whenever I go home, I'll think about it. And I promise you, I'll do that. Okay. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Look at him. And now he's got the front. Not now, Des. And when's it going to end, eh? You smashed every pane of glass I own. You don't necessarily know it was him. Oh, come on, Sam. Just leave it for now, eh? Yeah, before I give myself an ulcer. You want me to be a bridesmaid? If you'd like to be. Of course, I would. I'd love to be. Well, I really want you to be, Liz. I thought you'd be really knacked with me after your party. I keep on showing myself up, don't I? No, you don't. Yeah, I do. It's not that I'm not pleased for you. I am. I'm really pleased for you and John, but it's just that the more you seem to go up, the more I seem to go down. Especially after Jim mucking me about. Yeah, I know. You didn't need that, did you, love? I just... I can't see how my life's ever going to change. And it's such a lie, isn't it? The more you lose, the less fight you've got. Listen, there's nobody I know who's got more fight in him than you. It's true. In spite of all you've had chucked at you, you're a survivor. Well, I don't feel like that. I feel like a, a dried up old hag. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you just need to change a few things. Like what? I can't change how Jim feels about me. I can't change hope that really matters. No, no, I mean... Well, what would you like to change? My old rotten life, right back to day one. I just want to meet somebody I can have a life with. Listen, how about we plan our outfits, then I'll go and get us some more drinks. <laughs> Natalie, tell me something. Am I the unwitting butt of some private joke? Well, I've checked that I'm not exposing any shirt tail or wearing odd socks, but I'm just wondering why you find me so amusing today. Oh, no, 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 Alec. I'm just smiling to myself about life, that's all. Life? People's lives, you know. Oh, you can never tell what goes on behind closed doors. Or right under your very nose, for that matter. Half a bit of praise, Alec. Ah. Ah, Ken, you're back. Hmm? Ah, the empty nest there. Eh? Oh, yeah. Ah, I'll get these, Alec, and a red wine and a G&T, please. Ah, certainly. <laughs> Tracy gone, then? Yes, in the usual independent way. I'm just so glad her and Mum came up. And it was nice for John to know he was approved of. I'm sure. I didn't force them, Ken. They just both really got on well with him, which is what I hoped. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to lie through my teeth to protect him for you. Ken, I've just asked you <laughs> not to say what's unnecessary. Well, it feels like lying to me when I have to pretend to be thrilled for you. Well, I hope you are thrilled for me if you want me to be happy. Of course I want you to be. <laughs> I'd better shut up. Also. Has everybody got... Who wants? I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, there you go, Jack. Good on you. <laughs> White. Uh, I'd like to propose a toast. Oh, God, um, uh, to our Katie, um, hope she has a brilliant future, and uh, I wish you everything in the world. Bless you. Uh, good morning. Our Katie. Our Katie. Our Katie. Our Katie. Our Katie. Yeah. yeah, give us a hold of her. You look proper done in there. Oh. <laughs> I just wish my mum were here, you know. Yeah. Just out of there. I know. Oh, she'd have been dead chuffed with the Vera, wouldn't she? Yeah. Do you know, it's rotten, in it? But I'm sure wherever she is, she's looking down on you and sending her all a blessing. <laughs> well, look, Des, I think, basically, underneath, he might be quite a decent bloke. Well, you've certainly changed your tune about Les Battersby. Because he's changed his. And if he's decided he's going to make an effort with the people around here, that's great, it's brilliant. Even if he's just moved his aggro across the road. Supposition, Des. And so you can prove it. Yeah, yeah, Curly. You should join the local coppers. They can't get the trungeons out their trousers either. I've got to go. See ya. Yeah, see ya. I've got to go, Judy. Oh. Yeah, I've got to go and pick the girls up from Kevin. Oh.
but I've had a lovely oh, time. It was lovely for you. Well, I'm really pleased with you. Yeah, me and her. Well, I wouldn't have missed it seeing her and Gary so happy. Yeah, yeah well, you got them out of the moments, don't you? And this is one of those. I'm right pleased with it. Oh. You're not going already, are you? Yeah, I've got to, Gary. Uh, she's got her own daughters to see to. Go on, get them and bring her back here. I've told her that. And I've told her there's no room for him here, is there? <laughs> not with my lot of know. Yeah, never mind the racket that I caused. We're going to have some parties in the future that can make as much racket as they like. Yeah. yeah, you've got all them little treats to look forward to. Oh, are yeah, jelly up the wall, <laughs> fingers on the floor. Uh, <laughs> we're looking forward to it, aren't we, love? Yeah, because we're daft on her. So, what's your dolly called then, Sophie? Katie. Katie? That's the name of the new baby over the road, isn't it? She copied it. Well, your mummy will be back from a party soon, won't she, come to take you home? Yeah. What are you going to do tonight? Watch television. Are you? And does Chris sometimes watch television with you? Yeah. And it sometimes reads the stories. And is that nice? Yeah, he's mummy's best friend. Is he? Well, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, look, here's your mummy now. Mum! Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Tony Ross's his invoice. Sal is here. Hi, Sal. Hi, Chris. Any problems? No. Oh, apart from Rosie's sock. I got this on my sock, Mum. Oh, never mind. We'll go on and we'll go and sort it out. Say goodbye to your daddy. Bye, Dad. Bye, girls. Bye. The invoice. It's on the desk, Kevin, right in front of you. Yeah, well, there's that much flaming stuff on there. It's no wonder, is it? What time is it? Oh, it's... It's only ten to. Do you know... I wish Sally would find a new man. Eh? Hey? Oh, nothing. Just wishful thinking. It would just make everything so much easier, wouldn't it? If he gives me another one of them looks. Well, don't look at him then. Yeah, well, I'm telling you. If he stitched me up on another visit off the police, I'll. Les, shut it. Or we're leaving here right now. You still flaming well believe him, don't you? I said, just drop the subjects and try and enjoy yourself, won't you? They nearly forgot. Look at my camera. Where's my handbag? They nearly forgot to take your picture. Oh, of course. Our lace is pretty for a quick move that we got from the last week. But we like it. Get all the organisation right and then forget to take the photos. Well, I didn't think. And then she'll get to five, won't she, Katie? And she'll say, Did you do that? Because you know <laughs> ah, well, at least she'll know she's at a party. <laughs> do you know, it does everything, this, all on its own. All you have to do is point and press. Careful, you don't cut the reds off. I don't cut the reds off. Oh, do, you want a, uh, do you want a group photo? Well, I'll take one of my baby first, mm. and the three of you, and then I'll try and squeeze the rest of them round back. Mm. All right, well, you get over there. Uh, all right, get come on, everybody. Get a for me, will you, Gary? Right. Photo call. Yeah. Right. Mm. Hey, nice camera, Figura. Nice cameras, magic this. Yes. Look, it's got a special feature, red eye reduction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it stops you looking like a vampire's dinner. <laughs> I didn't know Vera was a camera buff, did you? Look? Well, I'm not. I'm just glad they make cameras now where you don't have to be. They've done that for a long time now, Vera. Have they? Well, it's news to me. Anyway, let's see your sarcasm. <laughs> so right. is it just me and Katie first then, is it? Yeah, that's right, right love. All right then. Go on, Derek Vader, have you opened the lens cover? What? Uh, just a minor detail. <laughs> yeah, stand back. Everybody behind me. What's your red eyes? Right, you ready, love? <laughs> yeah. Right, give us a smile. <laughs> Say cheesy feet. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheesy feet. <laughs> cheesy feet. Gary. She's got a nerve turning up here. I've brought a present from a Come into all. Yeah, but I've got some of Yeah, Harry. come on. Right, Vera, um, a photo of Katie and the godparents, I think. And the rest of you, help yourself to the sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, uh, everyone there uh, tuck in. Des, make sure everyone's glasses full, will you? Right, I'll, I'll have a right. scotch. Now. Right, uh, a big smile for the camera. What the hell do you think you're doing? I've told you! She doesn't need a present from you. She's my baby! No, she's not. 
Look, I don't want to cause trouble. I've just come to see her, that's all. You said I could. I said that a long time ago. Things have changed. She's mine. I'm entitled to see her. Well, you could have come round at a better time. Look, come back when everybody's gone. You let me see her then? Yeah, of course we will. I'm a mother! Well, so you say. I just want to see what she looks like. I know you do. Well, how long will it be? Well, soon. Soon, OK? I, don't, I can't tell you when. Soon. So, why well, didn't invite you? You're always very thick with Judy Malley. Me? No, I'm not. You've always got your head stuck in little Katie's pram. Oh. Well, I can't believe what I say. That's my trouble. Mm, can't keep quiet about it, either. Oh, it's common knowledge, Maxine. The whole scenario's a fiasco. You could say that the mallets are being very charitable. Yeah, she could, right enough. Almost as charitable as you helping out in the salon, eh, Audrey? Now, listen, this is a bona fide job, this. Everything open and above board. You've a very nice touch, I must say. What? You like it? Experience tells. Mm. And she works much quicker than Fiona. Yeah, that's because she's got me answering the phones and doing all the donkey work. More fool you. Will you carry on doing it when Fiona gets back? No, she might not come back. I don't think she's interested anymore. What? But it's her livelihood. Mm. Wish you would, because then you can slip quietly back into time and go on your day. Don't worry about me, Maxine, sweetheart. I've got the energy of a woman half my age. Uh, do you want spray mode? Hiya. Hiya. You are becoming so predictable. Am I? Every day, out the garage, into the pub, regular as clockwork. You reckon I should have something else in my life? You should have someone. To spend my money on? Yeah. I'm saving. You're missing out. Maybe, maybe not. Look around, Chris. Who is the here for you? I only come well, in for a well, pint. Well, 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 would you... Hey, yeah. Sal, you all right? Hey, Sal. Uh, whatever Sally's having in two oh. stiff whiskies, please. What's up, mate? Something happened. Well, yeah, you could say that. I mean, nobody knew where to put themselves. Judy went as white as a sheet. Well, I feel sorry for the mallets, but it is Zoe's baby. They should have invited her. You invited her? Should have called the police. Well, can you bring him over here, please? Well, she's only a kid. Kid or not, she stole £2,000 of their money. Yeah, if you ask me, Gary should have got hold of her by the scruff of the neck and thrown her in the street. He very nearly did. No, oh, he did. Well, that was a good do, that, mate. Uh, thanks for coming. I'll right. see you soon. Yeah. Here's your hat. What's the hurry? I think they want to be left by themselves. Yeah, well, sandwiches do now for me. Do you fancy takeaway? Oh, I do, if you're paying for it. Uh, excuse me, butting in. Have you any idea if a Mr Alec Gilroy lives in this street? He'll be in the Rover's return, darling, where I should be. Well, you're not going. Is it far? No, it's not. It's just at the end there. But I'll show you. I need a word with Alec myself. Thanks, love. Damn fool taxi driver dropped me off in the wrong place. <laughs> Big thick glasses on him. Couldn't <laughs> tell a traffic light from a sherbet dip. <laughs> hey, do you know what? I could murder a king prawn vindaloo. Will you go and get us one? Should have asked Des Barnes to fetch it. It would have saved me a trip. He's going to the Chinese. Funny. Go on and get yourself a biryani while you're at it. Are you peeing? I'll give you money when you get back. And what do we use in the meantime, your schoolboy charms? Oh, here. And I want the change. See ya. Ah. Oh. Hey! Oh. 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 Yes! There he is. You can have him first. Thanks, love. Much appreciated. Hiya. Right. Hello. Oh, uh, Mrs Turnbull. <laughs> Mrs Turnbull. Jean T. I... Large. Uh, uh, look, look, I've made my position quite clear. Golden years only supply the introductions. We with no responsibility for the success of the evening. It's what's known in legal circles as caveat emptor. Oh, I've not come to complain. Forgive and forget, that's my motto. And Ken Barlow forgot his shoe. Ken Barlow forgot his shoe? Proper little Cinderella. I was hoping he'd come back, but seeing as he hasn't... Uh, that's not my shoe. No, but it could have been, if you'd see the inside of my jacuzzi. No <laughs> jacuzzi? Uh, uh, no, no, leave, leave it, Ken. I, I, I'll deal with the lady. <laughs> no, you won't. Ken Barlow will deal with me. No one else. Now, where is he? Beanie. Ken, right on cue. 
These are big teas, but that's the way I like them. Think on. Re Reenie, can you come round the back, love, please? Anything you say. I'll let you be the boss this time. <laughs> quick, quick. Alec, is that my date that never was? Yeah. Sadly, Jack snatched her from your grasp. Oh, well, tell me a win. <laughs> Take it slowly. I'm all right. He could have killed you. Are you okay? No. Right, come on, into my place. Janice will see to you. You came back then? I said I would. We don't believe a word you say. Look, I don't want to fight. I want to see my baby. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? It's not your baby anymore. I only want to see her. You said I could. We said that when she was first born. I don't think it's a good idea now. Oh, and you make all the decisions around here, don't you? No. We make the decisions together. And we make the decisions for Katie because we're her parents. You're kidding yourselves. I'm looking at it from her point of view. She can't grow up with two mothers, one here all the time, the other dropping in whenever she damn well pleases. You're not a mother or a father. Well, 2,000 quid says that we are. We don't want her confused. It's not fair. On you? On any of us. So, we've talked it through and we've decided. We're not going to let you see her again. What? We can't have a tone between the two of us. The two of us? So he's got nothing to do with it then? He's just some kind of puppet, is he? You go on up, Judge. You want changing. I'll sort this out. Get this into your head. You're not seeing her again. Says you. Zoe, you made a deal. Katie belongs here. I'm a mother. If I want her, I can get her. Two thousand pounds don't mean a thing. It meant something a couple of months ago. It was all you were interested in. It wasn't. You took advantage of me. If I go to the police or the social services, they'll be round here in no time. Well, go then. Go and tell them what you've done. Go and tell them what kind of a life you lead, and we'll find out what kind of a mother they think you'd make. I will. I'll go right away. No, you won't. Go away. Get lost. You give the baby to us. We're going to bring her up. She stays here. You go back to wherever you came from. No, she isn't. Well, do you know where she is? No, and we're busy, so on your way. Hiya. are killing me. Oh. Say nothing, Ken. I did too much talking the other night, and that's what put you off. No, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't. Don't was... worry. I like a man who plays hard to get. Give me five minutes, I'm making these trembling. You already are doing, love it. Oh. Don't go in there, love. I can't soak them in here, can I? Uh, I mean... No, no, well, wait. Just wait yeah, a minute. What, there. What's can... our chap's shoe doing in here? Uh, well, look, I can explain, Vera. The other night was an emergency. I, I was helping Alec out. I shouldn't have been there at all, you think. You were, though, weren't you? I did, but I'm really loving it. I'm not the man I used to be. I, I, I can't give you value for money anymore. I'll be the judge of that. You've got hell of a lot to offer, and I don't mean Cinder Toffee. Oh. Here! What's going on? Nothing you haven't done yourself, love, when you're a bit younger. You are? If you can't remember that far back, I broad-minded stand and watch. I know all the moves. Jack? Oh, she? He's no Jack. He's Ken Barlow, and he's a belter. He's Jack Duckworth, and he's my husband. My escort, Ken Barlow. Mine, signed and sealed. My escort, bought and paid for. Look, ladies, ladies, please. Luke, Luke, I, I can explain, I can explain. 
explain that tomorrow. This is a nice place. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's a lot better than the one we had. Des has a decent job. He's lived here a long time. So it's all bought and paid for then, yeah? Might be. I don't know. He's a successful man, isn't he? He works for himself. He's not a millionaire. You look good. Do I? Yeah. But then you always did. No matter how things were going. Well, right now, things are going very well. Oh, yeah. I can see that. I'm not talking about the house. Pleased to see me. Surprise, more like. You didn't think I'd forget you. No, but I just I mean, thought... You haven't maybe... forgotten me, have you? Oh, Richard, I mean, you know, please. Like I'm your husband, aren't I? I mean, you can't forget your husband, can you? No. So why have you moved in with Des? What have you done? Nothing. She's sitting on the wall. Do you think I was too hard on her, Jude? It's the only language she understands. She's just a kid. You keep saying that. I shouldn't have threatened her. It'll take more than that to frighten her. She wants Katie, and it looks like she's going to sit on that wall until she gets her. What are we going to do? Right, that's it. Out of here, you, yeah. Yeah. Hussie? Who are you calling, Hussie? I put my money down in good faith. I've been swindled. Yeah, well, you better take it up with Alec Gilroy. Yeah, it wasn't Rini's fault. Uh, look, Mrs Turnbull, your misadventure had nothing whatsoever to do with my organisation. Yeah. I'll be seeing my solicitor for, let's see, breach of contract. That'll do for starters. Oh, there's no need for that. I'll happily reimburse any expenses you've incurred. I'm talking damages, Alec. Get your checkbook out. Uh, can't we just... No, we can't. But you pay, and good money. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. I better get out front, but my customers want serving. You're going nowhere, you. You've got a lot of explaining to do. It better be good. Do you do this with all the men you meet? Do what? I'll lead them on. Let them believe that they're in with a chance. I don't do that. Well, Barnes must think he's in with a chance. Do you want to clean your hands no. up? No, I like it the way it is. Right, I'll make you a drink then. Look, how many others have there been? Well, boyfriends, not many. You know that. I only know what you've told me. And you're a liar. I'm not. Look, I really think it's best if you just go now. Because Des will be back any second. Are you sure? Of course I am. He's only gone for a takeaway. He'll be back in a minute. You won't. Oh, thanks, Rita. I know it's last minute. You must have other things to be doing. No. I brought my Christmas cards to do, and girls can help. I take it they like licking stamps? Oh, yeah. So you'll have to watch Sophie, because she'll either stick them on upside down or swallow them. <laughs> well, don't you worry about it. You enjoy yourself. They'll be in bed by the time you get back. Yeah, well, I won't be late, because my pal Morris, she's got children too. Her husband left her, so oh. we've got a lot in common. So you're going to have a good moan about men? Hey, no. We're going to have a good laugh. Followed by an extra portion of fried rice and one too many glasses of white wine. Ah, you do right. You should enjoy yourself more. Get out and meet somebody. You're too young to be on your own. Well, I'm not on my own. At least, I haven't been lately. Have you not? I've been seeing Chris. Chris from the garage? Yeah. Are you shocked? No. No, only, uh, ain't he a bit young? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's nothing serious, Rita. He is a lot younger than me and it can't last. I, I don't think I want it to. There's no harm in enjoying yourself, Sal. Yeah, well, the girls are my first priority. Yes, but not your only one. I like Chris, but, well, I want a relationship with a future in it. I'm not a teenager. I don't want to be going from one block to the next. Not just for the sake of it, no. But if you do want to make a new future for yourself, I think you might have to look further than Coronation Street to find it. What's up with you? Got jumped on, didn't I? Who by? Hey, Dad, did you hit him? It wasn't him this time. Give over, Leanne. Hey, what's she doing here? None of your business. 
She's not staying. Oh, she is. And we'll be in my room so we won't get in the way of email bonding. I want her out. Dad, she's got nowhere else to go. She's staying. Come on, Zoe. Nice to see you again, Mr. Batsby. Just it, Michael. Here, yeah, mate. I did it for you. Did what? I showed him who was boss. You're talking about Des, aren't you? Oh, look, don't worry about him anymore. He'll keep his distance from now on. Why should he? I don't want because him to. You'd rather have me. As soon as he clears up, we'll be the way we used to be. What, like strangers? No, 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 no not like Richie, that. Richie, no. that is what I, we no, are. not. I've got a decent place. It's better than this. I can make you happy. You can't. I've got all the things you like. I've planned it for you. All you have to do is give me a chance. Oh, no. Why not? You love me. You told me. You said so over and over. I didn't. But you've got to love me. I'm as good as he is. You are not right for I me. I am. But you keep looking at other men. I don't. You... Tell the truth. Say it's me you want. I can't do that. I can't do that. Look, I'm so sorry. I don't want to hurt you anymore. Okay, well, then, don't say you don't want me. There's nothing else I can say. Yes, there is. You, you can say that, that we'll be happy together. Say that you won't leave me. You see, but I would leave you. I would leave you. Not if I was... If you what? You're always good enough. Samantha's bloke gave you a right going over. Oh, Richie. Hey, I bet it was him done your car. And your window. You're right. That's who it was. A fully paid up nutter. Had no one of them when I see one. Samantha. It's all right. I've been so stupid. I wouldn't hurt you, you know that, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. I'm sorry. It's been eating me up. I lose control. Look, I, I've got to go. There's nothing left to say, is there? No. Except I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Come on. OK. If you've touched her... It's all right. It's all right. He's going. See you. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Why are you working so late? You're not supporting two women now. Yeah, I yeah. am. Well, I suppose you are, but not for much longer. Why? You found someone else? <laughs> no, but Sam will. No, nah, she won't. She's not the type. She's more bothered about the girls, isn't she? Yeah, but things will change when someone starts bothering about her. Then what will you say? Well, say anything. She can do what she wants. Yeah. The first time you see her on someone else's arm, you'll come over all proprietorial. No, I will not. I'll go over and slap him on his back and wish him all the luck. Anyway. Why the sudden interest? I mean, what's Sally's love life got to do with you? Nothing. You know what we women are. We love a gossip. She thinks I should be seeing someone. Doesn't like seeing me in the Rovers on my own. She's a very considerate woman. Mm, if only she knew me. Well, she'll know soon enough, if and when we want her to. Oh, please, look, we don't want any more trouble. He's not right for you. Oh, just go home. Hey. Do what she says. Yeah, we've waited long enough, mate. We want you out. She's my wife, not yours. Yeah, well, I'll pick up that phone and ring the police. You'll be charged with assault. That'll only make things worse. Worse? How? Oh. It would, pal, because I'm a witness. Yeah, nothing's worse than being without you. Oh, Richie, look. Just go home. Why? What's the point? Because that's where you belong. All I wanted to do was see you. It doesn't matter whether you see me or not. Things have changed. We've both moved on. You'll be happy again. I am. Just go home. Is that really what you want? Yes, it is. Yeah? It is. Then I'll go. You'll be all right, Rich. You will. I'll make sure he goes. Don't worry, you won't know I'm there. I don't blame him. 
Oh, Des, look what he's done. Yeah, well, anybody who'd lost you would do the same. I don't know what's happened to him. I've never seen him like that. He, he was never violent. He had a bad temper, but... It's me. I bring out the worst in people. Not in me, you don't. I hope it'd be all right. Good. You're still worried, are you? Oh, of course I am. I don't know where Zoe is. You could pop up at any time. How can we live like this? The fear that every time we go to the door, Zoe's going to be standing there. Yeah, we're going to have to, aren't we? No. We could go away. Move house. Go abroad? Yeah. Would you? I've been thinking along the same lines. We've got to do something to stop Zoe. Well, we'll go then. Canada or Australia or anywhere. No, not abroad. You've got to apply. It could take months. You've got to sell up. I've had a better idea, I think. How was Shane? Go to Newcastle. We could just up sticks. I can give him a call. Yeah. Throw a bit of Katie's stuff in a suitcase. Yeah. And nobody know where we've gone. Yes. It's a brilliant idea. He's got the room, he'd let us stay, his family. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You shall have a fishy on the little fishy. You shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. <laughs> oh, Gary, it's going to be great. Be a brand new start in Newcastle, Jude. Call your go. And your uncle Shane's gonna love you. Mm. He's gonna love you. <laughs> we can go any time you like. Oh, we've got to get this place sorted first. Well, I'll take you two up, get you settled in, come back, put it up for rent, it'll be easy. I've written a list about all the things we have to do. Stuff we have to ask your brother. What stuff? Well, you know, parks and nurseries. Nurseries? She's a few months old. They have waiting lists, Gary. We've got to get a name down. I suppose you're right. She'll be wanting to check out the school, was not it? Mm. We'll be saving up to send her to university next. University? Why not? Oh, why not? You want to go, don't you? To Newcastle? Of course I do. Well, what about work and your mates? What about them? I'm only bothered about you and Katie now. There'll be jobs in Newcastle. And we can stop looking over our shoulders and start living again. Like a real family. Look at us. Like an old married couple. What? Sitting across the breakfast table thinking our private thoughts. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. I think it's nice. It's half past. Folk's gonna be about. So I'll best be on my way. Sneaking out like a guilty secret. No, but... It doesn't have to be like this, Sam. What do you mean? Well, we get on well enough, don't we? And we both want more from the relationship than just sex. Chris! Look, I know what you're going to say, Sally, but you're wrong. It's not too early. No one on the street's going to point their finger, and if they do, who cares? It'll show them that we've got commitment to each other. What are you talking about? I'm talking about moving in. If you want me to. Do you want some? I'm not hungry. Do you know what you're going to do? I haven't thought. Well, you best start thinking on it. This is no hostel, you know, Zoe. Uh, this is a private conversation. And this is my house, young lady. And have you had my purse, Leanne? No, I have not. Well, it were rendy or somewhere. What about you? What? My purse. Have you seen it? I'm not a thief. Who said anything about a thief? We just leave her alone. What do you think you're doing in there? Give it here. Oh, just a few quid, love. I need it for a bit of a deal. I'll give you a bit of a deal. Get in there. What's up with you? Families, are you need them? Alec. Alec, this is all your fault, you know. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Have I missed something? Vera is putting me through purgatory. Oh, well, same as usual, then. That really Turnbull. Vera just will not see sense, you see. I think she saw quite enough last night, Jack. Aye, uh, like fighting off a 16-stone sex-starved caterpillar. Well, Jack, you made your bed. Yes, but I didn't expect anything like that to be waiting for me in it. Oh, aye, what's all this, then, eh? 
planning another night out with one of his dirty women, no, no, are you? Vera, Vera, will you just listen to me, please, will Escort you? Escort my foot. The only contact she's had with an escort is the back seat with plenty of suspension. Uh, yes, well, if you'll uh, if you'll just excuse me, you have a lot to discuss. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, and you've not heard the last of this, Alec Gilroy. Using married men for hard up women, giving them cheap thrills, you're not but a pimple. I beg your pardon. And I'll tell you something else. Now Betty's back and she's back for good. You've seen the last of me in that kitchen because we're never watching you. Look, my name's above that door. And you're not turning this pub into a house of ill repute, man. Hi, lovely. Hi, ma'am. Oh, Betty's got the kettle on, so uh, a cup is a bit wet without a few pickies. <laughs> How are things over there? Oh, girl, I'm loving it. Honestly, it's like being reborn. No word on Fiona coming back, then? No, not a whisper. Actually, if you ask me, I think she's having serious doubts about taking that place on again. Why? Well, come on, a young mum on her own, trying to run a business. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I should know. I've been thinking, actually. Well, just being back in that salon has brought back so much. I mean, I can feel the old creativity running through my veins. <laughs> and so, uh, when Fiona does get in touch and come back, I've been thinking about, well, asking her if she wants to sell up. To you? Why not? What does Alf think? Oh, well, no, I haven't told him yet, because it's uh, just something I've been thinking about. You mean you're waiting for the right moment? No, I don't think I need a right moment this time, because Alfie knows a good proposition when he hears one. Bye. ta -da, Mama. Hi. Sally? I'm looking for Kevin. You found him. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you haven't forgotten about Wednesday, taking the girls to see Santa. Of course I haven't forgot. What did you take me for? Well, I just wanted to make sure, that's all. The girls are really looking forward to it. I don't want them disappointed. Yeah, well, they won't be. Chris is covering for me. That's right. I wouldn't want the girls to miss out on seeing Santa. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Everything else okay? Yeah, fine. Good. Look, uh, Mr. Barth has just been on the phone. Thinks his starter motor's packed up. He wants me to look at it, so I'll uh, be about half an hour, okay? Fine. Right, I'll see you. And look, don't worry. I won't forget. Yeah. It's been ages since I've been to see Santa. <sighs> Don't you think you're a bit old for sitting on other blocks' knees? Well, you know what I mean. Why should Kevin have all the fun? Why don't we take the girls too? Oh, I don't know, Chris. I don't want to confuse them. Well, what's to confuse them? One bloke wearing a red suit and a white beard is much the same as another. Maybe. Here, let me, let me. Thank you. Yeah, you weren't called Florence in a past life, were you? How does it feel? It's nothing. It's just a twinge. I've had worse. Oh, yeah? I'd never have put you down as the street brawling type. No, well, I was thinking more of a quiet game of football on the Red Wreck. Thank you. What for? Seemed to me like you had Richie pretty well sorted out by yourself. Well, yeah, I suppose I did. But six months ago, it would have been a different story, and that is down to you. Mm. Well, the bill's in the post. Oh, shut up, will you? I'm trying to tell you something. You don't have to thank me, Samantha. I don't just want to thank you. I'm trying to tell you I love you. What? I have never told anyone that before. I love you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. No, don't worry. It's worth the pain. Hi, Julie. Hi, yeah. Hi, hello. How's my little oven bottom? Oh, good as gold. Well, they're all like that when they're asleep, aren't they? Oh, well, even when she's not, she's still the most beautiful thing in the world to me. Oh, I understand. Fair play to you. <laughs> Judy's just been down and got a name down for eating. Oh, they don't take girls at eating. Stupid. Oh, really? They're not much fun behind my chairs, they? Listen, Gary, I'm away down for a jar. Are you fancy joining me? Only I wouldn't mind a wee chat about what we were on about the other day. Uh, well, I can't, I can't just now. Uh, I might be able to catch you down there later on. Aye, right, no problem. See you See later. Ya. What are going to tell him? I suppose I'll have to tell him the truth. That bit about me and him going into business is not on. Well, you can't tell him where we're going. Well, he's bound to ask. Just don't mention Newcastle, OK? Judy, it's Jim. No, Gary. We're going away and we're not telling anyone where we're going. It's the fresh start, OK? Don't let him chance that dirt in. Hey! All right, Les. I'll tell you what, I'd be a damn sight happier if that lodger of yours was back under your roof. I don't get your drift. I don't much like the idea of having a thief in the house. What do you mean? That Zoe, she's bedded down at our place. How come? 
I don't know. You'd best ask Ali Ann. Right, that's it, Gary. We've got to go now. <laughs> A Millennium Committee meeting in half an hour. Alfie, 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 never mind about the Millennium, for goodness sake. Now, I want to talk to you about a new era. Well, it might have escaped your notice, but that's what the Millennium's all about. Ah, oh, well, they are, you see. That's good timing, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Is this what love does to you? No. It's realising I probably owe me neck to Les Battersby. It's left me with a funny taste in my mouth. I can't shift it. Les Battersby. I suppose I ought to thank him, really. Apologise for everything I said. It's not easy, is it? Well, Richie was ready to beat me into a pulp. It's a good job for me that Les was wearing his underpants on the outside last night. I reckon Les would rather have a couple of pints out of you than a VC pin to his chest. You reckon? Yeah, buy him a drink, clap him on the back, and the next day we can get back to hating his guts. No chance, not in this world. Oh, Alfie, you haven't been listening to what I've been saying. I've heard every word you've said, Audrey, and it all sounds like complete lunacy. You're not buying the salmon. But just... It's not even for sale for a start. Oh, well, that's just detail. You see, lunacy. You've not thought this through at all. But what is there to think through? I mean, I'm a hairdresser. Oh, that was years ago. Excuse me. Who do you think is responsible for that, may I ask? You've been helping Maxine out for the past few weeks. But do you know anything about modern hairstyles? Oh, suddenly you're Vidal Sassoon, are you? And let's face it, love, you've got no sense of business. So that's it, is it? I'm good for nothing but putting the clippers round your short back and sides every month. Well, don't forget your meeting. You don't want to hold up the millennium, do you? Audrey. There you go, let's change, thanks. Hello, what would you like? Now there's a leading question, if ever I heard one. <laughs> Two Bacardi and Cokes, please. Two Bacardi's it is. I've not seen you in here before. No, I don't know what we've been missing. <sighs> so, what do you do? I'm Martin E. Simon. To tell you the truth, we work for MI6. We're on the trail of an international female terrorist. Oh, yeah? She's a real stunner with flaming red hair and legs that go all the way up to the top. Apparently, she's working undercover in a bar around here somewhere. You've not seen her anywhere, have you? Is he always like this? Only when there's a letter in the month. That's exactly five pounds, please. Cheers. Thank you. Don't go too far. I'm keeping you under observation. Well, you want to be careful. You don't know what you might see. Hey, now, what the hell are you playing at? She's old enough to be your mother. Yeah, well, the older they are, the more grateful they get. Hello. The more what desperate you mean. Yeah. So let's have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Jack? Yes. Sir. What are your plans in here like for Christmas? Christmas? When's that? Oh, don't tell me you're one of them festive miseries. No, no, if you want the miseries, have a word with Alvira, that's her department. Hey, Jack, when you're ready! Yes, just give us a minute, Fred. You see, I was just wondering, like, if you got out arranged. You know, I'm run up. Because girls at Factory, well, they've been planning how we're doing. Do you know what? I reckon it's put me right in party mood. Right, if you want it out, if you want, about Christmas, right, just have a word with Alvira. Vera! Do you know, I could have sworn I heard somebody calling my name. It was horrible. It was like somebody crawling over my grave. It was Jack, Vera. Oh, Jack who? Oh, him. Go ask him what he wants. He wants you. Well, that makes a change. Go on. Jack and Vera not seeing eye to eye, then. Oh, management dispute. Mind you, personally, I'd dispute either one of them could manage a smile in a joke show. <laughs> Jack! Jack, Vera wants to know what you want. What? Go oh. away. Will you tell her Janice wants to ask her about Christmas? Janice wants to ask you about Christmas. Cancelled till further notice. You know, I could have sworn it said public house above the door when I walked in. See, <laughs> forgive me if I'm losing my faculties, but it is still traditional to serve liquor in the public house, isn't it? I'll be with you in a minute, Fred. Yes, that's what Coast Guard said to Robinson Crusoe. Whatever did Jack do to Vera? Married her, I think. Here, tell our Jack the mash drays want cleaning and all. Hey, hang on a minute, Vera. Right. Right, that is it. Natalie, go and get a mop and bucket. There could be a lot of blood. Vera, this is ridiculous. You're running a business. Can't you manage a modicum of professionalism? Professionalism? Well, you should know all about that. You're running all this one in book, aren't you? Wait. 
Hello, yes. Yes, this is Golden Years. That's it! A body could desiccate in this water in all. I say desiccate! Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> well, just one moment and uh, we'll discuss your requirements. You wouldn't believe it, Sam. Oh, nearly, nearly. Oh, ah, ah, ah! Right, come on, girls, it's bedtime. Uh, already? Yes, already. There you go. They look better on you anyway. You'll be a star. Are you going to the nativity play, Chris? Well, I don't know. Do you want me to? Yeah. Well, it's up to you, Mum. We'll see. Come on, time for bed. Well, can Chris read us a story? I, I think Chris is probably very tired, Rosie. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, no problem. I'd love to. All right, well, just a short one, then. OK, come on, then, let's go. Don't worry, just a short one, then I'll spend the rest of the evening with you. Right! Oh, he's dropped your feathers! Drop it again! You mean people actually pay to go out with Ken Barlow? I know, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm surprised at Ken. But I suppose he's fell on hard times. <laughs> Not as hard as our Jack was. <laughs> and your Jack was posing as Ken, right? Well, so he says. As if that makes it all right. So how long are you going to keep all this up for? Oh, I don't know. I mean, he's had his moments in the past, our Jack. And I went in that room and saw that woman all over him. She was like prickly eats. Well, at least you know there was nothing in it, Vee. I mean, nothing emotional. Oh, you mean we were doing it for money? It would not to do with his wallet. In full trouser mode. So, uh, what are Alex or the escorts like? Don't ask me. He has them all in that little black book. Well, it might be worth having a look. I mean, what's good for the goose? Yeah, yeah you might be right, don't you? Yeah. You look like you've got a really firm grip there, Liz. I'm well practiced. I'll bet you are. Keep the change. Thank you. An oasis of refreshment in a desert of poor service. <laughs> Hi, Fred, and what's the matter with you today? The Duckworths are rowing by go between. The ancient man had stood more chance of a drink in Rovers than anybody tonight. What can I get you? Ooh. Your poetry to the ears of a thirsty man. See, just for a change, I'll have a pint of your finest ale, please. A pint of my finest ale coming up. Here, what would you do if you caught your mum going out dressed up like that? Get adopted. Anyway, thank God she's wearing her knickers today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Fred. I'm gonna have to change the barrel. Still, I won't mind. I dare say she's picked up a few tricks in her time. Yeah, and I wonder what else she's picked up. Now that's <laughs> enough. I say less of that. Who are you? Who I am is of no consequence. But I've heard more than enough of you two. Now I'll thank you to finish your drinks and leave before the lady comes back. Lady? <laughs> lady is what I said, and lady is what she is. Not that you two are no lady if she were dressed in ermine and pearls. Ermine and pearls? She's just about got a skirt on. She may wear short skirts, and some folk may think they're too short for her age. But she's a fine woman for all that, and she's too good to be the butt-end of your mucky jokes. Oh, come on, Matt. It's obviously the boyfriend. Come on, let's leave him to it. What's going on, Fred? I'm oh, sorry I'd see that, Liz. Pay no mind to it. Just a couple of young lads with a belly full of ale. But I hardly expect them to appreciate the qualities of a fine lady such as yourself. I've no complaints if a mature woman decides to wear short skirts. Not if she can still get away with it. Oh, five foot six belt clerk. <laughs> Ooh, that's more like it. Athletic, interest, music, cinema, and anything physical or see. Italian, Marco L. Are you all right, Vera? You look a bit flushed, love. Maybe it's your time of life. No, I'm all right. I'm just having five. Oh. Well, don't take all day about it, because we've a bar full of thirsty customers out there <laughs> waiting to be... Ah! There it is. <laughs> There's a man himself. How you doing, big man? I'm all right, me. 
You all right, Jim? Aye, dead on. Uh, I'll be a whole lot better if you say you haven't got cold feet. Look, I found a cracking wee job, all right? That industrial estate off Bowley Avenue. There's a man there. He's got loads of, loads of units, and he wants to turn them into offices. Now, I've had a wander around with a boss, you know. It's no good for one man, but a couple of fellas like you and me know what we're doing. No problem. I'm sorry, Jim. We didn't send out definite, though, did we? No, 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 we didn't. I just thought you were keen, Gary, you know? Yeah, yeah. well, it sounded like a good idea. Uh-huh. So what's changed? Well, some things have happened. Like what? Uh, they've extended my contract. Right. No, fair play. No, I understand. Just wish you could let me know, you know? Well, I don't worry. Just found out today. It's right. All... No, 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 that's fine. I understand. It's a regular income, you know? I uh, can't say I'm not envious. And it's little Katie to think of. No, absolutely, I understand. You need stability when you've got a little on about, you know? Look, I'll go away on. I'll see you around, all right? Cheers, Judy. I'll see myself out. Jim, Jim. I really am sorry. No hard feelings, eh? Hey, look, no hard feelings. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll see you later. See you later. Great. Jim would have done the same in your shoes. And I'd feel the same about a friend who let me down as well. Let's get moving and get moving soon, eh, Jude? Well, I've still got some friends to leave behind. Mm. Hello. Hello. Is that the Golden Years escort agency? It is, yes. Alec Gilroy speaking. Um, well, I need a man. Uh, I, I mean, I, I need an escort for the evening. Oh, yes, well, uh... Well, whatever the occasion, uh, Golden Years has a reputation for the highest quality of service from its gentlemen escorts. Well, let's hope so. I beg your pardon, what was that? I mean, I, I don't expect to be disappointed. Oh, I, I can assure you, you won't be, uh, Miss... Uh, Roxy. Roxy Lamar. As in Dorothy Lamar, only I'm Roxy. Well, uh, just, uh, just a few details, Miss Lamar, to uh, ensure the perfect match. Well, he has to be tall. Six foot one, with brown eyes. Yes. Uh, probably Italian, if possible. Uh, athletic and musical. You know, somebody that likes films. Uh, uh, and uh, who enjoys any sort of physical activity. Yes, well, don't you worry, Miss Lamore. I think I have the perfect gentleman for you. <laughs> Well, I told you you would. Do you want the last of this? No, thanks. Yeah, well, you're probably right. I wouldn't want you falling asleep on me now, would I? You know, I love being with the girls, but, um... I just can't wait to get you on your own. Oh, Chris, it's been a long day. Yeah, I know. The girls can really take it out of you, can't they? You don't have to spend so much time with them, you know. Are you kidding? I love spending time with them. I'd like to spend more time with them. And you. All the time there is. It's not as simple as that. Life's not as simple as all that, Chris. Life is as simple or as complicated as you want to make it, Sally. And it's not complicated as far as I'm concerned. I know the way I feel about you. How's the bumps and bruises, lad? I'll survive. Look, uh, I just wanted you to know I appreciate you stepping in the way you did. It's a good job I was there. Otherwise, we'd be ordinary headstones today. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I wanted to say, well, I owe you a pint or two sometime. You know, bury the hatchet. You're on. Right, then. Uh, what about tomorrow night? We'll make a night of it. Yeah. Good night, Desi! Night. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm 
as well have been sat there. But people want an appointment. Never mind, eh? We still get paid our wages. Oh, you young girls, you've got the wrong attitude. Bye, Alpha. Morning, Alf. Hello. Was that my dear mother I heard giving Maxine her orders? Right. Yeah, she thinks she owns the place, you know. <laughs> she would do an all if, if I listened to her. She only wants me to buy it for her. Yeah, I know, I heard. Still, if you did, she'd be in her own shop earning money, instead of someone else's spending money. So, if Fiona does want to sell, might not be a bad idea. Aye. See ya. Aye. Kettle's on. Kev. How do you fancy going away for Christmas? Going away? Nah, Sally want me round for the gills. Anyway. You know, before long, Sally's not going to want you around at all. Not when she has a new man in her life. And when that happens... If it happens. Until then, we go on as we are. Might happen sooner than you think. Morning! Morning! Go on, what are you going to say? I'll keep. Oh, we're looking forward to Christmas in this house. Just the three of us. Be a bit strange up at our kids camping out in this spare room. Oh, it doesn't matter where we are, as long as we've got Katie with us. That's why we're going. I know. You don't have to keep giving me little pep talks, you know. Sorry. It's all right. I'm both a bit touchy at the moment. <laughs> Not surprising, really. It'll be better once we get up there. Right. I'm off to estate agents. Get this place up for rent, and then at least we can pay the mortgage. Uh, will you get a couple of spare keys made for them? That's a very good idea. Uh, Gary, will you go out the back? That's what I do. Less chance of bumping into Zoe. So you can see how we're fixed, can't you, love? I mean, we haven't really got room for you. Well, it's one thing, isn't it, putting you up for a day or two. I mean, we've managed that, haven't we, you know, but... You it's... could get us in lumber, you see, love, with the council. They say you were a lodger. So they'd be wanting rent and everything. Same down the social. If somebody told them, they'd be onto me like a shot. Because they creep around here, they'd do it for spite. I couldn't do that, me. So like I say, love, if we had more room, but we haven't. Anyway, love, it's about time you was off that settee. Because I always sit on there to read me paper. You see, there's another snag. The girl is not going to get up out of bed where you stood there gawping at her. Go in kitchen. Let her get herself dressed. Flaming old Riley, I can't even stand in my own front room now. You know, flame me breakfast. What you can find. And you better make it yourself. I'm going to work. Hey, you want to try it sometime? Anyway, love, once you get yourself sorted somewhere, come back and visit us, eh? You can stop for your tea. See you then. Hi, Zoe. What are you doing? Leaving. Your dad wants me out, same as your mum. I'm used to it. Well, where are you going to go? I don't know this place is. I heard Liam was in a squat somewhere. I might go there if I can find it. Liam? You said you'd had enough of him. It's no big deal, right? I'll be OK. Yeah, you'll get about a bit, don't you? Have you ever heard of a place called Mullin Rouge? Yeah, it's sort of um, a nightclub in Paris. Is it Echo's like? It's a cafe in Manchester. I mean, they might have one in Paris. They might have branches all over. Hmm, yeah, probably do. <laughs> it's just that I'm wondering, like, to set I'm going there. That'd be nice. You and Jack. Ah, oh, Jack. Back of that. No, he's drenched his chips as far as I'm concerned. Now I'm going through it with a fella. It's hush hush is this, because our Jack doesn't know about it. I'm going with the fella from Alec Gilroy's escort agency. Alec's escort agency? Yeah, but... keep your voice down. Oh, fear it. Alec is bound to tell Jack. Why will he? Look, Alec don't even know either. I booked it through another name. What name? Roxy Lamoa. You didn't. Why, what's wrong with that? Oh, nothing, nothing. Um, Jack's gonna find out, though. Well, I don't care. Listen, it'll show him that two can play at this escort agency game. Oh, but, do you know, it'd be magic. I mean, me being wind and dine by a nice young man who knows how to treat a lady. Here, I don't know what to wear. Well, if you ask me, V, a bulletproof vest wouldn't be bad for a start. What is it you're after? I'm just looking. Well, look with your eyes and not with your fingers. Have you any old cakes or anything? Old cakes? Or muffins, you know, stale stuff. No, we haven't. Everything we sell is fresh. 
Otherwise, we don't sell it at all. Why do you want stale stuff for, any road? Well, because I've no money, why do you think? I just thought you might have some stuff you'd be throwing away. Don't you come in here begging and cadging. None of your tales. You can find money for cigarettes because I've seen you walking about the street with a fag in your mouth when you were carrying your kiddie. So don't come in here trying it on. Hey, hang on. There were no need for that, Mrs Grimes. She's a fraud, is that girl. Same as them Battersby girls she pals on with. I've got no time for her. She dumps her baby on Judy Mallet. Aye, and then she steals money off him. Well, she just looked hungry to me. What are you doing? I'm going to see if she's all right. Ashley! Oh, men are simple. Hang on. Oh, leave me alone. Don't be upset over what Mrs Grimes said. She talks hard, but she doesn't mean it. Yeah, she knows nothing about me. And she knows nothing about my baby. Hey, come on, what's up? Are you feeling poorly? I don't know. When was the last time you had something to eat? I don't know. Yesterday, I think. Well, we'd best get you home, eh? Where do you live? I don't live anywhere. I haven't got a home. You must live somewhere. Everyone's got an home. Yeah, well, I haven't. Right, then. Will you come in my house? What for? Well, for a start, something to eat. Well, come on. There you go. You're a bit quiet this morning. Had a fall out with Kevin. No, no, but, um... I got a bit of a shock. Out there in the street late on. You'll never guess who I saw drawing Sally Webster's bedroom curtains. Chris Collins. Are you sure? Maybe it was the kids' room. No, it's Sally's. The kids sleep at the back. And uh, from what I saw of Chris, he was ready for bed, if you know what I mean. Anyway, after I saw that, loads of things clicked into place, you know. Things I've noticed, things I've seen. Mm. So uh, now it all made sense. Chris and Sally, they're definitely at it. Mm. Well, what does Kevin think about that, then? Well, he doesn't know. I've not told him. I mean, he ought to know, but... I just don't want to be the one that tells him. Why not? Because he'll say that I'm stirring it, then he'll get upset, and then he'll take it out on me. They won't let me go near her. They won't even let me see her. Let me get this straight. They paid you for your baby. Yeah. I know they've been saying I stole it, but I didn't... They bought my baby off me. I shouldn't have done it. No, you shouldn't. Oh, I just can't stop thinking about her. If they just let me see her. They can't stop you. She's your baby. They already have. That Judy, everyone thinks she's really nice, but she can be dead horrible. But what about your mum? Have you got no relatives at all that can help you get sorted out? No. Nobody. No home. No money. Nothing. No baby. Anyway, thanks for the feed. Well, where are you going now? I don't know. I'll have a wander around. No. Oh, you stop here and give yourself a rest. I've got to get back to the shop. I'll see you later. Ali, yeah. tell our chap he wants any dinner today. He can make his own, cos I'm not making it. Well, he's here, Vera. See, you can tell him yourself. I'm not talking to him. Oh, Jack, your Vera says if you want... I heard, to... I heard. He heard, he heard. Yeah, and same goes for his to you know. Cos I'm going out tonight. Luke, woman! How long are you going to keep this up? You know she hasn't spoken a word to me since cockcrow this morning. Yeah. Some fellas don't know when they went off. So you reckon Fiona might sell then, eh? Oh, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, she's lost all her interest, hasn't she? And I mean, when that baby she's expecting gets here, how's she going to run a business? Aye. Right, well, we'll give it a go. Yeah, we'll put an offer in. A low offer. I'm not going for no fancy prices. So you stay out of the money side. Oh, you are a little... Get friend. off! What are you? What They're all looking. <laughs> if, if, you, uh, if you still want the escort work, I've got a job available for you tonight. What do you think my name's Arthur? Does that mean yes or no? It means you must think I'm a fool. Don't you think I'm in enough trouble with the wife already? Ah, yes, but you see, I did hear that she was going out herself tonight, so the coast will be clear for you. She wouldn't find out. The answer is N-O. No. Well, suit yourself. It's just that I thought this client uh, would be interesting for you, you know. You'd be taking a whining and dining, and anything further would be at your own discretion. Yeah. Interesting name, the client. Roxy Lamour. Lamour, you say? Yes, I did, yes. Uh, as in, toujours l'amour, tonight, for sure. 
Still, if you're not interested. Hardly stopped. Uh, should be quite a flourishing little salon, this, if it were run right. Well, I think I'm running it all right. Uh, no, of course you are, love. I didn't mean you. Just meant in the general direction. Fiona's attitude, you know. When you can't be half hearted in the beauty business, which, after all, is what we're in. Well, I think I'm running it all right while Fiona sorts herself out. Of course you are. Like, oh, bless you, Maxine. You're taking everything I say the wrong way. Do you know, I'd be very happy to keep you on here. Well done. Oh, between you and me, Maxine. Now, you mustn't say a word, please, but uh, Alfie and me are going to make Fiona an offer for the business. What do you mean by offer? Well, she won't be giving it away, unfortunately. Life isn't like that. I wish it was. But no, as I was saying now, you have got nothing to worry about because as far as I'm concerned, there'll always be a job for you here. All right? Right, I'll leave you to get on with your sweeping. Oh, you've missed a bit there. Look, ta da love. When you're ready, Natalie. Scotch in there, and whatever these good people are partaking of. Yep. Thank you very much, Frederick. Have you had any more bother at your place of work, love? Oh, uh, nothing I can. See, when we were their age, you'd not have had to handle it, love. What's this? A couple of those so-called yuppies at Warwick the other day. Making mock of your former lady wife behind her back. I told them to mind their manners. Uh, good man, friend. There's no need, really. Oh, yes. Just because we're getting on a bit, they think we're fair game. Have a little respect for the lady, I said. Suppose she were your mother. There's no answer to that. I said, there's no answer to that. Oh, hey, oh, the guard's going off duty. Right, I'm off out, then. Oh, you're talking to me now, are you? I'm talking to the girls. Now, listen, I might be late back. So don't put the bolt on the house door. Right. They won't be here, they don't live here. I put the bolt on. Anybody put the bolt on that door and there'll be trouble. Uh, bingo, is it, Vera? Mind your own business. Aye, uh, me bingo without a clough, you know. Hey, bingo without a clough, eh? I tell you. These days, people are pleasure man. Hey, uh, that job tonight, are you still stuck? I mean, Roxy no more. No, I mean, if you're stuck. All right. I'm never happier than when I'm helping folk, Alec. Hey, dear no, Jack. I wish there were more people in the world like you to make my life so much more rewarding. I Some fish. A bee and a butterfly. Guess what? What are you doing here? Yeah, that's my swear. Well, Ashley said it'd be OK. Hiya. You know so, don't you? The rocket seemed to what's she doing here? Well. And what's she doing with my sweater on? Come in the kitchen. In fact, Sam tells me... I said you could wear your sweater. Well, I thought it'd be all right. Well, it's not all right. That's her who had Gary Malley's baby, right? Ah, well. Well, she'd better not be having yours. Don't be daft, it's not like that. She's only a kid, an hungry kid with nowhere to go. She come in shop begging and she's got, got any home. So she's only a kid, so I thought... Yeah, well, that kid, as you keep calling, is a mother, which you don't get playing hopscotch. There's nothing between me and her, Maxine. You know that. Do I? There's only her fancy. Is there? Well, I keep proving it to you, don't I? Yeah. But listen, that baby's not Gary Mallets at all. It's some young lad she used to go out with. The Mallets bought that baby off her. Why, and you believe her? Yeah, I do. And they won't even let her see her own baby. And like I was saying before, she come in shot fainting with hunger. So I thought, well, why not bring her in and get a good couple of dinners down? You sound like your Uncle Fred. He thinks a slice of beef's his answer to everything. No, I'm serious, old Maxine. I feel dead sorry for her. I said we'd put her up. You didn't! It's only for a night or two, that's all. Just till she sorts herself out. Right, now, Alec, what can you tell me about this here woman? Well, uh, I mean, her name's Roxy Lamour. Eh? And I'll bet you're out you want. That's not a proper name. What are you? You think it could be like a pseudonym or something? I, you know, I never thought of that, Jack. Uh, still, 
the name she's picked, it's uh, encouraging, wouldn't you say? Ooh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that, that's all I can tell you, except on the phone she uh, sounded a bit of a goer. Oh, I'd have a bit uh, risky. Mm, yes, yes. I, I think she's got a husband who can't give her what she wants, you know. Ah, poor devil. I feel sorry for women like that, you know. It makes you feel as if you, you want to help them. Oh, exactly, yes. You see, that's why I get the feeling that you and her will get on very well. You probably feel you've known her all your life. <laughs> uh, are you all set? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, it's the Boulon Rouge. Right, right. Hey, or, or, should I say... Roger. Roger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, give her your best attention, Jack. Treat her as you would your Vera. Oh, nay, 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 I'll do better than that, Alec. Oh. Right. Well, just, right. as, just as you think best, Jack. Did you tell Santa what you wanted for Christmas? Yes, we did. Oh, good girl. All right, now go upstairs and go and wash your hands and I'll start putting your teas out. Christmas Day, what do you want to do? Well, it's not a question of what I want, is it? what's best for the girls. Do you want to come round Christmas morning? You could have Christmas dinner with us. That's what you want, yeah? Fine. Have you got to ask Natalie's permission first? No, it's settled. Right, I'm away. Tell you what, though. It's going to be strange Christmas morning. Not being woken up about four o'clock with the girls jumping on me head shouting, he's been, he's been! <laughs> going to miss that. Yeah, so are they. Do you ready ordering that, please? Uh, no, thank you. I'm waiting for a gentleman. Uh, and when this gentleman arrives, he'll ask for Roxy Lamar. That's me. <laughs> Blame it, Nick. She here, momento. <laughs> you losing something, lady? Flaming Nora. You followed me, didn't you? Hey. Look, just clear off. Uh, you look for Miss Lamour, yes? No, 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 so never heard of her, no. This lady, she Miss Lamour. This, your gentleman. He asked for you, I bring him. You trollop. Trollop me? You rat. You were coming here to meet Roxy Lamour, weren't you? So, um, do you want Audrey now, please? I know what he's having. Yeah. Yeah. That'll cool you down, won't it, eh? Sophie's off. Don't think Rosie's gonna be long. Do you want a beer? No. Or do you want me to pop out and get you a bottle of wine? No, thanks, Chris. I'm not in the mood. What's bothering you? I don't know. Well, yeah, I do. Rose is going to be seven on Christmas Eve. That was a wonderful Christmas. When Rosie was born. And the year after that, Rosie was just one. We were so happy, Chris. They were always happy all the Christmases. I am sorry. It's all right. I want to help. It's just that, well, this Christmas is going to be different, isn't it? I can't say I'm looking forward to it. Hey, it's going to be OK. We're going to be together. I want us to be. can't be, Chris. Kevin's coming round. It's for the girls. And that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? The kids. We know too much, don't we? We know it's all make-believe and pretending. Here! I want a word with you now. Oh, Vera, you're back. Any look at the bingo? I've been nowhere near the bingo, as well you know. I'm sorry, you've lost me now. In the back, now. Excuse me, Nancy. I think Vera's got a problem. Uh, yes. 
You, you set me up. Vera, I don't know what you're talking about. Sending me to meet my own flaming husband. Uh, Vera, what are you talking about? Meet Jack? No, no, no. Actually, between you and me, he's, he's out doing a bit of escort work. No, 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 he begged me, you see. He's taking a lady out to dine at Miss Roxy Lamore. That's me. I'm Roxy Lamore. You? No, 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 no. I spoke to the lady myself on the phone. She was quite well spoken. But that were me. And what do you mean I am well spoken? You, Roxy? Do you know I'm jiggered, Vera? Anyway, it doesn't much matter as long as you make the check out in your own name. What check? Well, for escort services, just make it payable to Golden Years. Get bagged. I'm not paying you to go meet me on flaming husband. But you strumpet! Evening, Jack. What's that down your trousers? Ice cubes. Cubes? How very contemporary. This floozy! Don't you call me a floozy, you toy boy. This thing only turned out to be Roxy Flaming Lamour. Do you know it's right what they say, isn't it? It is a small world. And she thought she were buying a fancy man. I know, she's complaining because she got you, Jack. You were paying for it. Oh, come, mate. You thought you were getting something on the side tonight, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, I, obviously you have a lot to talk about. I'll just get back to the bar. If Lester Fontaine weren't enough, but paying, paying to get a man. It was just for companionship, that's all. Something's a chapter. Give over. And what about you, eh, fancy man? I was, I was just trying to earn a few bob for me and you. I mean, there were no monkey business. It was, it was, it was just a, a pure escort. Give over, you'd have been after No, it. I wouldn't. I mean, look at that there, Mrs Turnbull. I mean, she was after a, a bit of the hell's your father, weren't she? But I wouldn't oblige. Only because you didn't fancy her. That doesn't follow, Vera. I oblige you sometimes, don't I? Rudy Roberts buys the salon. It's going to be awful. She's queening it already. Can you understand someone buying a baby off a kid like Zoe? Ashley, you're not listening to me. God, you're just so full of that little taunt. She's not a tart. You shouldn't call her that. OK, you feel sorry for her. She's had it tough. But it's nothing to do with you and me, so don't get involved. Hiya. Feel better after a knock bath a bit. That's Uncle Fred's bathrobe she's wearing. Looks better on hers than it does on him. Do you want a glass of wine, Zoe? No, thanks. You've no fags anywhere, have you? No, sorry. Right, I'll get to bed then, if that's all right. Sure. And if you want anything, you just help yourself. Night. I don't like her being here. In our house, in the next bedroom to us. She's gonna have to go, Ashley. Oh, give her a chance. No, I mean it. She's gonna have to be out here by tomorrow night. Cos if she's not, I will be. What does she need? I'll tap on the door, tell her you're in hurry. Yo, I'm never going to be ready on time now. I think she's done now. Yes, well, she's not stopping in another night. Do you hear me? She's not our responsibility. Sorry, did you want to use bathroom? Is that if I make some toast? Aye. Help yourself. Did you see that? That was my dressing gown. I'm sorry, I should have asked. Right. Yes, well, it's all very well saying right, isn't it? What are you going to do about it? Tell her to find somewhere else. Yes, well, make sure you do, cos she's not stopping another night, right? Right. All right, Desi. Hey, <laughs> uh, Never better, Les. Never better. Hey, when are we going for that drink? That's right. I owe you one, don't I? Lunchtime, OK? Uh, working, mate. How about tonight? You're on. Half seven in the Rovers, then. See you, Desi. Yeah. See you, Les. Hi. Sorry about last night. Look, you don't need to apologise. Anyway, what do you mean? Well, there wasn't much help, and you seem really fed up. It doesn't matter. Look, it's my problem. He's here. Looking for me? Yeah, Christmas Day. Oh, yeah? What time do you want me around? Well, as early as you like. The girls are sure to be up, aren't they? Four o'clock last year, wasn't it? <laughs> Only just got to bed ourselves. 
Well, I expect I'll see you before then. Yeah, tomorrow. The school play. Don't be late. Won't miss it for the world. I can't see Fiona wanted to come back to work now. No, you missed a bit. No, there. Lower. Right. So when did you say the baby was due? Uh, not till end of March. Well, that's only three months. The four. Yeah, but even so, I mean, she'll no sooner have started than she'll be packing it in. And then, of course, she'll have the baby. Well, she's not said anything to me about selling or leaving. No, because she doesn't realise what having a baby means. You never do till it happens. It's a 24-hour job. She'll soon find that out. Well, I'm sure she'll cope. Do you know, I'm surprised, though, that nobody suggested it to her before. Where did you say she was stopping? Um, I don't know. I thought you said she was stopping at her parents. Yeah, she was, but she, she had to move out. Oh. So there's no way of getting in touch with her, then? No, afraid not. Cheerio. Thanks for your custom. I know what it is. I know where you are, Of course you're not. Well, she thinks I am, I can tell. It's not like that, honest. It's just we were thinking, me and Maxine. You need somewhere more permanent. It's all right. I was going to go anywhere. All right. Cos I don't like staying where I'm not wanted. Mallets don't want me anywhere near. Same with Leanne's mum and dad. I'm used to folk thinking I'm in way. Anyway, you're not seeing me again. I promise. Look, I'm dead sorry about it. It's all right. You couldn't lend us me bus fare, could you? Of course. How much? Where are you going? I don't know. Five will do. But what about baby? You will keep in touch? Not mine, is she? They won't even let me see her. Not even say goodbye. They probably will if you ask again. You're joking. They won't even talk to me. I think it's wrong, is that? You must have rights. You must have, and so must baby. But what can I do? It's them against me. Do you know what I keep saying to Alpha? You must go and have a drink at the Warwick and see Liz, but once he gets stuck in front of that telly, I might just as well talk to the four walls. <laughs> Thank you. Right, love. I suppose it's all office parties now, anyway, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's been you know. for weeks. Thanks. Do you know, it makes me just tired to think about it. What does? Well, paper ads, the birdie song, YMCA. <laughs> it's not the same when you get to our age, is it? Look, mind you, you're younger than me, but you know what I mean. Just such an effort to go out. Do you find that? Do you know, there's a few split ends. When did you last have this cut? Oh, well, just over a month. No. Shall I give you another little trim? Yeah, please. All right. Uh, so what are you doing at Christmas? Anything exciting? Actually, I'm quite looking forward to spending some time on my own. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose it is a bit tricky when everybody's gone their separate ways. Still, we see you in the Rovers. We'll buy you a drink, eh? <laughs> I'll get a towel. Uh, can you change my appointment? It will. For next Tuesday, 12 o'clock, only I can't make it. You couldn't fit us in today, could you? We could do tomorrow at the same time. Oh, no, I can't do tomorrow. I'll have to leave it. Oh. Oh, by the way, um, she stayed with us last night. Who did? Zoe, the baby's mother. She stopped at yours? Yeah, I've told her she, she's got to be out by the time I get home. She was wearing my dressing gown and all. She's still there. Hmm. As far as I know. Hey, up. Where are you off today? At Donny. Give us a tip. Not drink on an empty stomach. Oh, right, yeah. Samantha all right, is she? She's fine, yeah. I'll never understand that, me. A beautiful girl like her shacked up with an ugly so-and-so like you. Must have hidden charms. Money more like. Bookies. I hate them. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, Desi. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, see ya. Here. Thank you. And I hope you don't think you can lay on there all day. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the town to see how Rod Bostock's going on. Took over the Red Lion. All oh, right, what time will you be back? Depends on how we're going at the bookies. I'm making a day of it, are you? I thought so. Why? Any objections? No, you go enjoy yourself. That was the intention. Only don't push your luck, cos you're not as saintly as you make out. <laughs> and you are. Look what I did. I did for a laugh. I think we both know what your intentions were, and if Alec Gilroy had set me up, you'd have said no. Of course I would. It was a joke. So why the false name, eh? So nobody would know who you were. Look, I was just trying to get my own bag. <laughs> hey, now listen. I hope you don't think you can rub my nose in it forever and a day, cos you've another thing coming. Frankly, my dear, 
I don't give a damn. Pig. Oh. Yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Friends coming out for a drink tonight? I don't think so. I thought we could go out to the country, get Rita to babysit. Well, she already is. Oh. It's late night shopping. I thought I could get some presents for the girls. Oh, well, I'll come with you. You don't have to. If I can be your own personal pack horse. All right. It's up to you. Can you have a word? Has she sent you, has she? Who? I know she's over there. Or has she gone? Look, it all needs sorting out. She's only a kid. She doesn't know what to do. She's got you taken in, I can see that. She only wants to see the baby to say goodbye. She's kidding you. Making out she cares and it's all lies. She abandoned her, that's the truth. That's not quite the full story, not according to what she told me. You ought to watch what you're saying, Ashley, because you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think I do. Baby's rights is what I'm talking about, not just Zoe's. Clear off and leave us alone. And you can tell her to stay out of our lives. And you, keep your snotty little nose out of it, all right? Bye-bye. Hey, and don't be late. It was ten past this morning. All right. Yes, yes. all right. Bye. Oh, right. Right. Ah. Right. Oh. Fiona's mother? Oh, uh, I was trying to get in touch with Fiona, actually. Oh, is she? Well, could I have a word? Oh, I see. Um, well, could you tell her that uh, Audrey phoned? Audrey Roberts? It's about the salon. I always thought Judy Mallet was a reasonable woman. Yeah, well, now you know. I don't want to say goodbye to my baby. I told her. I did. I'll go into the room. Promise me. It's not that simple. I've been round Judy Mallet's trying to sort things out. I told you not to get involved. Someone's got her. She's on her own. She's not our responsibility. Well, look at her. That's it. Well, I'm leaving. You can't. Don't go. I'm moving out and I'm not going to step another foot in this house until she's gone. Where? Where are you going? I don't know. I don't care if you're on this flat anywhere. I'm sorry. I'll go. It's all right. Her back's worse than a bite. Generally. Guess Barnsley? Not that I can see. Pint, is it? Uh, no, just give us the address. <laughs> Where's Samantha? Night off. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a business to run. You can't use the facilities and not buy a drink. Well, give us a bite then. I'll put it on Desi's slate. Des don't have a slate. He does now. Oh, aye. And what if he don't tip up? Oh, he will. Trust me. Trust you. That's the joke. Oh, what have I done now? Why is it always me? Actually, Vera, I think Des will bear him out. Thank you. Samantha tells me that you did Des a good turn the other day. Good turn? Saved his flipping life. Is that right? He was getting beaten up in the street. I went to his rescue. Coronation Street's very own Good Samaritan, aren't you, Les? Hey, don't laugh. It's true, isn't it? Is he having his own? Don't think so. Well, I suppose we should give him the benefit of the doubt. Hiya, Desi. Hey, Les. What are you having? Sorry, right, I've got one. Oh, right. It's a pint and vape, please. Are you all right? I heard you had a bit of a do the other day. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Desi. Les a quid for the jukebox. Yes, right, there you go. Cheers. Right, well, that's 288, love. How much? Well, we're less it, you know. Looks like it's going to be a long night. Mm, well, don't you believe it. It's getting a couple of drinks out of me, then I'm off home. Me and Sam are having an early night. <laughs> right. Cheers, Les. Cheers. Hey, you. 
It's a man for not coming with us. Not coming with us where? On this pub crawl we're having. Do you always do cooking? It's a favourite tonight and all. Chicken aqua deeps. How long you been living together? A couple of months. Think you'll get married? See how it goes. She's all right, really, is my Maxie. She'd have calmed down by now. I mean, once she knows it's supper time, she'll be back like a show. Do you reckon? Well, I'll give her a ring, guys, see how it lies. Hello, Maxie. It's me. I'm doing chicken aqua dupes. You're not hungry, eh? Well, I've laid for you. Yes. No. I can't. Because Max... Washing her hair. Look, you're only rowing cuss of me. As soon as I've had my supper, I'll go. It'll all be forgotten in the morning. Anyway, I'll go. Where? It doesn't matter, does it? Have you not got any relatives? You must have someone that can put you up. Right, we'll have to stop another night then. Look, I've told you, half an hour and I'll be gone. I'm not having it on my conscience. What? You sleeping rough. It wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, I might find hostel. And what if you don't? It's too cold to be tramping round streets at night, Zoe. You're stopping and that's final. Oh, you woke up then. Oh, what is it? You're back, eh? Uh... You know what it is, don't you? It's sleeping in an awkward position with too much air inside you. Look, do you mind not feeling rough? Anyway, listen, your playtime's over. What I did were no worse than what you get up to. No, God, I was merely trying to supplement our income by helping Alec out in a crisis. Yeah, we all know what you were trying to supplement. Trying to take advantage of a strange woman. <coughs> you said it, Roxy. Well, the subject's closed. We'll get some glasses cleared. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later, V. Right, love. You're not off, are you? <laughs> well, I'm not on for an all night, I know. Just another ten minutes. Have you got another quid? Yeah. I'll tell you what, why don't we go and pick Samantha up and go clubbing? Well, what about Janice? No, she's not keen, no, no. Just me, you and Samantha. Tell you the truth, Les, I've not had my supper yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, and I promised Samantha I'd get a takeaway. We're having an early night, you see. Now you come to mention it, I've not had my supper neither. Anyway, I've left you another pint behind there. All right? Mm. Hey, uh, what's your favourite? Indian or Chinese? Indian. Me and all. I love Indian, me. You see, my trouble is, people don't understand me. They look down on me, Desi. No, 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 they do. But it's like it says in the Bible. What is? The Good Samaritan. They all pass by on the other side. I mean, who else round here? Bothered to save your life. Hey, hang on a minute, Les. I appreciate what you did for me, but I know, I know, I know you do. I know you do. That's why I'll always stick up for you. Because you're my pal. And I know you'll never turn your back on me. Am I right? We're back! Oh, how did you go on? Oh, thank you, Rita. That's made all the difference. Well, it's a good job you had Chris to give you a hand. Poor lad looks done in. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. Yeah, I'm really grateful. Uh, right, that's it then. Uh, were the girls all right, Rita? Oh, no trouble at all. Shall I show Rita what I got the girls for Christmas? Yeah. They're in here. Absolutely brilliant. I can't wait till Christmas. Well, I hope you're going to let them have a go at it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sell them parched. Any chance of a cuppa? I'm Rita. Uh, no, no, love, thanks. I'll be getting off. I'll see you. Ta da, love. See Ta -da. you. Samantha, are you decent? I've got someone with me. Oh, hang on, hang on. Guess who's come for supper? Must be your lucky night. Right, I'll go and change then. Oh, no, not on my account. No, you stop as you're love. Got your prawn balti. Thanks. Chicken vindaloo, mate. I like my curry strong. Hey, Desi, hot and strong, that's me. Now then, darling, let's get you a drink. What do you want, beer or lager? I'm all right, thanks. Ooh, you can say that again. In my book, you're 100% all uh, right. Les, why don't you go and sit yourself down over there, mate? Oh, uh, uh, I could just wash, wash my hands. Yeah, bathroom's upstairs. Yeah, first on the left. Champion. 
It's young for you and you've got a lovely home. I won't be long. Right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And so you should be. I couldn't help it. He was making out like he saved me life. Said he had nothing to eat all day. He was close to tears. <sighs> going on about I'd not a friend in the world except Never for me. Never mind the excuses. What are we going to do? I'm not going to have him sitting there lecturing at me, right? Yeah, right. Well, fetch his missus over. She'll soon put a stop to his gallop. Oh, that's better. <laughs> We're just saying, Les, wouldn't it be nice if uh, Janice joined us? The wife? What do you want to invite her for? We're doing all right on our own, aren't we, Samantha? No, no, we insist. Don't we, Des? Hmm. Oh. Shall we have another, for old time's sake? Oh, well, I might as well as wish we had it. Eh? Three pints over here, please. Oh, some kind of celebration. <laughs> More like a wake. End of contract. So you've finished digging up pavements about time and all. <laughs> What's here on the dole? Oh, I didn't mean I was glad about that. No, I hope you get some at soon, all of you. Uh, here, we take them out of that. I've been looking for you all over. Oh, where's Katie? Oh, Emily's come round. Where have you been? Oh, white Lion, Leech. It's last day. Why? What's happened? She's still here. Zoe. Where? I'm stopping over at Road at Ashley's. He's been round asking questions. What are you going to do? Well, I'll keep calm. We know what we're going to do. Just don't let on to anybody else. Be all over in a few days. We'll be away from here. I'll come home with you now. Uh, I'll see you later, lads. Tirano. Yeah, how do you fancy doing a few hours next week in humping crates? Cos our Jack's done his back end. Sorry, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, next week? Yeah, I I'll see you then, Vera. Thanks. Right. See ya. Oh, it's really nice of you to invite us round. We ought to do it more often. Do you reckon he's all right up there? Oh, he'll have fallen asleep on throne. <laughs> he were up early this morning. Be tired out. Yes, well, he's had a few drinks and all. Are you all right there, Les? Oh, I am now. I've got shot at Vindaloo. You haven't. It's all right, I've cleared it up. What, we? A couple of towels. Oh, my God. Right, I'll make oh. some black coffee. Good idea. I don't know how you keep your mind off it. What? What he says. You haven't got a brandy, have you? Just a thing for a bad belly. Are you sure? Aye. I'll get you a small one, then. Oh. Hey. Hey, I've, I've got you now. When you were talking about inviting the missus round, I've just twigged. What? I'm game. For what? Mixed doubles. I take it we're not talking about tennis here, Les. Flipping right, we're not. But me and Samantha are not married. I don't mind. And our Janice won't. Shall I ask her? Ask me what? Desi here's got a suggestion to make, haven't you? I have. What about? Well, shall I tell her how... Oh. <coughs> Oh, look, he's gone white. Come here, get out of that door. <laughs> and do it outside and all, you filthy pig. I'm so sorry, Des. I'll, uh, I'll take him home. I'll, uh, I'll bring your towels back tomorrow. Um, just wait till I get him in that house. <laughs> I'll see you, Des. I, I'm really embarrassed. See you, Sam. What a nightmare. Well, believe it or not, it could have been worse. Don't even ask. Oh, there you go. Where shall I put him? Chris, we need to talk. Right, I'll just pop out and get a bottle of wine. Hold on, it'll be a minute. No, I, I need to get it off my chest right now. Go on, then. Well, these last few months, I don't know what I would have done without you. You've... you've had to put up with all my problems and you've been great with the girls. But it's not fair on you. Well, don't feel sorry for me, Sally. It's by choice. I like you. Very much. But your life isn't here. Not in the long run. Not if we're realistic. Maybe, maybe not. But the girls are getting attached to you. You're becoming part of our family life and it's all wrong. Why? Well, because they're three steps ahead of us. They think you're going to be here for Christmas and New Year and ever after, and I can't promise them that. Well, can't we just carry on the way we have been? There's been a big change in their lives in the last six months, and it's been very painful for them. And I don't want them to go through all that again. And the more they accept you and the fact that you're going to be around, the more traumatic it'll be if it all goes wrong. 
But it might not. But it might. And I can't take that risk. I'm not willing to. So is this all about Kevin? Clearing the decks? All it's about is you and I not having a future together. I see. I don't want us to fall out. But nothing's going to change my mind. I should have told you this earlier, shouldn't I? I'll uh, find someone else to give these to. Thanks. Gears are a bit ropey, but it should get us there. You haven't parked the outside front door, have you? As opposed to what? Bringing it in? Garrett, as though he might see it. Why couldn't you park it round the corner in Maudsley Street, where it's not so conspicuous? And do what? Trips back and forth with baby stuff. Don't you think that'd be even more conspicuous? You could go out the back way. Jude, let's not start rowing, eh? This is going to be a hard enough day as it is. I just don't want her to find out. Don't want her to find out where? Well, she's going to know that we're gone. Everybody is. I do want everyone in the shop listening to our business. Hello. Hiya. Did you sleep all right? Yeah. And have you helped yourself some breakfast? Are you listening to me or not? You see, this is what I'm talking about. You're more interested in her than you are in me. Oh, I'm not in front of her. Why not? She knows she's the problem. If she don't want to hear, she knows what she can do. I'm sorry about this. It's just something we need to talk about. Yeah, she's the problem we have to talk about, and she knows it. I told you, I can't just throw her out. You mean you won't throw her out? Well, where's she gonna go? She's been telling me all about her life. It's been awful. And you've fallen for it? Yeah, well, you would. I haven't fallen for anything. I just can't throw her out in the middle of winter with nowhere to go and no one to help her. But you throw me out? What are you saying that for? I didn't want you to go. I asked you not to. I was going to come round and see you tonight if you hadn't come in shop. Yeah, well, but I couldn't wait till tonight. Come back, Maxine. You'll get to like her once you get know her. You don't get it, do you? Well, it's choice time, Ashley. Me or her. And I don't mean for one night this time. I mean for good. Come on. Who's it going to be, Ashley? Me or her? It's not fair, is that? If you're not going to answer me, then I'm going to presume you're going to choose her. Well, I can't just chuck her out. Where's she going to go? I don't care where she's going to go. She can go to hell for all I care. I've had enough of this. Oh, just hang on. What for when you just keep saying the same old thing? That's it this time, Ashley. We're finished, OK? Oh, oh my yeah. glad to see you. Yeah, well, I thought I'd better get back before Audrey takes over completely. Is she in there? Yeah, but guess what? I think she's with Ashley. Again? No. For good this time. She never gets her dad in there. Zoe and that baby. Look, Max, I'll tell you what. You tell me about that later. Let me sort Audrey out first, OK? Yeah. OK. Oh, Fiona, nice to see you. Hiya. Yeah, well, I thought I'd better come back. Oh, right. just a so how are you? Come on, sit down. You shouldn't be standing. Oh, yes, I should. Before someone steps into my shoes. Oh, look, Audrey, thank you very much for your offer to buy the salon, but it's not for sale. Yeah, well, I was only thinking of you on your own. I mean, having to cope with a baby. I'll manage. <sighs> yeah, perhaps we should have a little talk later. Mm, there's nothing really to talk about, is there? Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs and check that my flat is still in one piece and throw out some photographs. She's putting on a brave face, but I wonder how long that'll last. Finish with Ashley. 
told him to get lost. Oh, Maxine, you're young. You should spread your wings. Do you know, I think she's going to regret it if she turns down our offer. Now, you're supposed to be her best friend, so just remind her of that, will you? Yeah? Oh, sorry, love. Gone. Yeah. So, can I stop? You're gonna have to go eventually. You can't stop forever. Yeah, but for now. Yeah, you can stop for now, yeah. I'll have to get back to the shop. think that he was joking. I don't think he knew what he was doing. He had that much to drink. Yeah, well, I'd had the same and I knew what he was doing. Suggesting a bit of good old-fashioned wife swapping, that's what he was doing. You for Janice. You know, I suppose pound for pound I could have been onto a winner there. Oh, I don't think I would. Mm, I could tell you weren't keen. I will see you later. Mm -hmm. See ya. Oh, uh, Sam, a couple of aspirins and a pint. Set them up for us, will you? I don't know if I'm quite ready for Christmas just yet. Well, you don't have to get dressed up at all. It's only like uh, sandwiches and a few drinks at Rover's. Well, I'll probably be in there anyway. Yeah, go on, OK. I'll be happy to have a drink with you. I remember when I was tired you were in a nativity class. She was one of the angels. Hey, our Rose is one of the angels. So, um, is your husband going on the well, he's going, so we'll be like sat together. But I'm getting a little Gail and Martin. They're David's one at Three Wise Men. Oh, is there? Hey, do you know they're having a Christmas party this lunchtime? Hey. Not here, in the Rovers. Now, you are telling me, not in here. I thought it might be a nice gesture if we bought them the first round of drinks. Yeah, it would be. Not going to do it, but it would be a nice gesture. Oh, Mike, don't be mean. I am not mean. I'm not having that. I've got more drinks in a Rovers than I care to remember, but not with people I employ. It gets, well, complicated. How do you mean, complicated? Well, they buy you one back, you get a bit pally, then the cutbacks come and you think, can't take either, been drinking with her, and while you're thinking about it, your business, <laughs> down the drain. They do have shops in Newcastle, you know. I just don't want to turn up empty-handed like we're expecting your brother and his wife to cater for us. Well, I've loaded everything I can think of on the van. Katie's stuff, all our clothes, now we can get a move on. She'll want changing when she wakes up. Well, can't you do that on a motorway? And feeding. I just think it's better that we sort her out here. And with a bit of luck, we'll get to Newcastle without having to stop. But I put the changing mat and everything on the van. Well, you'll just have to take it off again then, won't you? Honest, Gary, I can smell her now. You know what she's like, she'll be yelling her head off before she gets a bottle. Yeah, 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 OK. Uh, have you taken Scamper for his walk? Well, how could I? I couldn't leave Katie. Right. Well, will you do that now, then, please, while I see to Katie? Yeah, all right, then. But then we're going to want some dinner, aren't we? You mean you will? Well, it's gone 12 o'clock now. Gary! Right. Just get the stuff off the van that I need for Katie, take Scamper for a walk, and I'll make us some dinner. Right? Thanks, <laughs> I might tell Kev what Sal's up to. Why? Well, not to be nasty. I just think he might be relieved to know she's got someone new and that she's um, and that she's building up a life for herself. You're right. Yeah. It's just something I get sometimes. It'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now then, ladies, is everything to your liking? Hey, we'll so tell you if it's not. <laughs> hey. We could be doing with getting some blokes there. Oh. So you could sort us out with about seven. <laughs> hey, I am not want one. I'm going after that nativity play in a minute. You want one when you come back? Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Young men aren't on the menu. Then they ought to be. <laughs> now, what sort of pub is this? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad to see you enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I better go and get ready for this thing at Rosie's school. Yeah. I should be back by the time you finish. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm just feeling a bit. I told you, I go a bit funny sometimes when I've got a cold, it'll go off. Well, come on and I'll take you home. You can't carry on like this. I can, and I am doing. You go on. Okay. See you later. See, See ya. ya. See ya. 
So, what are you up to today, then? Oh, don't know. See what happens. Thank you, please, love. Hey, it was, uh, it was a good night last night, eh? <laughs> Made a change. Next time you two have to come across to us. Hey, even better. If, uh, if Desi's not around, you come across on your own. Whatever answer that leather gear you used to have. We haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, well, I only wear it when I go on the bike. Yeah, well, that's one use for it, I suppose, yeah. One pound forty. Oh, you're coming home. I thought you'd gone. There's no way I'm going to drive off, leave you looking like you're going to collapse any minute. Now, either you tell Alec, or I will. Oh, I forgot that mad lot were going to be in here. They're not mad, they're just happy. On their wages? No, they're mad. What you can have? Uh, I'll have a pint, please. Hello, Mr Baldwin. Hi. I'm Hi. G. Hiya. Your party's well underway, I see. Hey, that's not. We're just getting tacked up. <laughs> Four rum and cups, and she's anybody's. <laughs> what are you doing this afternoon, Mr Baldwin? I'm meeting my wife. Well, ring her up and give her an excuse. You'll not regret it. Can we have a bit of service here, Alec? Mike. What is it, large scotch? Uh, hey. And a pint. Hey, we'll get them. All the same as before and what Mr Baldwin's just said. Certainly. No, you don't have to, I don't know. We want to, don't we? Yeah, it's Christmas. Goodwill to all men, even you. Oh, <laughs> right, well, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Say that when you refuse to buy them a drink. I'm their employer and their benefactor. I pay them wages all the year. The least they can do is buy me a drink at Christmas. Have you heard of Scrooge? Yeah, someone I've always admired. Apart from that bit at the end when he goes all soft. Hey, Janice, you're not getting us another drink, are you? Because I've got to go. Mm. Oh, you're coming back, though, aren't you? Yeah, I hope so. See you later. All right, love. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. Sally? Sal! What? Look, it doesn't have to end like this, you know. I'm sorry, Chris, but it does. I know I've been coming on too strong and I shouldn't have tried to get involved with the girls. Look, I've told you. It's finished. Can't we just see one another now and again? No. Excuse me, you coming through? Hiya. Hello. Your dinner's ready. Well, better have that and then we better go. It's you who will go without it. You don't want me to phone a doctor? No, I'll be okay. Well, you don't look okay. It's called postural hypertension. It'll be gone by tomorrow. You white as a sheet? I feel white as a sheet. Anyway, go on. You get off to your nativity. This time. I just hope he remembers it's frankincense he's supposed to be giving baby Jesus. Eh? I keep saying Frankenstein. <laughs> it's gonna scare the kid out to death. Kevin's not coming, is he? Yeah, of course he is. Look, you go in. There's no point us all being late. No, we'll wait here with you. No, he's not coming. We'll all go in. Come on. Come on, Mum. All right. Come in, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> You're dragging me. Same again, Alec, me and Mike, and uh, whatever the girls want. You must have money to throw away. I was hoping you'd go halves. Prove you've got a heart, after all. Aye. Hmm. All right, then. But I'm going to need a receipt. File it under entertainment. <laughs> Sammy. Yeah, another pint. Hey, and I'll, uh, I'll tell you what. Do you see how our uh, Janice is sat over there? The kids are out as well. Shall we, uh, shall we nip over to our place? You know. Why would I want to do that? Well, I think you know why. Me and you were on the same wavelength last night, weren't we? No, we weren't. 
We will never be. Yeah. Alec, can you serve me, please? What's going on now? Oh, he's just going on and on, making suggestive comments. Oh, is he now? Uh, hey, Des. No, 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 let's all keep calm. It's OK, Alec, it's OK. Des, you're mere pals. Has he told you how I saved his life? Look, you may well have done less. It doesn't give you the right to keep pestering Sam. Oh, well, I like that. That's the thanks I get, is it? You know, I saved this fella's life, and now I'm told I can't even speak to his girlfriend. Well, I'll tell you what, next time I'll just walk straight on past. Hey, 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 what's all this shouting about? What's ingratitude! <laughs> That's what it is! Flaming ingratitude! Get out of the way! Not again. I thought you and him were getting on. Janice, I am doing my best. My husband of yours don't make it very easy. Right, I've fixed Scamper's basket so it won't move. All I have to do now is get him to sit in it. You know what's just occurred to me? Something else that's going to hold us up, because if it is, you can forget it. No, we need to have a word with Samantha and Curly. Samantha and Curly? Yeah, Katie's godparents. We can't just go away without saying something. I thought the whole idea was we weren't going to tell anybody anything. Well, we're not going to tell them where we're going, just that Katie's not going to be around. Well, I'll tell them next week when I come back to sort this place out. No, I'll tell them. It'll only take me ten minutes. And then Scamper will want another wee, and then it'll be tea time. She's fast asleep. I'll just feel easier if I've said something, that's all. I mean, I get that business going for her when she was at her mother's nursing her wounds. Yeah, well, if she doesn't want to sell. But how does she know what she wants? I mean, after all that's happened to her poor kid. Oh, she looks pretty well to me. Oh, yeah, because Muggins here has been slaving away on her behalf for the last two weeks. Right, so you're not actually saying that there's anything going on between Ashley and Sally? There might be. I don't know, I'm not there, am I? Well, right, we'll move back in then. Then you will know, won't you? Well, you wouldn't, would you? I mean, you even cancelled your wedding because somebody said something. What? Just mean you're not the only one who's got a plan. Right. You're here. Right, I'll tell you what, Ashley. You talk to her because it is more than what I can do. You didn't mean what you said this morning, did you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I make it about that? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, you're all right. How's that lovely baby of yours? Oh, she's gorgeous. Good. Can we have one? Well, probably, if we're not careful. No. <laughs> Actually, it's Katie that I've come to talk to you about. Uh, can we go through there for a quick chat? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Let's just have a quick word with Alec. Right. Alec, can you come through and have a quick word? Uh, no, no, she can't. And you're supposed to be serving, not yakking. Sorry, it's just been a bit busy right now. Oh, never mind. I can say what I've got to say. I know I'm going to get tired, and I know once I have the baby, I'm not going to have a minute, so... No, you won't. Well, I would be grateful, then, if you would help out. Oh, of course I will love her. No, she was just saying how much she admires the way you're so determined to carry on. Mm. I haven't really got much choice, have I? Hey! It's the same round as before, if you can remember it. Yes, yes, I think I can. Hey, I bet you were right handsome when you were younger, weren't you? No, but he weren't any taller. <laughs> I bet you broke a few hearts, though, didn't you? Yeah, usually when I gave him their P45. <laughs> Yeah, see what I told you? Now they think they're mates. Right, big drinking pals. I'm sure you'll soon disillusion them. <laughs> Alma. I thought we were going to be for good. Get married and everything. Yeah, well, I'm not ready for that. She's only stopped until she finds somewhere else. It doesn't matter to me now. She can do what she wants. Fair enough. Everything all lovey dovey again then? Oh, we've finished, I told you. What, because there's no way? Yeah. Though, if it hadn't been because of her, it'd have been for something else. You're going somewhere? No, I'm just moving a few bits for a minute. So, why have you seen you putting out baby stuff in there then? What do you want, Zoe? I want to see my baby. Well, I'm sorry, but you've caught us at a bad time. Look, please, Gary. I just want to see you, that's all. All right. But just a look, and then you'll have to go, all right? Yeah. Go on. Oh, look at that. 
And she's a winner. Can I hold a counter? No, no, Zoe, we said. I don't care what we said. All right, then, just for a couple of minutes. And now are you, eh? Have you missed me? It's all right, you can carry on with your packing. Hey, there was some <laughs> talent on that stage. <laughs> well, they remember the lines, that's the main thing. Yeah, and shouting them. <laughs> huh? No chance of falling asleep, was there? <laughs> You'd have thought he could have managed his own daughter's nativity play. Yeah, well... Maybe he was called out on a job cell. He was drinking in the Rovers at dinner time. Well, of course, she was working, so I shouldn't be too surprised he got distracted. Well, maybe we should just give him the benefit of the doubt, eh? And why should I do that? Well, I'm just saying so. If that's him. Listen, if that's him, we're going. All right. Hiya. You're just in time for a cup of tea. I'm sorry, Sam. All right. Well, uh, Simon, we're off anyway. Yeah. yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, Kevin. Missed a great show, mate. <laughs> Ox and ass are worth a spin off. <laughs> yeah, I would have been there, but Natalie got taken poorly. <laughs> I knew it would be a good reason. We'll see ourselves out. Yeah. Come on, you see you later, folks. Come on, Pugglehugs. Come on. Thanks for taking me, Martin. See ya. It's true, so what I said. Natalie was taken poorly. Very convenient. Oh, no, Sal. She was poorly. Look, she told me to leave, but I wouldn't. You'd better go back to her then, hadn't you? Yeah, I will. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Well, it's no use saying you're sorry to me. It wasn't my nativity play you missed. Rosie? Come in here. Zoe. Zoe, Jude will be back in a minute. Yeah, well, you can't set off without her, can you? So I think it'll be best if you put her back in a cot. Where is he going? Oh, stop playing games, Zoe. I'm not the one playing games. I'm not the one trying to sneak off. Look, you don't want to upset Katie, do you? Where is it you're going? No. Now, will you put her back in a cot, please? Oh, Rosie, love. I'm ever so sorry I missed your nativity play. I didn't mean to, but something happened. You're going to tell them what? Natalie was taken ill, and I had to look after her. I'm sorry. There's your answer. I want to feed her. Well, she's not due a feed for another hour. Come on, then. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't fasten her in, she'll get too warm. She likes to be free, like a man. Judy's a man. Yeah. Zoe, you better go. Well, can I see you when you get back? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. OK. Take care of yourself, won't you? When you met Les? Romney in the first floor. Oh, well, maybe by then. <laughs> hey, Rom, you're kidding all, just like I will am. Well, she's no innocent. <laughs> hey, as well she knows. <laughs> How'd you put up with her? The only way. Yeah, well, I'll try it then. <laughs> it's all sex, isn't it? Mostly, yeah. I had a mate once, a toilet cleaner. He always reckoned that the graffiti in the ladies was twice as bad as the gents. 
Oh, thank God you're back. I've been rushed off my feet with this lot. Well, I'm sorry, Alec, but it happens from time to time, and there's no I can do about it. Yes, well, I think you're back now, so get stuck in. There's some glasses one collecting, and then four one serving over there. Alec, when you have a minute? Oh, right. Yes, yes Gail. No, it's OK. I'm going. Feeling better now? Sorry? I heard you were ill. Yeah. I feel a bit better, thank you. Good. Pity Kevin missed the nativity play. See you. What's up with her? Oh, Kevin missed Rosie's nativity play, so of course I'm taking all the flack for it. Have you told him about Chris yet? No. There's enough guilt flying about. I'm going to leave that one for now. Mm. Rosie. I didn't want to see your nativity play. I left work, I got changed, I was all ready. And then, well, Natalie was taken ill, wasn't she? And I couldn't leave her. Same as I wouldn't leave you if you was ill. Look, I understand you being angry at me. But I'm sorry I missed your play. We could do it now. No, your daddy's too busy. Not really. Oh, well, that's funny. You were too busy earlier. Look, I'd like to see him do it, Sal. Please, Mum. They've done it once and you weren't there. We could do it again. How, Rosie, love? There's no Joseph. I can be Joseph. Yeah, I can be the innkeeper, the shepherd. Hey, and the kings. How many cases? Three or four and all shan and stuff. And where did he say we're off? Well, he didn't, did he? Not really. Well, he said for a couple of days. Yeah, but he was lying. I know he was lying. People do go away, Zoe. But they're not coming back. I know it. They have to. They can't leave their house and all the stuff. <laughs> I know her, Ashley. She'd do out to keep my baby. She's going to take her away and I'm never going to see her again. No, she won't. She will. <laughs> I'll never see her grow up. I'll never see what she turns out like. I was holding her. I was holding her and she was looking up at me. I love her, Ashley. Come on, come here. Come on, come on. They won't take her. I won't let him. Does that mean you love me? Oh, yeah. But it won't come to that. She won't let her go, will she? You can always phone police. No police. You can tell them what they're doing's wrong. Buying a baby. I sold her. They can't touch you. Get a 16-year-old girl. They'll put me somewhere, they always do. They'll put me somewhere and they'll take Shannon off me. They won't. You're only saying that because you want rid of me. I'm not. I want to help you. I want to help you get your baby back. Yeah, well, the only way I'm going to do that is if I go around there and take her. I can feel the baby coming. <laughs> oh! Right, you can stand by me now. Sophie, you come on in. Crooked. Right, Dad, shepherds. Oh, sorry. Shepherd it is. <laughs> hey, up. Are you flitting? Hey? It's a van. Oh, short break. A bit low on oil. You'd think they'd check on, wouldn't you? They know you will, mate. Saves them money. <laughs> anyway, it's not the only one to look at in these. It's the water. Oh, Make sure you've got plenty of water in it, mate, I'll try to open it. All right, then. You have a good trip. Cheers. Don't forget to bring your sub rock back. <laughs> See ya. See you later, lads. Just a minute. Ashley, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't want me going, I'm going to kick you down. Well, I'm gone. Just hang on. Don't leave me. I'll have to do something before he kicks the door through. 
I want that baby. Look, Gary. Don't mess me about Ashley. I saw her bring her in. Just calm down, right? Oh, don't get involved, Ashley. Just calm down. I just want that baby. Well, if you don't calm down, I'm going to have to ring the oh, police. Oh, do me a favour, Ashley. I mean it, Gary. Look, hang on, Ashley. We're not criminals. We just want what's ours. Katie is ours. It's Shannon and she's mine. No, she's not. She's ours. You know that. We brought her up. We love her. Think about what this will do to Judy. It'll break her heart, Ashley. I'm a mother. So he's right. No, she's better off with us. You know that. She can't bring up a kiddy. We don't know that. Well, look at her. I think you just better go now. All right. But you think about it. You think that if any harm comes to that baby because of what you've done, it's a baby's life we're talking about here. Think about it, Ashley. So, yeah, it was lovely. Oh, that was so good. Right, come on, girls, it's bath time. Oh, no yeah. arguing, both of you, come on. Can Dad bath us? No, your daddy's very busy, he's got to go home. Oh. Look, Rosie, he's seen you play. Now he's got to go, he's got things to do at home. So, come on, quick, quick, up the stairs and let's get in the bath, both of you. That's it. Go on. Right, don't let me keep you. I'd like to stay if I can, so. I'll wind them up some more. I'm not winding them up. You miss their play, you get a private performance, and now you want to bath them. They're the ones who ask, not me. I want daddy to bath them. I love them, so. I want to be there for them. Oh, yeah, like you were there for them today, you mean? I've said I'm sorry. Okay, you're mad at me. It's not fair to use the kids against myself, especially on them. Oh, so this is all for them, is it? Go on, then. But for their sakes, not yours. Right, that's me. I've had enough duty done. Oh, I wait off to then. Pictures? Pictures and a curry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hang on, then. Hiya. All right, Hello. mate. You're right. Yeah, just coming for a pint. Oh, we're off. Pictures. Oh, can I come? Yeah, of course you can. But no, but you, listen, you can't walk out. Okay. Yes, I can. But what about this lot here? Well, you'll have to serve them. Did, come on. Did you see that? She's just walked out on me. I mean, where's her loyalty? Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Ali, but I'm going to have to go as well. Hey? I feel really lousy. I shouldn't have come back in. <sighs> but you can't just leave me to cope with this lot. You'll be fine as long as your tills are still ringing. <laughs> That's not the point. It... Come on, Alec. Yes. Sort yourself out. Right. There's thirsty lasses waiting there. I am, I'm with you. I'm with you. Right. You never did have any tears, did you? I married you. Pint, Alec, please. What's that supposed to mean? Work it out, you sold him. Where have you been, any wrong? A trip in the country. Country? Well, it'll be Christmas soon. Come on, Alec, where's that pint? Listen, I'm still dealing with these ladies, right? Ladies? <laughs> and don't you forget it. Your bath chains ready for bed. Said they could play in the room. Right, so there's no reason for you to stir then now, is there? Isn't there? Well, you've had your own private performance of your children's play. I've had your performance as the dutiful dad. Wasn't a performance, so. I miss him. Really miss him. How can you say that? I say it because it's true. I can say it because I love him. 
I want to be with... Come on, Kevin, spare me the tears. It's not good feeling sorry for yourself now. What's done's done. I know. I regret it. I don't want to be a part-time parent. Someone who takes his kids to the park at weekends. I want to see him at night. I want to see him in the morning. I want to talk to him over breakfast. I want to see him when I come home from work, so. You should have thought of that before you went off with Natalie. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm scared, so. I'm scared I'm going to lose him. You're over the world, for goodness sake. You can see him any time you want. Not if you move. I'm not gonna move. If you meet someone else? I'm not gonna meet anybody else. Why not? You're a good-looking woman. You could easily meet someone and move away. And then what? I could lose touch with my kids forever. Only me! Sorry I took so long, only Curly kept me gabbing. And I picked up a few things for our Katie's Christmas stocking. Eh, I got this, what do you think? Where is she? Do you listen? Where is she? She's always been round. She's always been here? Well, I was changing the oil on my car. And you left Katie on her own in the house? Just for a couple of minutes. You idiot. You bloody idiot! She was so quick. Where is she? Well, she's across the road. I'll kill her. Do you calm down? Calm down! She's taking my baby! Jude! Jude! Look, it's no good panicking. I've told you, we can't stay here. You're safe here. Not when she finds out. I know her, Ashley. She'll do anything to get back and steal Shannon. So what do we do? I've told you what we do. We go. We go somewhere. Where? Anywhere. Where she can't find us. You've got the van. Well, come on before she gets back. Zoe! Let me in. I know you're in there. I know you've got Katie. I told you she'd come for her, didn't I tell you? We should have gone out while we had the chance. Look, don't panic, OK? Don't! Let her in. What are you doing? Look! We can't just leave them out there knocking and shouting. Don't let her in! Let me in! I just want my baby back! She's not your baby, she's my baby! Just calm down, right? Let me in, I'm gonna kick this door in! Can you keep it down, you'll have all the neighbourhood out. Yeah, then we'd have somewhere to tell them all, wouldn't we? Look, I know we can sort something out here. I know we can. I just want Casey back. Well, look, if you won't talk. No, I. I uh, uh, we do want to talk. We don't want any trouble. We just came round to talk. Then we're going to get nowhere. Sorry about that. Better go. Yeah, you probably have said enough. You're going to regret it in the morning. I've said what I feel. I can't live without them. I'd always move back. Move back? That's what I want. But what about me? What about what I want? I live here as well. I mean, what makes you think I'd want you back? I don't know. It's all about you, this, isn't it? What you want. Have you ever stopped to think about how I might feel about all this? OK. Are you happy with the way things are? <sighs> I think I've forgotten what happy is. Let's try again. Let's let me move back in. What, just so you can see the kids? And you. <sighs> Come on, Kevin. I mean it, so. I still love you, you know. You've put me through hell. I know. 
And I'm sorry. Truly sorry. That's so easy to say. I've said what I feel. What about you? Don't you feel anything for me at all? She's my baby. We agreed. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. You can't just do that, Zoe. Why can't I? Because we had a deal. Look, I can see what's happening here. How you feel, even. But in the end, it's Zoe's baby, not yours. Not just Zoe's baby. Gary's as well. She's not Gary's. Gary is the father. His name's on the birth certificate. Liam's the father. Liam? Who's Liam? You're making that up as well? Look, it's no good shouting at each other. She's told me everything. You mean she's lied about everything? Look, it doesn't matter who the father is, because I'm a mother and I can do what I want. We paid you good money. I don't care about the money. I'm not interested in it. I just want to keep my baby. If you're not interested in the money, then give it us back. I can't. I haven't got it. Then we'll take Katie, then. No, I'm not handing her over to either of you. Right, well, we'll just take her, then. OK? Look, you took advantage of me. I didn't know what I was doing. We took you in. We looked after you when you needed it. Yeah, to protect your investment. That's not how it was. Well, how was it, then? It all sounds funny to me. Just keep out of it, Ashley. It's none of your business. This is my house. It makes it my business. Will you just butt out, Ashley? No, I won't. Zoe says Liam's a father, and I believe her. You might have paid for it, babe, but it don't make it right. She's a baby's mother, we know that. And I think she should keep her own baby no matter what happened. I'm not going anywhere without Katie. Right, then. Well, I'll phone police, because they can sort all this. Come on, Jim. No, Gary. Taking care of Judy! I said, Judy. come on! Right, everybody, girls. Kitty time. Put your hands in your pockets. I want a tenner off every one of you. Hey, hang on a bit. Never putting that much in, I think you should go somewhere a bit posh. Posh? What do you want posh for? What he means is, he doesn't want you spending your money somewhere else. What I'm trying to say, ladies, is you're perfectly welcome to stay here and do whatever you want to do to whatever time you want, and I'll even try and rustle up some more sandwiches. Whatever we want? Within reason. Oh, oh, oh come Look on, let's go. We've got somewhere else. No, no, now, ladies, please, please, don't. You don't want to be going out there in this weather. I mean, you'll catch your death of cold. We'll <laughs> chance it. Right, girls, we're off to Warwick for some proper girls. Hey, up. I'm coming with you. Ladies, get lost. It's a girly night. Oh, I do. I'll have to put laughing before you. That's a good idea. Hey, hang on, girl. I'm sorry, Jude. I made a mistake. Oh, you've been making a lot of mistakes lately, haven't you? It comes from living a lie. I don't care about lies. I care about my baby. She'll be missing me. She'll be upset. She'll be all right. How can you say that? When she's over there with her. It'll be a feed time soon. What are they going to do with stuff to you? Getting worked up's not going to solve anything. You shouldn't have left her on her own. Hey, don't you blame all this on me. We would have been halfway to Newcastle and you haven't messed about all afternoon. I can't stand this, Gary. I'm going to have to go over there. Oh, no, just wait. Just wait. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What's up? There's now up. I've just come round for the baby's things for a bottle and feed. You are? I just think she's hungry. You've got a nerve coming round no, here. No, Ashley's right. We don't want Katie suffering, do we? It'll take a while to get the stuff together. How much is that? You just go back over there and we'll bring it over. Right, thanks. And I'm sorry about No, 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 no. Just go and tell Zoe we'll be over in ten minutes. I'll tell her. And thanks. I think you're both doing the right thing. What are you playing at? You want Katie back, don't you? You know I do. Then trust me. Where's the stuff? They're bringing it over. I thought you were getting it. They're starting to see sense. I told you they would if I told them. Don't be stupid. It's just no way of getting back in here to steal Shannon. No, it's not. It wasn't Judy's suggestions. It was Gary's. He doesn't want any trouble. 
He knows it's a waste of time trying to snatch you. Yeah, well, I'm not going to take that chance. Well, you can tell me what all that were about. Whatever we do now to get Katie is against the law. We can never come back here. The van's open. When we take Katie's stuff over there while they're off guard, I'll sort Ashley out, you grab Katie, and we bring her back here and we put her in the van. You can't just turn up out the blue and tell me you love me and expect me to take you back. Not when you've been sharing your life with another woman. I made a mistake. And you think that's enough? To just say that you're wrong? No. I don't. It's going to take more than words and a few tears to convince me of that. This is where I'm going to leave Natalie. What? You want proof? I'll prove it to you. Coming for a drink with us to Warwick. Another time, Janice. All right then. All right. Jane! Jane! Gary! No! 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 Katie! No! Ashley's got to come back sometime. And when he does, I'll make him say where he took her. And what if he won't? What then? Well, I'll make sure that he does. Like you made sure that you took care of our Katie. Like you made sure that you saw to our baby. Don't. Don't touch me! You lost her. You lost her! 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 How are you feeling? A bit better. You've been a long time. Yeah, well, I had a lot of explaining to do, didn't I? The girls were really upset. I'm sorry, Kev. It was my fault. It's okay. Was it really grim? It wasn't easy. You look washed out. Yeah. Look, why don't you go and sit down and have a drink? I'm making some dinner. It'll be ready soon. Got both for the shower. Okay. Gosh, no, we come to see you. Oh, someone told us there were some decent-looking fellas knocking about. Oh, uh, well, there's my boss. <laughs> oh, no! I don't fancy him. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, stick around. There's a group on ledge. It's rock and roll night. Great. Roll that carpet back. I'll show you how a rock and roll Can it wait till after you've ordered? Oh, well, we can wait forever for me. Oh. Right, girls, tenor in kitty. Oh, right. Oh, right. It's fine. Feel better? Pour the wine. I'm not much in the mood for the drink. Oh, it's not like you. No. Well, maybe you'd like to pour me some then. Sure. Mm. This is lovely if I say so myself. Cheers. Cheers. Well, come on, get stuck in. This is really good state, this. See? Not hungry? No. All right, Kevin, what's the matter? Going 
that's a seller. Oh. Kevin, please. There'll be other nativity plays. Oh, this isn't a joke, Natalie. I don't want to tell you like this. Kevin, don't say anything you'll regret. Let's just have the meal and have a drink. Sorry, Natalie. Give me mine up. Kevin, wait! You've had a bad day. It's all my fault. You've upset the kids and you feel guilty about it. But please, don't do anything stupid. I've got to go. Just like that? I'll pack it a few things. I'm sorry. So... Bishop live here? Uh, yeah. Sure? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I'm Spider. Spider? You got it, yeah. It's all right, it's clean. Yeah. You? Oh, uh, Toya. Great name. Yeah. Yes? Jeffrey. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't buy things on the doorstep. That's all right then, I'm not selling anything. I beg your pardon? Your nephew, Jeffrey Nugent. Edgar's boy? Hard to believe. Well, yes. I've grown a bit since he last saw me. Well, you, you're certainly different. People change. Yes. My dad says if you want to grow, stand in manure. And I've been putting my foot in it all my life. That was a joke. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, uh, well, it, it's a bit of a shock opening the door to someone you've not seen for years. Any family resemblance? Not really. Oh, never mind. Can I come in then? Oh, yes, yes. Of course. Come in, Geoffrey. Oh, by the way, my mates call me Spider. That's it over there. Where your friend lives? Yeah. Right, well, I'll give you an hand. You all right? I can fit everything in carry cot. Well, at least let me make sure you get in safe. Look, I've told you she doesn't like men. You'll probably frighten her. Are you sure you're going to be OK? Of course I will. And you know where I am if you need me for anything. Right, yeah. I hope Judy and Gary go easy on you when you get back. I can look after myself. Well, tell them I'll let them know how Shannon is. Right. I'll maybe even arrange a visit. Here. No, Ashley, you've done enough. It's not for you, it's for the baby. Go on, don't wait around, I ate goodbyes. Will you take care of yourself? I will. Sorted then, aren't you? Yeah, okay, I'll have a word. Uh, girls! Get her down, will you? Try it. My boss <laughs> is watching! <laughs> hey, oh, that's Joe Jackson. Yes, yeah, the band will play later. Do you not know? I thought I knew him. Jump Jackson! <laughs> and the giant five. 
I used to go out with him when I was a lad. Oh, how old is he? Oh, no age at all. Isn't it funny? Oh, I haven't seen him for years. Oh. Hey, up, Ida. I think he's recognised you. Do you? <laughs> well, how close were you? I don't know. I have always been a wife and mother. Excuse me. Hey, I'm coming with you. Hey, you. Oh, oh, shut up. Go on, get in there. Oh, oh, Jill. Jill Jackson. Yes, darling, correcto. Ida. Oh, yeah. Ida Club. Only you knew me as Ida Bulma then. Sorry, though. Remember, back at a sold all. December to uh, 1961. You must have the wrong bloke. I was just starting school in 1961. I seem to know your face, though. I don't think we've ever met. Definitely seen you somewhere. Do you do a bit of modelling or something? Come on, Janice Lovey Alice, what a plonker. Shut up, Ida, I'm talking. Oh, well, excuse me. I'll get myself a drink. Get me one and all, if you like. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like me much, your mate. I think she thought you'd gone out with her. Oh, with my dad, maybe. Trouble with my business, you know, when your face is public property, you always get women coming up claiming something. Oh, it must be difficult. I do my best. Try to make myself available to me public. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Hey, where are you off like? Well, I don't want to be a nuisance. Well, you're a nuisance. I'll tell you. <laughs> this is John, my drummer, and Charlie, my bass. Are you all right? Where's the other three? Eh? Jump Jackson and the Jive Five. Probably died of old age. <laughs> I suppose Sally agrees. Not really, no. So you're not rushing back to the family nest then? Not yet. Then stay. Stay and think about what you're doing. I can't. So where are you going with all your little bags packed, then? Bed and breakfast. To prove a point? I'm doing what I think's right. Yeah, well, you'll find out in time, won't you? Yeah, I suppose I will. And don't come running back to me when you change your mind. I won't change my mind. Well, you've done it before. I've got to go. Kevin, wait. Listen, I know you've had a bad day and you've taken a lot of flack. And you think that by leaving me, you're going to get rid of all those guilty feelings. I just want Sally and the girls. If this is what I've got to do to get him, then this is what I'll do. So there's no guarantee then? I mean, she's not welcoming you back into the family fold. I just want to see my kids grow up. Then do it from here. Stay with me and see them. I've never stopped you. That's not what I want. You want her? Yeah. You're fed up with me? It's not like that. You've had your little thrill now. It's back to your wife. Look, this is difficult enough as it is. Good. Well, I hope it's hurting you as much as it's hurting me. I don't want to hurt you, Natalie. Before you walk out to me for good, I want you to think back. Because you had all that before you met me. Your cosy little house, Sally, the two lovely kids, and it wasn't enough for you. It was, yeah. I just didn't know it. And you do now? I think so. You and me was wrong. We've always been wrong. You know what you are, Kevin? You're spineless. You're gutless. Faced with it, you just chicken out. We could have had something really good. And the truth is, we could still have something good. You're wrong. The truth is, I wanted you. Well, if I'm really honest with myself, I never loved you. Go on, then. Go on, go back to her. But don't expect to find the little virgin bride that you left behind. You're not the only one who's been playing away. I don't care who she's been with. As long as she's back with me from now on. Oh, really? Well, I'll tell Chris then, because I'm sure he'll be very relieved. Chris? Surprised. I thought you knew how it goes. You're lying. No, I'm not. But I think you should be in full possession of the facts before you make a stupid mistake. I don't believe you. Ask him then. Ask Sally. Now, these are pretty high, but it's hard to keep clean when you're in camp. There's not always enough water, and when you're under siege, it's all used for drinking. The first thing they do if they want you out of an area is cut the water off or pollute it. 
So you're an eco-warrior? Well, that's a polite name for us. But you actually do battle with the, the local authorities and the police. We try not to. More like passive resistance. Oh, it looks very dangerous up those trees. Well, worse underground. Still, somebody's got to do it. We've got to protect the environment. So what exactly are you doing in Weatherfield, then? Well, a bit of business, that's all. Don't worry. I won't sponge up you for long. Got the world to save, haven't I? Oh, I didn't mean that. I was just curious. I oh, know. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I'll put these in the uh, washing machine, uh, if, if there's nothing else. No, that's about it. Uh, OK, if I spread my tent out here, only it's a bit damp from the last do. Oh, yes, of course, and uh, and I'll see to these, and then I'll, uh, I'll make us some supper. I think I have a, a couple of chops in the fridge. <laughs> no meat. Not for me, thanks. I don't eat flesh. Oh, well, um, how about eggs? Yeah, I don't eat dairy products either. I'm vegan. So, so that's no cheese mm. and milk, butter? But vegetables are fine. Yes. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Get some tea on. That weirdo I was telling you about, his name of the bishop's backyard. I said I'm hungry. Is anybody interested? No one is. Charming. I spend my entire life devoted to a family who doesn't care. Well, if you want some, fix it yourself. Can you see him? Nah, there's just an old bit of cloth stretched over the backyard. Oh, that's his tent. What is all this? I'm gagging for me tea, and all you two can do is talk about Emily Bishop's backyard. Well, if you want something to eat, go and get yourself some fish and chips or something. I'll do better than that. I'll go down the Warwick. Mm, bit classy for you, innit? Can't be. Not if you let your mum and her mates in. Anyway, there's some nosh laid on. Just mind you don't choke yourself in a chicken bar. No such luck. <laughs> Ashley, you had better say something or so help me! I don't care, I promised her! Oh, I Harry, stop! She's safe, I can tell you that. She's with some friend. A friend? Some girlfriend that dropped her there myself. What's her name? She wouldn't say. She said she'd get in touch and perhaps even make, arrange make a visit. I bet. She's not a liar! This is your baby. This is Shannon. Yes! Rock and roll for the Warrior tonight! All way fucking, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, up, what's all this then? Oh, are you Les? Hey, he's really great. You'll love him. It's Jump well, now, Jackson uh, and the Jive I like Bar. to take things down. He's really talented. He looks like a Wally to me. Hey, why don't me and you have a dance like we used to? Get off! That was, as I'm sure you guessed, our tribute to the publishing to a geriatric. Well, Lenny's a tenor, then. Get stuff. Right well, here when you're ready, look, like please. Cheers, down. Ronnie, thanks. These you, neighbours you. are yours. Now, They're turning into a right so pain so in the neck. They're just enjoying themselves. <laughs> Come on, love, let's dry as a duck in the desert. Right, I'm with you now. This is a lot to me. I hope it means a lot to you. This is me. <laughs> to know, know, know her is to love, love, love her. Just to see her smile makes my life worthwhile. To know, know, know her is to love, love, love her. And I do, and I do, and I do, and I do, and I do. And I do. <laughs> you can do 
be better than that, eh? Go on, get in there. Hey, what are you doing, my wife? It's making her day. Come here and say that. Come on, come here and say now it. Now then, gentlemen, please. Let's keep an orderly house in here. We don't want any trouble. Oh, you can stay out of this and all. Right, you. Come on, on your bike. Who's messing about with my wife? Come on now, we don't want any trouble. If you can't keep your wife under control, you shouldn't let her out. Go on, it's him, lad. My pleasure, Ida. <laughs> hey, go on and come you. <laughs> no. Ah! You've been kissing a bench, no. <laughs> hey, you've been oh. snogging a bench, no. Oh, give it, give it, give it. <laughs> You want some at Baldy? Yeah. Well, say please. Please. Well, here. And next time we meet an old acquaintance, show him a bit of respect. Get off. Don't touch me. I'm trying to help. I don't need any of your help. Just get down to the office and collect your cards. Get out. Sucked. What do you think? Baby, isn't it? Yeah, she's your baby. Oh, that's all you say. Well, it couldn't be anyone else's. I don't like that. Not when I'm feeding her. So what do you think we want to do for baby? We'll keep her, be a family. Oh, a drink. Don't leave me. Come on, Mina. I can't take Shannon to a pub. Are you real? She'll be all right. What in this dump? Yeah, there's a lock on the door. Well, I suppose she's due asleep. Look, if you're going to come, then come, because I don't want to stand here all night talking about me. All right, just hang on till I fed her and got her to no, sleep. No, here's the key. I'll be in the black horse down the road when you're ready. Liam, wait, I'll come. Just hang on a minute, I'll come. Hi, Kev. Come in. Have a jipati. Oh, thanks. Is Chris there? Yeah. Tell him what word. Well, come in and tell him yourself. He's private. No, oh, all right. Chris! Kev's outside. He wants a word. OK, Kev. Shut the door. Thanks. I said shut it. What's up? I want to know something. OK. Have you slept with Sam? No, that's Chris, I think. Well, you better give him a call, Des. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Hang Where's on. that one? Huh? As simple as that. Yes or no? Look, on the bed, talk about this in the street, all right? Did you sleep with her? You really want to know her? OK, yeah, I do. You! Oh. Get in! Cut it out! Look, stay out with this, Des. No, you don't want to fight you, mate. It's too late for that. That's enough! Look, don't make me eat you as well, Des. Oh, you fancy yourself with your fist nowadays, do you, Kev? Look, it's him or what, not you! Yeah, well, no way, just back off, right? Just do as he says, Kevin. And else what? Hey, you're supposed to be my mate! You left her! What's this about? You stay out of this. It's about me sleeping with Sally, Sam. <laughs> Kevin! Pack it in. Just cut it out, otherwise I'm going to put you on your back and all. OK. OK. That's it, you're sacked! Don't come anywhere near the carriage. And else I won't be responsible for what happens.
lift it. Oh, Kevin. You want me to prove myself to you, and I did. I told her I loved you, and I always have. And then I walked out. There's a long way to go, but I think we can make it. And you know what Natalie said? I don't want to know all the details. She said you were sleeping with Chris Collins. Don't bother trying denying it. I've already got it out of lover, boy. That's all over. All that time you was laying down the law about what's right and what's wrong. And you were sleeping with him. With our kids upstairs. You've got to eat something, Jude. No, the chump. Just try one. Should be all right, you know. Here, have a drink of tea. I can't see Zoe laughing at her friends. She'd drive anyone mad in a week. Jude. And Ashley said that he'd be, you know, be in touch to arrange a visit and everything. Jude, she's gone. No. They're not going to be in touch. They're not going to be arranging any visits. Don't say that. I've got to say it because it's true. All this was madness from the start. Katie was never ours. What we did was wrong. <laughs> Keeping Katie away from a natural mother. Persuading Zoe to give her up. We've got to face it, Jude. We've got to face it and get on with the rest of our lives. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Washing a few bits. Just gonna need some clean clothes when I... When what, Jude? She's gone. You've got to try and accept it. I just... I don't understand. Why did you do it? Gabbing with Les Battersby when our daughter's in here on her own. Judy! How could you walk out and leave her? Do you think I haven't asked myself that a million times? It's not even stupid. It's like you did it deliberate or something. Is that it, Gary? Be honest. Could you just not take it anymore? I don't need your morning when you had the drink in your hand. Look at her, she's fine. She's freezing and she's probably starving and all. Have you got any milk? <laughs> Joking, aren't you? Well, we've got to give her some it. I'll just keep here, so. Well, what about the garage? What about it? Well, the laughs don't work, they. You're looking at me? Well, I'll go if you want. It's just. I can't probably climb out of range to know you. Here's some money. Get some milk and some chocolate and crisps and stuff. How oh, hungry is she? Here you go, mate. Sprouts, I'm afraid. We had no peas. You should have just thumped him. I was trying to keep a lid on it, wasn't I? I didn't want things getting out of hand. He was protecting the lady's honour. Mmm, Sally Webster. Kept that one under your hat. Shovel us to the end, that's Chris. Yeah, I don't like fighting, all right. Maybe you're twice the size of him. He deserved a good thump. Sally's not his property. Well, he left her, for God's sake. Yeah, but, uh, but what? You certainly know how to dump on your own doorstep, do you, mate? Cheers. Now, Kevin was bang out of order. So what? He's still my boss. I've still lost my job. He won't mean it. They seem pretty sure to me. Oh, that's just Kevin shooting off at the mouth. Mm. He had no grounds to sack you anyway, not legally. 
How would you justify that as a tribunal? Sorry, Your Honour, I sat Chris Collins because I'm a possessive prat. A very short possessive prat. <laughs> right. This should be just about edible again, I think. Yours was the chicken, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah, someone else can have it. Oh, come on, Chris, don't let him spoil your night. I don't feel like it, mate. I'll best be off, eh? I hope you're pleased with yourself. Hey. Why did you have to spoil things? What are you talking about, Sally? You told Natalie about us, didn't you? Me? What was the big idea? Do you think I'd come chasing back after you once he was out the picture? And what makes you think I said anything? Well, who else would it be? I had it drummed into me, didn't I? Don't tell Kevin, don't tell Kevin. I could virtually sing it in my sleep. Well, how did she find out then? Don't ask me how she found out, Sally, because I don't know and I don't care. I've had a smack in the mouth tonight and I've got the sack. So if I've ruined this cosy reunion with you and your husband, then tough. Oh, right, I'll tell that to the girls, shall I, when they start asking why their daddy's gone off with Auntie Natalie again? I don't give a toss. <laughs> She's like this all the time. No, it's all a bit strange for us both. She just wants a bit of company, don't you, Shannon, eh? Here. You don't have to do anything. It's just like it's being held, that's all. See? It's funny, isn't it? No, it is. Well, we're a family, really, aren't we? But this is the first night we've ever spent all together. Hmm. Gary used to take her into bed with them all the time. Judy used to go mad saying she'd have to learn to sleep by herself sometime, and the sooner the better. I don't see what harm it does. Stops the screeching. It's more than that. What is? Well, I think she knows. Knows what? That you are a dad. They can sense a lot, even at her age. I hope not. I hope she thinks she's in a lovely, clean nursery somewhere. I hope she can't understand what a dumb dad lives in. I don't wish that on any kid. It's not your fault. You've had a bad time. I am. When's it going to get better? Tomorrow. Oh, three months on. Now we've got Shannon, everything changes. We can get a flat. You go to top at least with a baby, you get child benefit and everything. So you've got to start living in the real world. Other people do it, settle down, sort themselves out. Why can't we? Yeah, and what are you going to get? A few extra quid for nappies. If you're lucky, they'll stick you in some scabby B&B somewhere and you'll be stuck with a load of other single mothers and some, some smacker they'll rob your gyro. Is that the kind of life you want for her? Well, is it? Because I don't. Elizabeth, you're going to have to tell me what's going on. I mean, what is the matter? Everything. Can I stay here tonight? <laughs> Let's look, uh, don't think I got in a taxi and I got to the end of my road and I thought I can't go any further. So I made him turn around and bring me here. <sighs> right. Well, you'd better sit down then, hadn't you? I lost my job tonight, in front of a bar full of people and it wasn't even my fault. I don't know what it is. I wouldn't bother normally. No. I'd just tell them to stick the job. Just lately, everything's falling apart. Everybody else is getting on with their lives. Moving on, moving up. And I'm stuck in that flat on my own. Over a year now and still nobody talks to me. I hate it. I feel lonely, useless, and old. Come on, Elizabeth, don't be daft now. I keep thinking, is this it? Is this all I've got to look forward to? Because if it is, I'd rather top myself now yeah, and I've done with it. Just behave yourself. Catch yourself on this, will you? <sighs> is it me? Do I give out the wrong vibes or something? Do people laugh at me? Be honest. No, of course they don't. You read about these women, professional victims, 
walk around with, shout at me, use me, hit me, stamped right across the forehead. That wasn't a dig. Please let me stay. Just for the one night. I know it's an imposition. Liz, look, uh... I can't face my own company tonight. I do know, you know. Do you? Of course you do. It does me I didn't I can't look after you both. We don't need looking after. Yeah, you do. Both of you. I missed you, you know. I think you're kidding yourself. We're gonna have nothing while we've got Shannon. She's gonna have nothing while we've got her. Love? Love, yeah. Food, maybe. Nice clothes, there's no chance. She'll be an Oxfam kid. As if I'd go and rob first. And she'd be an Oxfam kid with a mum inside. I'm going to end up rowing over money and splitting up again. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. My sister Tanya, she, she's got three kids to three different blokes. You know the score. She's had them took off her twice because she can't cope. They get laughed at when they go to school because they dress like tramps. She don't even notice. She's had everything. She's had jellies and sleeping pills and every sort of tranquilizer on the chemist shelf. She don't even know what date is after time. She's only 29. Look, if we give Shannon back to the Mallets, we might be able to get some more money. We can start again, so. Then the next baby, what we'd have, would have a nice house and its own cot and nice clothes. But just because they've got her for a few years, it don't mean they've got her for life. No. Come here. <laughs> Sorry, did I wake you? No. I'll fix you a cup of tea or something. Oh, no, thanks. I've beaten you to it. Right. So, did you sleep all right? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have turned up last night. Liz, you were upset. That doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I'm sorry if I was out of order. I just had a few drinks and I was feeling sorry for myself. Liz, you lost your job. This kind of thing doesn't happen every day, you know, so really don't worry about it. Yeah, well, you know I'm a drama queen. I wasn't that keen on the job anyway. Far too many creeps around for my liking, and that was just a staff. Liz, listen, I think there's something I ought to Jim, say. Jim, I'm a grown clear. woman, and I live on my own because I choose to, and if I can't handle it, you're the last person I should come running to. Mm, right, thanks. But look, there's something I ought to say anyway. Don't worry. It won't happen again, I promise. Look, I don't mind you coming round here, Elizabeth. I really don't mind at all. It's just, um, well, it would be easier if... Uh, well, I, if I, if I, I should knew... ring first. Yes, you see, if you rang, it'd be no problem at all, you know. I mean, I'm not bothered, but if you rang, then there wouldn't be any embarrassment at all, whether just in case you come round here and... Well, you there's mean, somebody... You had somebody, somebody here. here? Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't think. Here, listen, look, sit yourself down. I'll do you some breakfast. No, thanks. I, I should be going. I've got things there. To get on with. What things? You know, tidying, ironing, finding a new job. Okay, well, uh, if you're around later on, I'll be, uh, I'll be in the boozer if you want a drink or something. I think I need an early night. Thanks, Jim. Come on, son. It's a bit early yet. Hello? Judy? Zoe? Is that you? Yeah. How's Katie? Is she with you? She's fine. I've been going frantic. Why did you do it? Just shut up a minute, will you? I've been having nightmares about where you've taken them. You don't even know what I feed to. Look, I need... What? Is everything all right? I need to see you. I need... What? Has something happened to her? Zoe? Zoe? 
What are you doing? I can't do it. What? Look, I didn't take her because of the money. I took her because I love her. I took her because I couldn't be without her anymore. I'm sorry. I couldn't go through it all again. Call her with the other number. Oh, what a surprise. She sounded weird. In what way? Weird? Drugged? Drunk? Oh, I don't know. Not drunk, but like she were in trouble. She kept saying that she needed something. Money? She might need help. There might be something wrong. She'll have run out of cash. That's what it'll be. What does she want from us now? We don't know what she wants. Exactly. And ain't she making the most of it? She couldn't twist a knife anymore if she tried. Right. Next time this rings, I'll answer it, right? All right. All right. Not church goes, are they? Oh, is this how you got to Sally? Kept turning up on a doorstep till she got that board, she let you in. I didn't have to try that hard, Kevin. Yeah, well, don't you know when you're in the way? I thought I'd give you a chance to apologise. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. So you meant what you said then? I am sacked. Oh, I get it. You thought I was just bursting off in the heat of the moment. Is there any explanation that made any sense? You thought we'd kiss and make up? Forget all about you doing the dirty with me wife behind me back? Well, you thought wrong. I thought you'd realise that legally you haven't got a leg to stand on here, mate. Legal? What's legal got to do with it? I'm the boss. I say you're fired, you're fired. Now leave your keys. You'll get your keys when I get me wages, plus the holiday pay you owe me. Sally was right about you. Hurry up, Charlie, will you? I can't hold it for legs at times. Tired? Quick, before it drops a message on the car. Hi, Wes. Oh, you've ruined the surprise now. What surprise? What in God's name is that? Duh, I think it's a turkey. What's he doing in my living room? Making it self at home. Who's he? Janice, Leanne, meet Charlie West. And meet your Christmas dinner. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get it out. Uh, put her in the backyard, will you, Charlie? I meant out altogether. Just a minute, love. Hang on. I thought you'd push your luck as far as it'd go last night. Never mind this. What's wrong with your Furman's frozen turkey like everybody else in this street? Fermans, the pump full of water, insecticides, chemicals. Hey, and then there's a risk of salmonella if you don't defrost them properly. Whereas Teresa, Teresa, Teresa turkey. <laughs> Whereas Teresa's fresh and free range, top quality meat full of vitamins and minerals. Free range were the farmer's arms. You bought that in a pub, haven't you? No. You liar. No, he breeds them. Him and his missus. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got a herd. A flock. A gaggle. That's geese. Look, I picked this up for half the price of a, of a frozen one. All we've got to do is feed it up. Ha! And what? Scraps. Very versatile birds, these are. Yeah, scraps of what? Meat, veg, or what? Well, that's the wife's area of expertise, strictly speaking. I'm more your breeding sort of thing, you know. They're very partial to ginger nuts now and again. <laughs> so I believe. You. Can I come in then, or what? Or are you cooking breakfast for your toy boy? Well, come round to apologise then. What I want to know is how often it was round here, how much time did he spend with my kids? Our kids? Yeah, and you get to see 24 hours a day. I get to see him a couple of hours a week if I'm lucky. And whose fault's that? You haven't answered me question. Not much. No, enough for you to sit around slagging me off in front of the kids, I bet. Don't be stupid, Kevin. He hardly ever saw the girls. I didn't want them getting involved with him. What, you sneaked him in the back door at night? You sneaked him out again in the morning? <laughs> Classy. Oh, no. I had him over in the garage a few times. I had him on your office floor while you're on your dinner break. Sauce for the goose. I've done nothing wrong, Kevin. So don't you come laying the law down round here and barging into my home. You lost the right to do that long ago. I'm the one who pays the mortgage. The gas bills, the electric bill. That gives me more right than he ever had. So I'm going to sit here till I get a proper explanation. Pick a comfy seat. You'll have a long wait. Um, are you open for a cup of tea? Well, not normally, on a Sunday. Well, 
since it's a season of goodwill. Oh, thank you, Roy. Um, meet my nephew, Geoffrey. At Spider. Roy Cropper, pleased to meet you. I was delighted to see you again, of course, but uh, surprised. The last I heard, you'd gone off to university to read um, politics. <laughs> Jacked it in in my second year. But too much apathy. Political parties are a dead force. It's pressure groups which control the future. Oh. So, did you get a job after that? Is it whole wheat bread? Oh, and have you got any soya margarine? Um, who wants to know is it whole wheat bread? Brown. Tell him yes. And have we got any soya margarine? Sunflower, high in polyunsaturates. Uh, yeah, it is, and no, it's not. It's sunflower. Mm. Is your water hard or soft? Wet. Uh, don't know what I'll ask. Did it kill when you put those in? For a bit, yeah. Well, I've now schooled his nose done. Went septic. Mm. Yeah, uh, Toya, the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did you travel round Australia? I hear it's a beautiful country. Oh, amazing place. I ended up living with this community in Queensland. They'd have called it a commune in your day. Yeah, did a lot of campaigning. Zinc mines, destruction of the rainforest, that sort of stuff. Till I got deported. Oh. Yeah, that's about a year, 18 months ago. I'm surprised you, you didn't phone to tell me you were coming. You're lucky I was in. Yeah, well, it all happened a bit quickly. I needed a change of scenery, and you're the first person I thought of. After all these years? Well, Dad said you were a bit of a goer, and I knew you'd be cool about it. <laughs> Roy? Oh, yeah, we, we, we do get a fuzzy build-up on the element. That, that, that means it's hard. Full of calcium hard water. Uh, I'll have beans on toast, no marge or butter, and a glass of tap water. Vegetarian. Vegan. Hmm. Are you, uh, are you pissed anywhere else? You are, sir. You want. Come in. Gary. Well, you could turn right round again and go straight back out. And you can kiss goodbye to Kate. Oh, we have done. Oh, it looks like it. What do you want? It's me you're dealing with now, not Zoe. And I'm not scared of either of you. Zoe knows that she can't cope. She loves her baby. But she's willing to give her back at a price. Oh, I think we've done that. At a price or no deal. Two grand. Oh, get out! We ain't got it. You've got an house, haven't you? You must have jewellery. Or do you care more about your drum than what you do about a baby? Get out where you can still walk. Garrett, don't. Oh, Judy, can't you see what's going on? Every time he's shot of a few bobby, he'll come round here. And we'll be looking over our shoulders for the rest of our lives. Yeah, but... Judy, no. Is that your last word? Yes. Your funeral. Well, how is Katie? Have you got an address Judy, or a Judy, number Judy, or anything? No! Like... This stops here. You're not the only one looking for a baby, you know? Get out! Don't look at me like that. It's for the best. Don't. Don't touch me. Get back to your precious drum kit. I was lonely. You were someone to talk to, someone to have a laugh with. Speaking now, are we? I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. You were with Natalie. You'd been with her for months, remember? You didn't want me. I'll tell you what I remember. Coming round here getting endless grief, being lectured about what a worthless piece of goods I was and what a saint you was. And all the time, you was no different yourself. Oh, yes, I was. I started seeing Chris when... Sleeping with Chris. All oh, right, sleeping with Chris. When we'd split up. I didn't hurt the kids. And I finished it before it went too far. And what is too far? Too far is when they get used to having an uncle instead of a father. Double standards is bad enough. But do you know what really gets me? You played straight into her hands. Don't twist this around. This has got nothing to do with Natalie. Yesterday, you were all for moving back in here. 
Now you're staying where you are. She's got your cards marked. She knows you're more concerned about your injured pride than me and the kids. Get out, you make me sick. get you the money. You said you couldn't afford it. I'll find it, somehow. I get it on, pal, or what? Um, no. No, I think we'll get a taxi. <laughs> what on earth? I don't know. Hey, you haven't seen my... Uh... Oh, it's just... Oh, got the brain the size of a pea, these daft birds. Come on, Teresa. Good breast on it, though. See ya. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. He's like something from the Stone Age. We'll have to do something about this, Geoffrey. Hi, Max Amy, it's me. It's OK now. Zoe and the baby, they've gone. Two are friends. I drove them up there yesterday. So will you come back now? Come on, Jude, we're going for this walk. Oh, I don't care. Oh, come on, get your course on, get some fresh air. There must be some way we can raise this money. Hey? Somebody must be able to lend us it. Jude, I think we've done with that conversation. Yeah, well, I haven't. Well, you better have, because there's no way. Cos you don't care enough, do you? Have you thought about our little Katie back with that Liam? Well, of course I've flaming well... thought about it, Jude. Yeah, well, think harder. Look, Jude, I wish that no kid had been born to a life like that. But there's nothing more that we can do. Well, if we can't, Gary, then I don't want my life either. Cos there's no point to it anymore. I'm off to the shop. What do you fancy for your dinner? Bangers or a pie? Bangers for me. And do us a big extra load of boiled spuds, will you? Boiled? Hey. I'm making packet mash if I'm making bangers. Not for the bangers, for the turkey. Eh? That's what he eats, spuds. For a turkey? Are you daft? I'm telling you, you give them spuds to make the meat white. And I'm telling you, I am not cooking dinner for a flaming turkey. What is your problem? What is my problem? I'll tell you what my problem is. All its stinky droppings out there. What are you on about? Oh, I'll tell you, go and have a look. See what your stupid dad has shoved in our backyard. A live flaming turkey that he expects me to look after. Hey? Supposed to be a treat for our family Christmas, that. Yeah. Well, you can just flog it on to some other nutter. Cos we are having a nice frozen turkey, see? Oh, who the hell's that? Who the hell do I know? You get it. No, I'm off down Ginnell. So that's what turkey comes from, then? No, love. Turkey comes from Furman's. Excuse me. Get the door, Toya. Why can't you get it? Because I like to know who it is before I say if I'm in, don't I? Hi there. Hi. I've just, uh About this turkey. From next door. Oh, yeah. And what's your problem? My, uh Auntie asked to give you these. Give me what? Potato peelings. For your turkey. They like them. Do they? Yeah, and uh, they also like a lot of drinking water, you know? Cos we we couldn't see that it had any out there. Couldn't you? And what's it got to do with you any road, eh? Dad! I'm just saying how it needs looking after. Like it ought to have a proper shelter. And what if I tell you what you need, eh? Dad, he's just saying he needs a shelter. Then it can nip in the outside bog, can't it, Toya? No, I mean a warm shelter with a perch for it to roost on. Oh, yeah? It's not flaming stopping it to roost. All right. So stuff your potato peelings and keep your runny nose out. OK, in you. What to do that for? I'm not having no little scruffer telling me what to do. He was only trying to well. Yeah, well, let him go and try somewhere else. Well, you're just ignorant, you are. Yeah, I'm just a punch bag, me. Hello, love. Can you invite yourself in for a cup of tea and a chat? Of course. No patter of tiny feet? No, they've gone over to Dale's. 
for the play-in. Sally, what's happened? Oh, Rita. <laughs> Where could he be? I'm back. You brightened up. Yeah, I'm going out for a bit. Hey? Oh, there it is. Oh, where are you going? Just out. Cheer myself up, all right? Well, hang on a bit. I'll come with you. No, uh, I want to go on my own. Why? Well, to have my own thoughts, all right? Well, how long are you going to be? As long as I fancy. He had the nerve to say that. Talk about being hypocrite. <laughs> He says I'm a hypocrite for making him feel so guilty. Oh, well, excuse me. I mean, how long was he playing around with Natalie while you were left heartbroken? He doesn't see it like that. I think he thinks what I've done is even worse. Oh, well, that's typical men, isn't it? Anyway, I'm glad you told him what for. Oh, yeah. Of course. He can't have a law for himself and a different one for you. I really wanted him back, though. Can't believe it's all gone wrong all over again. But, Sal, weren't you happier trying to make a new life for yourself with Chris? Just it never have been a whole life. No? Oh, I know Chris thought so. He just saw a life ready to step into, but it wouldn't have fitted him for very long. But he did make you happy, didn't he? Yeah, and I'm glad I let him, but I've got to think about what's best for the girls. They were getting so confused. Well, so long as you don't think you have to patch your marriage up for their sake. Because that wouldn't work either, believe me. Well, he'll have gone back to Natalie now, won't he? So it doesn't matter what I want. What's wrong with it? Shut it, you're up. You! Well, you can get out! Get out! Go on, get out! Vandals. Hiya, Paul. Well, look who's here. And I'm looking. How are things? Well, since you left me, love. Ah, you missed me then. Well, I've told you before, Judy. There's a job here for you any time you're free. Why don't we pop into your office and have a bit of a chat? Oh, yeah. What, you mean? Oh, yeah, great, yeah. What's with this? No, I'm keeping it in there. Look, I better tell you. I want to see the mallets today. Yeah, well, I said they can have the baby back for two grand. You are, but you said... I know what I said, and I've changed my mind. No, Liam, they're not having her. Oh, so you said yourself this is no place for a kid. You want to get onto a social about a flat? Oh, yeah, and a top life you'd have then. Yeah, but you said you'd find some other way of making some yeah, money. Well, there isn't one, is there? And anyway, that's half my kid too. And what's best for us all is doing this deal. Just stop giving me a grow about it. Hang on a minute. You're asking me to pay you two grand? Up front. Are you having me on? You want me back, don't you? Yeah, but hey, two grand, cash. What do you take me for? It's only five months' wages in advance. Yeah, but look, happy though I'd be to see you back in that kiosk, love. I mean, come on, I'm a businessman. You mean you don't trust me? I'm not saying. You know that. where I live? I know it's. Have you got two grand in that safe? Yeah, but oh, come on. Why don't you just have your job back on a normal basis? Cos I said I need to pay off a big chunk. I just can't do that kind of a deal, Judy. Well, look, why can't you pay this debt off in instalments? I mean, I can give you a letter if that'll help. You know, just saying you're guaranteed. You don't understand, Paul. I'm serious. If I don't get this money, I will lose the most precious thing in the world to me. Honest! I promise you, I'll get it all back. And you can get what else you want from me.
Yep. Hi, Jim. Hi, Natalie. What can I get you? I'll take a pint, please, and uh, whatever you're having yourself. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have a small whiskey. Whiskey? It's not your usual, is it? No. Do you mind? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I appreciate a wee girl who likes a decent drop of whiskey. Good. I'll make sure it's Irish, then. Oh, here. <laughs> Come on. Here. Here. Now. Go and sit down. I'll bring you a drink. Kevin's at the bar. <laughs> Never mind him. Thank you very much. Chris, I hope to find you in here. Did you? Look, I'm really sorry what Kevin did to you. And I promise you, I hope he suffers for it. Rita, your usual? Uh, yes, love. I'll have a large V&T for me and a glass of white wine for Sally. Right. Oh, Natalie. Would you mind? Has he had another go at you, then? Well, he came round this morning. And I told him straight he had no right to fire you. He's my boss. Can do what he wants. Oh, he's just a total hypocrite. I just wish it would have been me that had told him about us. At least I'd have made a stand, instead of feeling like he caught me out. I really messed things up for you, haven't I? Yeah, well, it's all a bit of a mess up now, isn't it? Except if you're Natalie Horrocks. That's £4.26, please. Keep the penny. Thank you. Well, you've got your whiskey on the road. Right? Yes, I have. Thank you, Jim. Actually, I was wondering if you would pop round and have a look at my bathroom for me. Oh, aye. Well, you get bored looking at the same thing every day, don't you? I know I do. Yeah. Cheers. Aye, right, cheers. So I was wondering about those mirrored tiles, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought I might as well look at myself. <laughs> right. Have you seen her? She's practically glued her bosom to the bar. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Nor is Jim. <laughs> Somebody flaming well should. I'm just going to the shop to get Shannon some more milk. Will you look after her for a bit for me? Hey. She's in a cot of sleep, all right? Aye, aye. Yeah. I'll just be a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'll get that, Alex. Well, oh, fine. Ladies first. Kevin, at least you can speak to me. There's not left to say, is there? Right. Well, why aren't you avoiding me, then? There's plenty of other places to drink. Yeah, just for the beer. Kevin, wait. Look, just come into the back. Just talk to me. Don't just walk away. I know what you're going to say. No, you don't. Please, Kevin, just five minutes, eh? Surely you owe me that, don't you? Hiya. Hi there again. Uh, do you have herbal tea? Um, Roy, do you have herbal tea? Herbal, certainly. Uh, chamomile or peppermint? Oh, right, uh, chamomile, please. Uh, in the box, Toya. Is that uh, with or without honey? Oh, is it organic honey? That's without then, Toya, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about my dad this morning. It's that poor turkey I feel sorry for. Yeah, but it's typical of him. He does everything stupid he does. So is that your Christmas dinner then? Oh, I'm not having any. My mum don't fancy it either. And can't you persuade him then? What? Not to kill it. Well, I can't see him keeping it as a pet. Take it to a sanctuary. Hey? I can get you an address. What? You mean somewhere where they'd look after it like? Yeah, if you can persuade him. Is it horrible then? The killing? Usual way would be they tie its feet, hang it upside down, club its head. 
Yeah, let it bleed to death. Look. Don't worry. I'm not going to pounce on you. Fancy me having to say that to you, eh? Natalie, haven't we said it all? Just look at you, Kev. Is this you happy, eh? Is this what you left me for, to, to lose all your spark? Why should you be bothered how I am? The way I treated you, why don't you just drop me now? Because I still want you, Kevin. Is that so difficult for you to believe after everything I've said to you? I don't know if you ever did believe it. Oh, Kevin. Yeah, you built me up. You made me feel fantastic. But that was you, Natalie. It's not how I am. Do you really think so little of yourself? Just want it, Kevin. I mean, what's love about all that energy? We can be what the hell we damn well like. I can't. You're in a different world to me, Natalie. I've loved you sharing it with me. Never known anything like how I felt with you. Then why? What I'm trying to say is it's not really how I am. Who says? Some mean old voice you grew up with? No. Well, who tells you who you are? I do. I know what I miss. What I don't have to run uphill for. I never believed you'd want to go back. Not after... I was never really worth you. It's not the end of the world, though, is it? I mean, maybe it's, you know, meant. So you're ready for something better? Meant? Meant how? You know, meant. By thingy, fate. Fate. Yeah, well, all right then. Your life's a pile of poop, Chris. Yeah, it is. Fine. Could you really see yourself settled in with Sally, though? I mean, could you, honest? Why not? Well, maybe I got you all wrong. I just thought you were a bit more of a, you know, pioneer. Family life is a real dead end for you, isn't it? I suppose it is a bit. Especially when it's not even your own. Yeah, well, you wouldn't understand wanting to belong, would you? Ah, afternoon, Les. Final lag. Oh, your youngest has been in looking for you. Yeah, I've just seen her. You know, Alec, it's days like this. I could go home, pack me bags, and join a flaming foreign legion. <laughs> Ready for another? No, Tom. Where are you going? <sighs> you think I made a real fool of myself, don't you? No, I don't. Why can't I get off with someone my own age? Maybe it's a sign of maturity in you. Can't be messing with babes. It was pretty dumb to be messing with my boss's wife, wasn't it? Look, why don't we get some cans and go back to your place? Get a funny video. Have a good cry. Hey, listen, have you seen that Natalie? Well, I thought she'd gone to the little girl's room. No, I've looked in there. Well, I don't know, Vera. I saw her talking to Kevin earlier. Well, she's supposed to be behind this bar so I can be in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah. You know, the desert life does exert a certain appeal at times, Les. I want a word with you, Les. Flipping hell, what now? It's about you upsetting our toya. Well, you want to ask her about upsetting me? In fact, both of you. Nothing but an air bashing all morning. Yeah, and it'll be non-stop until you get rid of that flaming turkey. And I don't mean wring its neck. Aye, well, I'll think about it. All right. Well, you better think fast, Les, because if that bird is still in our yard come tea time, I'm reporting you to the RSPCA. Excuse Not me. your day at all, is it? I don't suppose you're interested in a live turkey, are you, Alec? Eh? A live turkey? Got a prize specimen in our backyard. I could let you have it for 20 quid. Eh? Why? What's the matter with it? Flaming soft family. That's what. There's nothing wrong with the turkey, though. There's a feast of meals on that bird. Really? Well, I'm not sure about 20 quid, though. 15. Right. Well, I'll have to see it first. You're on. Right. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for it. What, what is it? I'm sorry, Vera. I'll be through in a second. What's the matter? <sighs> Nothing anybody else will mind about. Oh, well, you're all upset, love. What is it, you and Kevin? Have you had a bit of a tear fly? <laughs> but don't worry. It's all turned out how you want it. What do you mean? 
The happy ending, Vera. He's finally come to his senses and gone back to Sally. What you mean? Well, how did that come about? Because that's what's easiest, isn't it? It's what he knows. Still, better to have loved and lost, as they say. Better to win, though. Oh, look, you're all upset, love, aren't you? Why don't you get yourself off home? Slip out back away. I'll make it right with Alec. I'll say you're feeling a bit peaky. You sure? Look, I'm not made of stone. I wish I was. Oh, listen, love, you'll have plenty of offers. And you and Kevin, you, you were never really so good, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure you won't be the last to tell me that, Vera. Vera, um, uh, perfect timing. Am I hallucinating or is that a turkey in my old way? Uh, it's a business proposition, Vera. It's, it's for your Christmas dinners. I mean, come on, you must have plucked a bird before, haven't you? <laughs> Are you balmy? No, I, I, now, don't be hasty, Vera, because this is a very good commercial idea. Yeah, well, you can stick it back in your Daphne brain, Alec, or do your own plucking. <laughs> Maybe next year, eh? I've never had to pay a woman this much before. Just say we've got a deal, okay? You don't know what this means to me. Yeah, I'll be sure. I know what it means to me, love. Hello, little baby. Hey. What's happened, Zoe? I got in a mess. Sit down. Well, what is it? Your friend chucked you out? My boyfriend, Liam. Hey. Well, it was him I went back to. But then baby got sick and he said I had to sell her back to Judy and Gary. What? But I can't sell her, can I? I love her. But so... So you've nowhere to go, then? Would you let her stop here for a bit? Please, will you? Just till I get her well again. Is that somebody at the... Hey, yeah. Just brewing up. Has Liam phoned? Hey. Liam, has he called you? No, why would he? Because I told him I was going to get him that money, Gary. You are? And I have. All too grand of it. Where did you get that? An advance on my wages. From Paul Fisher. Eh? I've got to go back to work till I've paid it back. Jude? It's sorted, Gary. Katie's coming home. So what? You just went in and said, can I have two grand's worth of wages up front? And he said, yeah, fine, OK. All right. I had to beg a bit. I had to say it was for something important and I couldn't tell him what exactly, but it was urgent. And he said Well, that... he must be very fond of you. Because if I asked my boss for six months' wages up front, he'd laugh. Look! I got it! That's the main thing. Well, now that you've got it, you can turn right round again and take it straight back. Oh, no. No way! Because we don't want it. Look. The minute that phone rings, I am going to go fetch Katie home. And I don't give a damn how much it costs. Well, you should do, Jude, because we can't afford that kind of money. What do you call this, then? Scotch mist? Well, what are you going to do next time? When Liam decide he wants some more? Who are you going to borrow it off, then? There isn't going to be a next time. We're going to Newcastle. Oh, is this before or after we pay back the two grand? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Judy, you're not thinking. Look. They don't give a toss about Katie. All she means to them is how much they can screw out of us. And you're going to hand it to them on a plate? Yes! Because I don't give a toss about money. I don't care how I got it. I don't care how I'm going to pay it back. I just care about Katie. Here, safe. And what happens if you do get Katie back? How are you going to look after her? You're going to be working there at the RK for the next six months. You're not thinking. I don't care. I just want Katie back here where she belongs and then I'll start thinking, all right? No, no, it's not all right. I don't believe that, 
that you just casually walked home with 2,000 quid in your pocket. I don't... And then you're just going to give it over to a greb like Leo. For Katie! For Katie! Judy, tomorrow we'll start the ball rolling. We'll, we'll find out about adopting properly. I don't just want any baby, you stupid idiot. I want her! She's not yours! I don't care! Oh, you give her up for God's sake! No! I must be the only person in the whole world that gives a damn about her, because you obviously don't. Zoe came back because there's a bond there stronger than anything that we knew about. If we don't give her the money, she's not going to just give up, Katie. She'll look after her. She loves her. She doesn't love her properly. Not like me. Or else she wouldn't be able to swap her for money. Oh, that would never her. That would Liam putting her up to it. They don't know the first thing about her. Judy, you're not Katie's mother. Zoe is. You've got to court with that. No. You've got to. You've got to decide that you will. You've got to tell yourself that you will every day, and it's going to be hard. Nobody's pretending otherwise. But in the long run... What if I won't? What if I can't? If you won't, Judy, it frightens me. Will you just pop that bucket? She just turned up on the doorstep. What else can I do? Get rid of her! No! You're mad you, you know that. You're not all there. She's got nowhere else to go. I don't know why I came back in the first place. It was as bad as you haven't gone out here that long. She's got nobody. She's got nothing. You fancy her? I do not. Yes, you do, and you're that fake. You haven't worked it out yet. It's all shouting. Oh, only moved his little girlfriend back in again, hasn't he? She's not my little girlfriend. Well, so he? Yeah. Rings me up this morning, begs me to come back. Off and I'll lay on the doorstep. Will he get rid of her? Will he hell? Look, Max, do you want to come for a drink? No, I can't. I've got to take all this back to my mum. You don't have to, Maxine. Look, I'll see you in the rooms about half an hour, okay? I am going to get plastic. Maxine! Swivel! You can be a right little pig on the quiet, can't you? Hello, Rosie. Is your daddy in love? Who is it, Rosie? What do you want? Is he in? Who? You know who. Don't try to be clever. Rosie, go and make sure Sophie's not getting that glue everywhere. I thought he was with you. Well, if you see him, here's some of his clothes. I don't want him. Do you want me to go? No. Not if you've nowhere else to go. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Why? I don't know. Do you hate me? Don't be silly. Can we stay then? It looks like it. Just till I get back on my feet, you know, till I've got something else sorted out. I'd better be getting over at road. Maud will be wondering where I am. Are you alright? See you later. Clothes you left. Right, thanks. Thought you'd gone back to Sally. How do you know I haven't? She told me just now. So, where are you stopping? Here. No. Uh, a B and B. Is it nice? Not really. But better than coming back to me. Don't. What's the address? What do you want to know that for? In case I need to get hold of you. You can get hold of me here. I thought you promised I would tell you you weren't going to murder it, Turkey. Yeah, well, she didn't hear this year. And what she doesn't know won't hurt her, will it? Well, she'll know when she comes back, won't she? Yeah, it'll be too late then, though, won't it? Why? Are you doing it now? Yep. Can we watch? If you like. You've changed your tune, haven't you? Might as well. There's no Tom Selly. Oh, Janice. Come on, love, you might learn something. How are you going to do it then? I'm going to slit its throat. Hey, Les. I'd be careful, you know. How do you mean? 
Well, you know my mate, Tracy Ward, when we were 13? Well, her uncle used to have a farm up Delf, right? We used to go up there. He used to murder turkeys at Christmas. And you know how, like, chickens run around once you've chopped their heads off? Yeah, well, turkeys do and all. You don't. You do. You're just saying that. You're trying to put me off. No, I've seen it with my own eyes. They run around in a circle. So just beware. I don't want it running in here and upstairs. Not with no head on. You're a liar. No, it's right. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not going to let him kill it outside there, are you? Oh, that's disgusting. Hey, love, don't worry yourself. I've been on wrong tack, haven't I? Well, I've been trying to persuade him not to do it. I've been overlooking the fact that he's got no bottle. And when it comes to crunch, you won't be able to do it anywhere. <laughs> hey, uh, how did he do it then, this, this uncle? Oh, Les, now you're asking me. I can't remember. Wish that time. Come here, bird. Come here. Come here. Chucky, chucky, chucky. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You ain't got a flaming clue, has he? Keep still, you daft bird. Come here. Get over here, I said. Get here now. Oh, it won't keep still. I don't blame it, do you? Eat some of it. God. What's the matter with you? Oh, I can't go on like this. What do you mean? What's happened to us? It's Christmas. We're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be looking forward to all sorts, and all I want to do is weep. It's just how I feel. Let go, Jude. For my sake, please. Let's get back to how we were. Let's stop making it worse and worse and worse. No, oh, don't! It'll be Liam. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello. Find out where he is. It's not Liam. It's Mr. Fisher. She's here. Hello? Tonight? No, I can't. I'm waiting in for an important call. Yeah. No, I have to stay in the house. Yes, Gary's here, but... Look, you don't understand. Yes, I know. Yeah. Look, this lad might be trying to get in touch now, so I'm going to hang up, Paul, all right? Look, I'd rather not, not tonight. No. All right, all right, I'll come. Half an hour, yes. Well? Short staff, I've got to go in. You can't really refuse a guy you're too grand to, can you? And what's going to happen if Liam rings now while you're out? You'll have to go. Oh, you know I won't, don't you? You'll have to, are you? No. You have to, Gary. No, I don't. Right. Well, you ring me at the arcade and tell me where he is, and I'll go. Oh, like you... I could do everything. You can't go wandering around with two grand in your pocket when it's dark, you'll get mugged. Well, you obviously don't care. You don't know how far you're pushing me, Jude. When that phone rings, you go fetch Katie, right? Or you won't see me again. Don't fancy coming and doing it for us, do you? I'll come and supervise. Uh, Only you'll have to do the honours because I don't want muck and blood all over my cardian trousers. No, uh, no, you're all right. I think I've got the gist of what you're saying. There's no to it. I say no to it. Worst job is plucking it after. That's if you're doing it behind. Right, well, uh, thanks for that. Uh, I'll go and do it now. Have fun. Oh, I thought you were going home, love. Well, I was just miserable at home. I used to get paid for being miserable in here. Yes, Gary? Uh, fine, please, sir. Uh... What other explanation is there? I don't know. There isn't one. He fancies her. An emaciated, pasty-faced street urchin with a sprog. And he fancies her more than me. No, well, to be honest, I don't know why he started going out with him in the first place. Uh, that's rich. You encourage me. I did not. You flipping did. Well, 
why was it? Was it was it a dare? Mm. What? You care. Let's have another round. No, Max, please. I've got things to do today. You have not. It's Sunday. Same again. And whatever Gary's having. No, you're all right. No, I insist. Well, look, thank you for seeing the light. Pardon? He's welcome to her. Who? That's Zoe of yours. She's moved back in over at Road with my ex-boyfriend. And that baby of hers, your baby, whoever's baby it is. When? I'll pay for them, like this after. How do you know? Because I was there. It's always me that gets caught in middle. I try and please everybody, I end up pleasing nobody. You're too soft, Ashley, lad. You see? I try and do the right thing and everyone tells me how hopeless I am. If you can do someone a good turn, you should. But you should recognise if folk are taking advantage. I swear. Just the lad. Hey, well, can you spare us two minutes? Take note. How far? I'll, I'll buy you a pint, right? Only uh, I've got this turkey, you see, for Christmas for the family and... Uh, and you're trained, you see. I wonder if... Uh, could, could, could you slaughter it for us? Only, uh, I haven't got a clue. Otherwise, I'd do it myself, obviously. I would, only I'm not trained either. You're a butcher's lad! I only ever cut up carcasses. I've never ever slaughtered out. It's not that tricky, though, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. I know all that. But, well, I would. Only, to be honest with you, I don't quite fancy it. Me Uncle Fred? No, was. no, uh, no, look, it's, it's OK. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, give us a bottle of whiskey, will you? All right, Kev. Yeah. That's your pint, mate. Oh, I'd love one, yeah. Just got to go and see someone first. I'll be down in a minute. All right, I'll get you one in. All right, cheers, pal. I hope they all get there on time. I don't usually leave it till this late. You haven't had any yet, have you? What? Christmas cards. Oh, we don't bother with that at work. Well, what about your relatives? They don't bother either. Oh. Hiya. Hiya. Your girlfriend came round earlier on. She's not my girlfriend. No, I know, she said. I thought you'd come back to her. Well, they haven't. She brought you some clothes round. Yeah, I know. I've got them, thanks. Hi, Dad. Hey, hey, come here, give us a hug. Oh. Can you come to see us on Christmas Day? Oh, I do hope so, yeah. Oh, can I uh, just give you something? What is it? Yeah, it's the b and I'm staying up down the corner. They've left some phone number just in case you need me for anything. See ya. I was looking forward to seeing Tracy again. Yeah, so was I. I wasn't convinced by the reason she gave. I'll bet they just want to be together and quiet and on their own over Christmas, only she wouldn't like to say so. <laughs> yeah, can I have a pint and a gin and tonic, please? Yeah. Still. Gives us the chance to do the same thing, doesn't it? What? I'll just be together and quiet over Christmas. Uh, yes, I was going to talk to you about that. Let's have another round. No, not for me. I'm drowning my sorrows. I'll do the same for you. No, it's not exactly much fun when I can't drink any alcohol, is it? It's not meant to be fun. All right, Martin. All right, Kev. Here's there, mate. Oh, cheers. Same Martin. again, no whoever's serving. Oh, they don't mind us. <laughs> Men, they're all pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing? No. I don't believe this. Aberdeen. I'm getting sick of that boss of yours. Well, it's our busiest time of year. Christmas Day. <clears throat> Look, we're gearing up for the January sales. I'll be back in the afternoon, I told you. Well, I'm not going to pretend I'm happy about it, because I'm not. You're not going to buy them, are you, Toya? Spider. I didn't see you there. Do you know what they put in sausages? They put all the leftovers and rubbish in. And then they load them with chemicals which give you cancer. Well, my mum just asked me to pick some up for tea on the way I'm from Caff. Well, I'd pick something else if I was you. Well, like what? I don't know. Something that hasn't got loads of filth in it. Uh, could I have an ounce of tobacco, please? Oh, it's all right. Smoke, then, is it? That don't give you cancer anymore. Is that right? See you later, Toy. Oh, yeah, right. Charles Spider. <sighs> well, what can I get them now that they like? There's nothing wrong with them sausages. Well, but I'm trying to make them change what they eat. And well, I've already persuaded my dad not to murder that turkey what he got for Christmas. That wouldn't be the same turkey asked me to slaughter about an hour ago, would it? You what? You didn't? No, I didn't. But he was gonna. He's probably done it by now. 
Right. Right what? I am a man of me word. Oh, I lay's right, and I'm fifth in line to the throne. No, 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 I am. And I says to myself, when the whiskey gets down to this line, I've pencilled on, I'm going to go out and I'm going to murder that turkey. Well, I'm going to do it now. Where have you got that baseball bat from? Boyfriend! Didn't know you had one. Flaming Leanne's flaming boyfriend, you idiot! You can't bash it to death. I'm going to stun it. I'm, I, I, where's that kitchen knife? Wherever you last had it. Sorry, I'll do it. There it is. Now then, where's me bit of rope? There's, there it is. Right. Stand aside. This is man's work. Are you coming? Have you killed it? I'm going to do it now. You promised me. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have gone out, should you? Well, stop him. He's drunk, love. You swine! Right, kid. No hard feelings. This is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. More, actually. Because you're stupid and I'm not. Who's told you that? You don't have to do this, Les. Murderer! Hey, don't worry, love. You won't do it. You don't have to get blood on your hands. You mind your own business, you. Turkeys are alive, Les. Sensitive beings, just like you and me. They can experience stress and fear and pain, just like you can. Oh, I, And I'm Walt Disney. I hope you can live with yourself, Les. I hope you can sleep at night. I hope you don't get nightmares. I hope you don't wake up in a cold sweat with turkey blood on your hands. Shut up! I hope when you put it in your mouth on Christmas Day, it doesn't turn a poisonous slime and make you choke and throw up. I said shut it! If you can handle that, Les, then go ahead. Bash it. Well, go on, then. What are you waiting for? Bash it. Put it out of its misery. won't regret this, Liz. You might not, but you will. What's right. she doing? Calm down, Janice. Don't you, yes, Janice, Janice me, you inside. filthy little bit. I will teach you to upset my legs. Well, you don't have to do this, Mrs. Battersby. Dad. What's happened to me? Can we keep Teresa, if you're not going to murder her, like a pet, to show her how sorry we are? Oh, well, yeah, we must. Forever? Yeah, yeah. Say it, forever. All right, all right, forever. Mr Fisher. Hello, Gary. I brought you something. What? Here, take this, we don't want it. What's going on? Just giving Mr Fisher his money back, we don't need it. Of course we flaming do. Liam Rung? No. Oh, we might have. I've been at Rovers. You are? Give him that back. Get off! We don't want it. Look, I'll just let you sort this out between yourselves, all right? No. You take the money back. Can I go home now? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks for popping in. Look, I don't want you taking that money. I don't believe you went to the pub. Judy, you're not taking that money home. Watch me. Judy. A bed and breakfast, eh? Just round the corner. So? He didn't go back to her after all. I know, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Mm -hmm. I just assumed that he had. Well, it's Christmas, isn't it? You start working out what's important to you round about Christmas, don't you? Or what isn't? What the girls, you mean? Well... I think he is sorry, you know. About hitting Chris and calling me a hypocrite. Of course, he didn't say so, but... But he was dead quiet. And what did he give me his phone number for? Probably because he wants an invite for Christmas Day. Well, he can want. Yo, 
Oh, she'll be nice and warm. Well, I said, watch it. Oh, sorry. Look, yes, Judy, I'm sorry. She's drunk. Don't apologise for me, not to her. Come on, his taxi's here. Get him. I suppose he's told you. Tell me what? That she's in our arms. Zoe, get in. Zoe! Yes, Zoe. And Katie! You knew! You knew she was there and he still brought the money back! That's why I brought the money back! Where is she? She's staying with me. I've got you the money. £2,000. I don't want your money. No, that's what you asked from the phone. That was Liam, he made me. I don't want it. I want Shannon and I'm keeping her. No! I'm sorry. I can get you more. No, you can't. I don't want your money. I just want you to leave me alone. She's mine! She's not yours. She's mine. She's mine! I didn't really want to cook myself this morning, but I still did. Didn't sleep a wink last night. Not a wink. Oh, didn't you, Jude? Oh, there they, poor thing. I'm at rock bottom, me. Rock flaming bottom. And you haven't even got the decency to eat what I cook you. Not on bread. Oh, and sympathy's not in use, is it? No way. But do I get any? No. Just expect it to pick myself up and get on with it while you just sit there. Nothing. Have you got anything to say to me this morning? Anything at all? Yes. If you're rock bottom, I'm even lower than I thought I was. What? You? Yes, me. What do you think scrabbling about on your knees picking up banknotes does for your self-respect? Oh, poor Gary. Make life so unbearable for you, do I? Well, if it's that bad, why don't you just clear off? Yeah, well, to be honest, that's what I've been thinking about doing. Spider this? Spider that? If Spider told you to eat your grandma, would you do it? No, of course not. Spider says we shouldn't eat meat. I give up. It's a good job your mum's shown him where to go. Oh, only by taking a baseball bat to him. Anyone can get their own way by threatening people, and there's not clever about that. What? Your class teacher had to have two weeks off when you went for her. What were different? I were at primary school then. Anyway, Spider had it coming. It'll teach him a man his own business in future. Well, it is his business. It's everyone's business. You just can't go around killing innocent birds. Oh, can't you? Well, you just watch me. That turkey gets stuffed today. But you said that... I was momentarily distracted. Drunk, you mean. Anyway, whatever happens, I want that bird out of here. Whether it be on a stone slab, is set free. I am not coming home to her in our yard. Understand? Yeah, well, you'll be plucking it at tea time. All right? You! You just don't appreciate how sensitive she is, do you? It's typical. When the going gets tough, Gary gets going. Typical. I don't know if you can say that. I don't even know if you can think that after all I've done for you. <laughs> I've done things that I've disagreed with. I've even brought the law for you. Doesn't stop you from being selfish when it comes down to it. Selfish? Yeah, selfish. Walking away from it all, thinking of your own needs as usual. When I've been to hell and back for you, to get you what you want, a baby of your own. You see, that's the problem. We don't communicate. Communicate? What are we doing now? Not communicating. You say one thing, but you mean another. The baby was for you, Judy. It was never for me. You're obsessed, woman. Surely you can see that. You're looking at life through a tunnel and there's only Katie at the end of it. There's no room in your life for me anymore. I've supported you all the way, stood by you, and you've still managed to cut me out. You, you never said... Well, do I have to? You know what all this says to me? It says I don't matter. Makes me feel small, worthless. I love you, Jude. More than I can say, because I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But I need to have some pride in myself. So maybe I should go. Get out. 
and get back some self-respect. Don't go anywhere, Gary. I'll give you back your pride, uh, honest. I don't know. You love me. Yeah. Well, stay here then. I don't know. Don't leave me. You're right. I have cut you out. I'm sorry. What can I do? I'll do anything. Put Katie behind us. Admit that it's over. Admit that she belongs to someone else. All right. What? You want to be careful, you do. Oh, it's all right. I've got more than that round from your Uncle Fred. <laughs> I'm sure you have. I didn't mean that. You should be careful of that young girl and her baby. Careful? How do you mean? Well, the longer you let them stay, the more difficult it'll be when you want to get shot of them. She's nowhere else to go. It's not your responsibility. Let the social services sort them out. They have special places for girls like her. Well, that's not very charitable. Charity begins at home, Ashley. But I am at home. Morning. Morning, Emily. Oh, people like Les Battersby can't stand the logic of reasoned argument. Yeah, that's just what I said. Uh, oh, hello, Toya. Yeah, I told him exactly that. I thought you were great yesterday. Well, but the problem is, well, he's still going ahead with it. Oh, no. Yeah, but I've got an idea. Somewhere I can take her, but I'll need help. Would you give us an hand? Well, I was Oh, go gonna... on, Spider, please. Yeah, OK. Oh, be careful, Geoffrey. Oh, dear. I'm afraid Toya's become rather besotted with Geoffrey. <laughs> Why does she call him Spider? Well, I believe it's because of his interest in things entomological. Better. I should say so. Gary. Mm-hmm. Don't ever be afraid of saying anything to me again, will you? If you've got something to say, tell me. Right, well, I've been thinking. Go on. Maybe it would help us if we gave Zoe all the stuff that we got for Katie. Sure. Hey, Teresa. Come on, Teresa. We should get a sack. No, no, it's all right. See, no problem. Cheer up. It's easy for you to say. I mean, you're out on the road, busy, busy. Bet you never even get the chance to think about me. Of course I do. Whereas I'm stuck here, and all I do all day is... Oh, forget it. What? Nothing. <sighs> oh, John. Couldn't I come with you? I mean, I, I could stay in the hotel while you do your business and, and then we could go out in the evening and, and travel back together. What do you say? It's, it's not as easy as that. I mean, I use the travelling time for work. My head's full of forecasts, projections and presentations and really I'm no company at all. In fact, if you were there, I think I'd probably get quite tense. Still early days in the job, you know. You don't want me to mess it up, do you? No, no, of course not. I'm sorry, John. It's me. I'm just going to miss you so much. It's the time of year. And I'm going to miss you too. I'll be back before you know it. Oh. And with that, he was gone. See ya. Bye. Don't forget it all. Just a quick one. All right, a quick one, but I've got loads to do and I've only got a lunch hour to do it in. Well, at least you haven't got a rampant turkey. Two halves of lager. Please. Two halves of lager. You and me should have a drink together sometime, Sally, seeing as we've got so much in common. And how'd you work that out? Well, we've both loved him and lost him, haven't we? As they say in those dozy magazines. I never lost him. You took him from me. Hello. Hi, Ken. Sorry. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I, I was just miles away. John's off there? Yeah, to Aberdeen or Timbuktu or somewhere. 
But back for Christmas. Oh, yeah. In fact, he didn't want to go, but uh, he's not been with the company long, as you know, so, uh, well, I persuaded him it was best that he should. All right. Anyway, uh, got to go. Bye. 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 Again, Jude. Business to sell. No, we haven't. We have if you want to see your kid again. Well, we don't. You'd better go and ask your missus about that one. I've had a very hard morning. So? I feel kind of pent up, ready to burst. You know, when you've got so much energy inside you and tension, they might just explode. You touch me and I love you. I knew you'd say that. But you've got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Because if I do explode, then I'll get sent down. But you won't get up again. Do you ever see that film with Clint Eastwood? Do you feel lucky? Well, do you? Liam. You don't feel it, you mate. Goodbye, Liam. Nutcase. I thought she looked really happy, didn't you? Really at home. Sort of content. Do you think she'll be all right there? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, children's farm. Just right for her. If I were a turkey, that's where I'd want to be. If you were a turkey, where would you want to be, Spider? Home. Yeah. Me too. Home. Well, fine then, Spider. What is it? Old Katie's stuff, clothes, toys and things. All oh, right. I, I can't pay you out. No, no, no problem. You all right? Yeah, thanks. Just had a run-in with your boyfriend. What, Liam? Is he here? No, no, I sent him on his way. Said he had some unfinished business, by which I suppose he means the two grand. Oh, you didn't give it him? No way. Good. Right. Look, I just want to say, you know, sorry. Sorry? What we did was wrong, stupid. Judy knows that now. Does she? Oh, yeah. You see, we had so much at stake. The further we went, the deeper we got. You know what I mean? We should never... You must have felt... We were stupid. We're sorry. It's all right. I mean, I thought it was a good idea and all the time. <laughs> You've always been straight with me, Gary. Thanks. And you're great at the birth. Take care. Both of you. I 
I know people think Jeffrey's a bit uh, avant-garde, but he's such a nice boy and so principled. <laughs> he reminds me of me. Does he? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, back in those days, it wasn't ecology. It was nuclear disarmament, and we weren't up trees. We were marching, but you still went out on a limb or, or down a road. <laughs> anyway, I can remember being very unpopular for my views. I remember that, too. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Ken. You do have a lot in common. I believe I have a photograph of you somewhere in your duffel oh. coat. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> and what about you? What are you doing for Christmas? Well, uh... Yeah, yeah, very quiet. To tell you the truth, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it very much. Well, you must join Geoffrey and me. No, 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 I wouldn't hear of it. Uh, I appreciate the thought, though. Well, Boxing Day, then? Well, yes, thank you. Yes, that would be very nice. Lovely. Two revolutionaries and me. <laughs> Your older woman was in here earlier. Oh, yeah? Who's that? <laughs> Why? How many have you got? Sally's got nothing to do with me, Natalie. Look, Chris, you shouldn't have lost your job. How about I have a word with Kevin for you? Don't bother. Wherever there are elephants, there might be bandits. What are you watching? The patrol's attention focused on the bush. Tell you They're momentarily unaware. Fancy going for a walk? Shopping? Not really. Do you good? I don't feel like it. It'll be good, you know, Jude. What will? Being able to go out, not living a lie. <laughs> Do you reckon? Just the two of us. Like it used to be. Don't go back now, Jude. We're looking forward. Talk to you. Yeah, well, I've got nothing to say. Oh, come on, Sol. Money talk. Right, that's it. D Day. And don't you try and stop me. I said that's it. It's too late now. All right. So, uh, this is it. My mind's made up. Les, you are driving me mad. Don't worry, love. It's all talk. It's flaming gone. It's disappeared. It'll be him next door. He'll have nicked it. Spider. Spider? I'll give him Spider when I get my hands on him. I'll strangle him with his own web. And how to know it were him? Because the gate's locked. And I was a big fat thing like that. I'm going to jump over the six foot wall. Hey. Teresa's a lot cleverer than you think. Oh, gone. It was you. It was you, weren't it? What have you done with that bird? Nothing. Don't you give me nothing. Where is it? She's in a safe place. Yeah. Hey, good one, Toya. Yeah? Now we can all get a bit of peace around here. Safe place? What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing as a safe place for that bird. Are you if you don't tell me where it is? Now, what have you done with it? She's where she always should have been. On the children's farm, over on the wreck. Oh. Think about it, so. A two-bedroom flat with me, you and Shannon. I haven't got the money. I know, I know, but you can get it. And here's the deposit. They're like gold dust two-bedroom flats. 500 quid? Yeah. Look, I'm not going to give up Shannon. You don't have to. You go to the mallets, get the money, and then we split. Well, I want to see the flat first. Don't you believe me? Yeah, but it might not be right for Shannon. I mean, what if it's on 10th floor or something? I'm telling you it's not. I still want to see I'm it. I'm telling you it's all right. Now, are you going to get the money or do you have to give it a slap? What's happening? Do one! Are you all right? I said do one! Don't you come back, Mr and Mrs Gross. Oh, pathetic. Sorry. Hey. 
Hey. Hey. All right. Busy. Well, that's good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Oh, well, I'll see you then. Chris, hang on. What are you up to? What do you mean? I mean, you fixed up any work or anything? Not yet. Oh. Well, look, if you want to reference it out, no problem, OK? Cheers. See you. I'm sorry, Chris. You left me no choice. Didn't I? You're sleeping with my wife. It was your estranged wife, Kevin. You left her. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Biggest mistake in my life. No, I regret it, eh? Especially now at Christmas. Wish I could go back to last year. I'd give anything to tell you. Well, um, thanks for the reference offer. I might take you up on that. Uh, yeah, yes, that's it, yes. Uh, my daughter left it with you by mistake. It's a family pet, you see. Done what? Escaped? Escaped? What are you on about? Escaped? How do I know? I've just been told it's done a runner. How long could it escape? I don't know. Hey, well, well she'll be coming back here, won't she? The home. Home? Don't be daft, that's pigeons! And turkeys, Spider told me. Good. That'll save me the trouble of hunting it down. Dad, a turkey's for life, not just for Christmas. Oh, surely you're not still gonna go after it, poor little thing. Listen, Chuck, when Les Batterby's on the scent, there's no stopping him. Hiya, Chris. Hi. How are you? I've just seen Kevin. Oh, yeah? I wasn't going to say anything, but, um... What? Is he all right? In a word, no. Why? What's up with him? I know it's not my place to say, but I think he's going to crack up pretty soon. He's got far too much work on over there, so... And... And what? Well, he's finding Christmas really hard. You, the girls. Well, yeah. Yeah, look, I know he deserves it. So does he. The problem is he can't say what he wants. He feels so guilty, he can't say what we can all see. And what's that? That he still loves you, Sally. Look, you know he does. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you. I know I don't owe him any favours, but, um, it's a shame. And what about you, Chris? I'm OK. Got a job? Not yet, but let me know if anything comes up at Underworld. <laughs> You're not that desperate, are you? No. Thanks, Chris. I'm really grateful to you. I'll find my own way out, eh? You'll do it. You've got to find Teresa. Right. Hurry up. Well, if we find this thing, you leave it to me. Do you understand? Oh. Oh, it's wonderful, aren't you lucky? Hey. And this is for you. Oh, thank you. I think it's the stuff you like. Well, I know this is the stuff that you like. Cheers, thanks. And listen, you haven't made any arrangements, have you, for your dinner? Because you could always stop and have it with us. You sure? Oh, well, yeah, it's what we said. And it'd be nice for the girls. Well, yeah, thanks. Hey, but I'm not a guest. I don't want waiting on. If I stay, then I want to help. <laughs> you can help all you like. In fact, you can start right now by making me a coffee while I go and put some of this wonderful <laughs> perfume on. <laughs> thanks. Let's forget it's Christmas. Just have a nice, easy day. Maybe go for a walk or something. Yeah, well, we'll have us Christmas dinner, cos I've bought stuff in. Oh, that's all right. But we don't have to be jolly and sing carols. 
I made it rotten for you, haven't I? No. And you've been so good. I'm glad I married you. I'm glad you did too, or else we'd be married to two other people. And we might be having affairs by now. Well, perhaps it's not such a bad idea. No. I'd sooner have it this way. Anyway. Here. Mm. Happy Christmas. Ta. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Two. Yeah. Uh, well, one's for next year. So I'm in credit, aren't I? One of these were from Katie, wasn't it? I can't remember. Oh, we got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have thrown one of them away. But I'm too mean. I didn't want to waste my money. We can't leave you here on your own. It's Christmas Day. It's what I said. Look, it doesn't make any difference to me what day it is. Well, I'm very sad to hear that, but it makes a difference to me. I can't go home and enjoy turkey with all the trimmings thinking of you here with your little baby. Hello, little baby. I suppose Liam comes back. He won't. Anyway, he can lock us in. Luke, I've cooked miles too much for just the two of us. I always do, don't I? Yeah. I just can't help myself. So you'd be doing me a favour if you'd come and help shift some of it. Come on, Zoe. It's daft is all this. I'm just putting on you all the time. No, you're not. Zoe, I would be pleased and honoured if you'd come and have Christmas dinner at my house. Now, I can't speak plainer than that. Only Ashley's got spuds to peel yet, so can we stop this chilly shallion and get a move on? Well, I'll have to sort her out. She's ready for another change. Right, well, get on with it uh, as quick as you can. Great. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I say, I hope you've thought of some clever way out of all this. Cos this isn't the baby Jesus in a manger, you know. This is a real live bambino that needs clothing and feeding and looking after. And there won't be three wise men bearing gifts. In fact, any wise man would have biggered off long ago. Rita, Kevin's here. I persuaded him to stop for his dinner. You don't mind, do you? Of course I don't. Anyway, it's your husband and your house. Well, it's just I don't want to put you in an awkward situation, that's all. Question is, do you mind me being here? I mean, I don't want to be in the way if you want to talk. Oh, we've done enough of that. Come right, on, OK. Right. Oh, where are they? Here we are. Look who's here. Hey, Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, Kevin. Uh, How are you? I'm surviving, you know. Well, it's nice to see you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now thanks. then, let's see what we've got for you girls. No, we've just been for a bit of a walk, get some fresh air, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I must do the same. <laughs> right, that's two ninety, please, Gary. Right, cheers. So, uh, I was looking after Katie then. Oh, well... Her mother. Is she back? I didn't know. Well, no, she's just having a go at bringing her up herself for a bit. And are you happy about that? I'm having to be. Come on, let's go and have a sit down. Hey, this dinner I'm doing, how many of us are going to be here? Uh, well, there's me and you, yeah. Jack, Alec. It's four. Right. What about, uh, is she going to be joining us? Well, uh... Natalie, uh, will you be staying for a bit of dinner, like, or will you be wanting to get away, like? No, you are welcome to stop, you know, with invitations to all staff working here today. I know. I was just wondering if there's anybody to get back to, that's all. No, there's no one to get back to, Vera. Oh. Right. I'll make it for five then, shall I? Oh, yes, right. please, Betty. Right. <laughs> so you won't be expecting Kevin coming then? No. I should think he'll be with his wife and kids. Men, eh? You know, you can never rely on them to leave their wives, can you? What? What's that? You might well ask. Fight, Jack, when you've got a minute. Right, Cook. Uh, you'll have one with me? Uh, yeah, I'll have a hand. Thanks. So, this turkey of yours, is it dead yet? Well, it's to be hoped so. It's been in the oven for six hours. I've next a few birds in my side, but never a turkey. How did you manage? Oh, I didn't neck it. I smacked it with my motor. I ran over it out there, in the street. Well, right. So what kind of shape is it? Well, uh, what I did was, I got a hammer and I bashed it all the way round till it was back to the shape a turkey should be. Mm. More or less. I mean, it won't win any beauty contest, but then again, it's not entering any either. Mm. 
Uh, you're not going to be on your own, are you? Why don't you come round and have a bite with us? I'm fine, thanks very much. Well, well, all blood and feathers and stuff, you know. Oh, now that it wouldn't come off, no. What I did was I took it to one of these car washes, you know. All oh, right. Are yeah. you sure you won't like to come round and have a bite? Positive. Hmm. I've got to make a phone call. I know, I know. I should have done it yesterday, but I forgot. Well, go on, then. To be honest, since we moved in, he's been away more than he's been here. So you've been stuck on your own? Cos you won't know your neighbours yet, will you? Well, it's not so bad during the week, as I'm at work all day talking, so <laughs> it's a relief to be quiet. The weekends get me down. He's away then as well? Yeah, sometimes. He says it's all just because it's a new post and he has to get everything up and running, you know. It's, it's not going to be like this forever. Not right wonderful for you, though, in the meantime, is it? Hello? Happy Christmas. Oh, happy Christmas. Where are you? Lancaster. I should be with you um, well, in about an hour. Great. So, how are things with you? Oh, fine. Liz has arrived. We're just... <laughs> well, we're just getting quietly sloshed, really. Uh, look, I won't stop and chat because, uh, well, the sooner I get going, the sooner I'll see you. OK, love. Drive carefully. Yeah, will do. See you, love. Bye. Oh, he'll be with us in an hour. Do you know, your face lit up when he answered that phone. Oh, I still love him, even though he's never here. Yeah. Right, there we are. Cheers. Now, has everybody got what they want? Yeah. Do you not want some of this turkey? No. Hey, just try it. No, I'm a vegetarian. And anyway... I don't eat victims of road traffic accidents. Hey, we don't want reminding. It's his own fault. You go running down the road. It were a turkey. They don't follow the highway code. That's what I'm saying. I think I've got a bit where the car hit it. Car hit all of it. Yeah, I know, but look, it's all squashed like it's been driven over. Will you stop it? You're putting me off now. Well, you're not putting me off. This is champion turkey, this. Oh, I can't eat this. Look, it's even got tyre marks on it. Oh, I don't know how you can even stand to have it on your plate. It's flesh. It's been a living creature. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind that if it hadn't been a squash living creature. Well, I think it's great. Best turkey I've ever had. Hey, it's probably benefited from being squashed. It's concentrated the flavour. Give over talking about it, can't you? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't eat it. I don't even want it on my plate. Oh, I can't even stand the smell. I'm going to have to sit somewhere else. Yeah, I'll come with you. All the more for us. I don't want any. I don't want out now. I've completely lost my appetite now. Well, I think it's smashing. Do you know, I think I'll write to that Bernard Matthews and tell him the best thing he can do is run over every turkey he's got. You won't believe who that was on the phone. I didn't even hear it ring. Well, I wish I hadn't. It was at the airport to say that the alarm's going off at the shop. The police have checked it out and found nothing, but they want someone from the firm to go and, well, confirm that nothing's been taken. Oh, no, John, please. We're in the middle of our Christmas dinner. I did say that. Well, well, if they know there's nothing wrong, why can't they just lock it up and leave it till tomorrow? Regulations. Look, you carry on with the kids and I'll be back as soon as I can. Well, when you do, do you think you could start looking for another job? I'm serious. They treat you just as if they own you. They expect you to go out night after night. I know. And now, just in the middle of our Christmas dinner. Well, you're leaving. That's it. OK. OK, but I've got to go. Oh, come here. It's not your fault. You're just too loyal. So she phoned this morning and I said to her, what are you doing for your dinner? She said, well, the vicar's invited me for dinner. This is, this is Mavis I'm talking about. You remember Mavis, don't you? Yeah, of course they do. Who could forget? <laughs> so I said, you're getting well in there, aren't you? Dinner with the vicar. She said, and then, this afternoon, we're going for a five-mile walk. And I thought, Rita, you did the right thing there. Oops, sorry. What, not going with her? Mm. Oh, I'm sure you did. Anyway, I'll make some coffee, shall I? Uh, you stay where you were. It's already done. No, I thought... Me and Cartmel wouldn't have hit it off. Actually, there's some different coffee I wanted to try. Excuse me, me. Right. Now, do you two like walking? A right, different right, coffee. Yeah. That was just an excuse. Hey, you won't go before Rita goes, will you? Then we can have some time together. 
No. I'm not promising anything. It'd just be nice to be on our own. Yeah, sure. Hey, I hope you're starving. I think I've miscalculated the turkey. I don't think it is a turkey. It's an ostrich, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, there's an awful lot of it. <laughs> Great. It's been a long time since breakfast. <laughs> you know, what I don't get is... This company of yours, well, they have the shops and airports, don't they? So why don't they fly everywhere instead of making you drive? That is an argument we're in the middle of. Exactly. If they want me at one end of the country one day and the other end the next, then they should pay for me to fly. And what about us that don't want you at either end but want you here? Well, yes, quite. She told you how I've been neglecting her. No. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it won't be forever, I promise. It's just getting the job up and running. Yeah, I know. I've told her that as well. But I also said I loved him anyway, didn't I? Do you want me to tell the truth this time? Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> bath salts. Do you know, it's bought me bath salts every Christmas since we've been wed. Mm. Uh, and what do you buy me, then, eh? Socks. <laughs> I don't only buy you socks. Sometimes I buy Yankees. But bath salts. Do you know I think it's got shares in them? Right, you won't be getting any more, then. Good. Well, I don't mind admitting I've bought nothing for nobody. Mm. Ah, we've noticed. Well, it gets out of hand, Betty. You buy for one, you've got to buy for another. Well, our chap doesn't. There's only me buys bath salts for. I did send our Vicky a little box of stem ginger, but, I mean, that's different. She's family, isn't Yeah. It? You know. Family, yeah. I don't know. We didn't even get a Christmas card off our son, did we? I mean, we don't even know where it is. Don't want to, neither. But families, they used to stick together. Not just at Christmas, but all the time. Now they've all split up. It's like the cats on the side of each other. You've all been very quiet, love. Will you be seeing your family over Christmas? Shouldn't think so, no. There was none of them too happy when I moved Kevin in. Oh. See, it wasn't just folk around here who didn't approve. It was my end as well. But I was in love, wasn't I? Oh. So I told them what to do. I said, I don't care if you never speak to me again. So now they don't. Trouble is, neither does Kevin. Any more gravy over there, Alec? Uh, uh, just a bit, I think, no. yeah. There's some stuff in it, if you fancy that. Beckett was slightly doubtful until Sam explained that the ball was magic and couldn't be moved by man or diplodocus. Right, girls, I'm off. I'll see you soon. And thank you again for my present. It was lovely. Have a good time. ta -da, girls. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, credit where credit's due. He is trying, the lad is. I know he is. But then again, so he should. He's got a lot of ground to make up. You might think too much. Me? I'm off home, put my feet up and watch telly. Oh, really? But thank you again, Sally. It's been lovely. Oh, bye, Rita. Oh. Happy Christmas. And a happy Christmas to you. Ta da, love. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, Ta -da. see you soon. Bye. Never changes, does she, Rita? Well, I thought she looked a bit tired. You know, she's running that shop all on her own. Mm. Anyway, do you fancy going for a walk? I promise the girls we'd take them to feed the ducks. A walk? Feed the ducks? Yeah, great. Say that again. You've got to set off again. Now. Well, no, not right this minute. Today, as soon as we finish this meal. Uh, yeah, more or less. Because they want you where? Where is it this time? They rang this morning, on my way down here, to say the manager of our Portsmouth branch had got drunk, fallen over and broken his leg. Oh, they'll have to buy him a pair of crutches then, won't they? Yeah, that is one solution. Uh, their preferred one is that I go down there, take over and organise their January sales. And you said? Well, I didn't have any choice. You did have one choice. You could have said no to them. Oh, come on. Well, why not? Oh, you say it to me. You say it to me all the time. Why couldn't you say no to them? I did warn you when I took the job. Yeah, and don't I wish I'd listened. I'll just take these into the kitchen. I'm sorry, Liz. It's my fault. No, no, it's OK. Look, the man broke his leg. I mean, nobody could have planned for that. No, I don't suppose they could. I'll get back as soon as I can, and then I'll make it up to you. 
I swear, I will make it up to you. Well, good. Because I think you've got quite a lot of making up to do. Oh, you look better for that sleep. I ain't been to sleep. I've been thinking about Katie. Go on. Well, all right, Zoe's taken her back. And we've accepted it because we've had her. Yeah. But that don't mean we can't still see her, you know, like, have anything to do with her. I mean, she's only over at Row. We can still see her. Up and take her out from time to time. You know, babysit her, that sort of thing. We said it was for the best if we cut all ties. Yeah, well, I don't see why. You don't? Gary, I'm trying to be positive. I need something to cling on to. All right, all right. I'm not knocking the idea. I can see what you mean. Just see her now and again, you know? Keep track of her as she grows up. Fine, OK. You're just saying that, or do you mean it? No, I mean it. Well, should we go across now, then? Hang on. You don't want to panic. You know what Zoe's like. If she gets the wrong idea, she'll be off like a shot. I wish I were coming home with you, Betsy, instead of having to open up. Oh, look, you've done enough. Get them two fellas in there to do it. You put your feet up, love. You know, I think you're right. Yeah. Totally. I will love. See okay. you better. Ta -da -da. So it's simple. We've just got to find the treasure. It'll be difficult. Oh, well, never mind. I'll help. <coughs> so, why did you want me to stay? Well, because I wanted to talk to you. I've been thinking about the way you reacted when you found out about me and Chris. Oh, yeah. And I, I think I can understand why you went off in the deep end like you did. Wish you hadn't done, no. No, but... I think as much as anything, cos it was him. Well, yeah. Look, I know I went off with Natalie, and I couldn't really complain about anything you was doing, but... But when it was the man that you worked with... Look, I know it shouldn't have made any difference. But it must have done. It must have felt as though we were, like, conspiring against you or something. Yeah, a bit like that, yeah. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say, that I'm sorry I didn't realise how you'd see it. <laughs> no, I'm the one who's sorry. Always will be. I'll go on being sorry for the rest of my life. Anyway, happen I've stayed long enough, have I? Now you've said what you wanted to. Well, do you want to stop until I put the girls to bed? Yeah, sure. Sorry it took so long. It's just with it being Christmas. But it was a false alarm. Yep. Well, never mind. You're here now. They were getting hungry, so we've had our tea. Which I'm afraid means you're eating by yourself. Fine. Don't worry about me. And, because you had to go away halfway through your dinner, I've saved you some pudding. You can go on whenever you like, you know. I don't think we're going to be exactly rushed off our feet. Well, I'd rather be here, Alec. This is a bit of company. Look, you, you do get over things, you know. I mean, what you, what you said about you and Kevin. Put everybody off their dinner with that, didn't I? No, but, uh, well, I would have once said that I'd have never stood behind this bar again. <laughs> See, me and the wife used to have this place, and uh, I did the business side. She was the one you noticed. Then it all went wrong, and... Well, all I'm saying is you do get all the things. Yeah, but what if you don't want to? Uh, oh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not up to them clever questions. You'll have to ask somebody else that. Scotch and threat, please, Alec, and a pint. Bye. You're not doing much business tonight, are you? Is there something going on? Oh, I don't know. I think it's one of them feast days. Exactly. Hiya. Uh, me and Judy were talking, and we're wondering if it'd be all right if we popped across and saw Katie, just for a visit, like. Well, when were you thinking? Tomorrow, maybe. But it'd be best if you told Zoe first. Tell her there's nothing to worry about. Well, can I get you? A vodka and tonic, then, please, Ken. Right, OK, I'll have a uh, vodka and tonic and a pint, please, Natalie. So you were at Sally's. Well, I'll be company for you. And you were on your own all day. Rita, it was wonderful. I could read what I wanted, watch what I wanted on the box. Was, um, was Kevin with you at Sally's? 
Well, whether he was or he wasn't, I don't think it's any of your business, is it? Probably not, no. Alec, perhaps I will go, if you don't mind. Uh, no, no, of course not. Thanks. Now, what was it? Uh, you were... I'm not saying out against the lass. On the other hand, there's not a lot to be said for her. She's latched on to use a soft touch, and that's top and bottom of it. So I should throw out, then, should I? You should encourage her to move on. I never got this right. This is Christmas Day when everyone's going on about baby Jesus in stable. And how sad it was because he had nowhere else to go. Them were different times. They didn't have social services then. Well, I think you're all hypocrites. You and Maud and everybody, all singing Christmas carols and going on about peace on earth. And then it's same breath, you're telling me get rid of us or we throw her out? Well, no, I won't. She can stop as long as she likes. Sophie, could I keep her eyes open, then? <laughs> she will try, though, won't she? Do you, um, do you want another drink? Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, do you? I don't want you to be sorry for the rest of your life, Kevin. So what do you want? I want you back. You sure? You're not just saying that because it's Christmas? Yeah, I'm sure. That's if it's what you want. I want that more than anything. Go on, go and see how tidy you can make it and I'll be up in two minutes to have a look. <laughs> Rosie just said to me, is Daddy going to be staying here forever? So I said, yeah. And she said, oh, I'll have to be very nice to him from now on, won't I? <laughs> you think they're going to remember all this? Doubt Sophie will. It'd be nice if we could all forget, wouldn't it, eh? Total amnesia, go back to where we was last year. <sighs> Not much chance of that. Though I certainly don't think we should be talking about it and trying to work out why it went wrong. No. Or having a party to celebrate we're back together. I just think we should just carry on as normal. What? <clears throat> Not even tell anyone? Well, if they ask, but no big announcements. Mm. What? No, I agree with you. It's just... I think you should let Natalie know. Kevin! What? I can't believe you've mentioned her name on our first morning together. Well, it's only because... I'm surprised at you, I really am. I know, but it's because she works in the Rovers. And sooner or later, we're going to go in there. And that's when she'll find out. Yeah, OK. Same way as everybody else will. Whereas to go and tell her, that's making her out to be somebody special, isn't it? And she isn't anymore. Not where our marriage is concerned. OK. <sighs> Are you sure that's what you want? A turkey sandwich for your breakfast? Yeah, yeah. I could live on turkey, me. Well, you might have to. The amount we've got left. You girls don't know what you're missing. Yes, we do. You go around seeing your veggie boyfriend today, then? Don't know who you're on about. Looney Tune next door. Of course you do. He's not my boyfriend. No, but you wish he were, don't you? How old is he, anyway? Oh, he's at least 20. Yeah. Well, you want to watch yourself. He might be a veggie, but all his other appetites will be normal. You can bank on it. I shouldn't have gone on at him like that. It's not his fault he has to keep staying away. I know loads of women who'd love their husbands to have jobs that kept him away all night. Well, he's not my husband yet, is he? And he'll think different when he is? No. I still want him here. You see, I'm torn now. Part of me doesn't want to go out this morning in case he rings. Shall I ring him? I've tried. His phone's switched off. No. We've said we'd go to the sale, so it's just too bad. Anyway, the answer phone's switched on. He can leave a message. Come on, let's go. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't even afford a new pair of knickers. You're doing it to help me find something to get married in. Am I? All right, well, come on, then. Why don't we just go across and knock on the door? They might not be in. Well, then we'll just come back again, won't we? I saw Ashley in the pub. He said he'd mention it to Zoe. 
Yeah. So, I think it'd be better if we hung on and waited to be invited over. Well, what if it's forgotten to tell her? We'll be waiting till next Christmas. We'll do something before then. First, don't you think we should take that two grand back to your boss? I suppose so. Well, we don't need it now. There's no point having it hanging about the house. Might as well give it him back before he starts charging us interest. You know, the more I think about it, the more I don't understand why he lent it to us in the first place. Yeah, all right. We'll take it back. Today? Yes! Can't we go see Katie first? Oh, oh. How do you think it would be if we made some soup? Because I always think it's nice and welcoming at the visitor. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Me, uh, my dad killed Teresa. We ran over in his car. After we took her to that farm place? Yeah, she came back. Your father ran over that turkey in his car? Yeah. Oh, but I didn't eat any. Couldn't stand even to look at it. I'm not surprised. Can I come in? Well, not just now, Toya, if you don't mind. We've quite a lot to do. Grief for Teresa. I still think it's a bit soon. Oh, well, just calling round to say hello. It's what people do at Christmas. Yeah, but in her eyes, it's King Herod calling, isn't it? Hiya. Oh, hiya. Is it all right to have a look at Katie? You know what I said, we might pop over. Uh, yeah. Just hang on a minute, can you? They want to come in and see you. Well, they can't, I've told you. They only want to visit because it's Christmas. Don't be soft. First chance they'll get, they'll steal her back. Or at least she will. They might trust him, but I'll never trust her. No, they won't, neither of them. It's what I did. How do you think I got her off them? But I'm here, I won't let him. You won't be able to stop him. I'm not joking, Ashley. You let him in and I'm straight out that back door. Oh, well, tell him it's a bad time. And then they'll come back. Tell him no, they can't see you. Now or any other time. I'm sorry, but no. She said he can't. But why? Zoe, we only want to look at her. Judy, come on. We don't want to touch you. You keep hold of her. She said. Yeah, well, she's got no right. We brought Katie up as our own and she's stolen her. It's wrong what you're doing, you know. Judy, come on. We don't deserve this. You were on the streets until we helped you. Look, I'm going to have to shut the door now. <sighs> come on, Judy, this isn't helping anybody. That's awful not letting us see you. Well, I said it was a bit soon. We should have waited. Wait? Wait? You'd have us wait forever. You'd have us wait till we were dead. Did you hear from him then, Kevin? Nope. Well, I'd set my sights on somebody else. I mean, I'd lend you our jack if I thought it dealt, but it's not in full working order. So let's get this straight. You're trying to sell me a load of leftover turkey. It doesn't have to be a cash sale. I'll settle for a, a few pints. Look, it's Boxing Day, Les. The world's awash with leftover turkey. I could charge folk for taking it off their hands. So you've had a good Christmas, then? No worse than usual, son. That's OK, then, Jack. <coughs> ah, Gary, just the man. Want a pint? Yes, please. Mm. Mm. Are you to blame for everything that happened in your house? Oh, I, yeah. Uh, even when I got in half the time. Well, it would get wet. You know, it amazes me why you lads going for it today. I mean, in our day, it was different. It was, like, it was the only way you could uh, get your even wage. Right, yeah, well, we know we had it tough in them days, don't we, Gary? Yeah. Street lights, you see. <coughs> They weren't as good as they are now. So you didn't always know what you were getting until no. it was too late. Right. <laughs> right, that's uh, 2.40. There you go. Martin, and you're on. Thank you. No, it's been hell of a Christmas so far. Good man. No, not that kind of hell. You know Zoe, who worked baby's mother? Yeah. She turned up again and took her back. Well, that's a bit strong, isn't it? Judy's beside herself. Somehow or other, I'm getting all the blame. Sal, I know you don't want me to say anything, but I've got to tell her. No, you haven't. But put yourself in her place. I've been in her place. I don't have to put myself in it. OK, so you know what it's like when you're the last to know and everyone else is talking about it. I do, yeah. And I'm surprised you want to remind me. I didn't mean to. 
It's just the way it came out, so. Oh. Look, can't you see it from my point of view, Sal? I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to rub her nose in it. Why should I? I'm not suggesting you do. I just don't want her to be treated like she's somebody special, that's all. Yeah, OK, I mean... But I'm sorry, Sal. I don't want to find it out from someone else or just by seeing us walking in together. So I'm going to go down the rovers now and if she's there, I'm going to tell her and then come right back out again, OK? Judy took to looking after Katie the minute they got back from the hospital. Zoe didn't seem to lift a finger, she just sat there and watched. Well, she'll have a shock now, then. Can't imagine how Judy's feeling. One minute she's nursing a baby that she's accepted as her own, the next it's gone. She's absolutely devastated. Well, I should imagine you both are. Yeah, we are a bit. Do you want another? No, go on. Two pints, please, Alec. Righto. Let's talk about something else, then. Look, I know you're saying let's talk about something else, but... Go on. Well, is it worth you talking to social services? I mean, you'd be not worried about the baby's welfare, which I think you've got every right to be. No. Between me and you, that £2,000 that we said that Zoe nicked, she didn't. Mm. What you heard would write. We give it to her for the baby, on condition she disappeared. Right. So we can't tell anybody anything. Or she'll open her mouth and we'll become the villains of the piece, which I don't know. Perhaps we deserve to be. That's 2 40 when you're ready. Kevin? Look, I haven't come for a drink. I've just come to tell you something. All right. Well, do you want to go and sit down? I'm sure Alec won't mind. No, it won't take a minute. I just didn't want you hearing it from someone else. I've, uh, I've moved back in with Sally. I see. Yeah, well, I mean, for the kids mainly. Well, I never stood a chance against them, did I? So there you go. Look, uh, you know, I hope things work out for you. I thought they already had. Yeah, so did I. I'll see you. for it, but look at me. I'm shaking like a leaf. Oh. And he just looked you in the eye and said he were back with her. Yeah, more or less. Well, at least now you know. Here. Now she don't need disturbing her. She's had a shock. She needs time to get over it. Yes, all right, all right. And you'll just sit there, love. Take as long as you like. I'm sorry, Alec. I'll be all right in a minute. And, uh, this is all to do with Kevin, is it? I, mean, I couldn't help noticing. He's gone back to his wife, Alec. Well, he's gone back to his kids, is how he puts it. Well, at least you're not nursing false hopes. Yeah, but they're what kept me going. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said yesterday, there's nothing the human spirit can't surmount. <laughs> and a lot quicker than you'd expect in most cases. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, on with the shoe. <laughs> oh, not you, of course. No, you stop there. Else I'll be in serious trouble with Vera. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a couple of pints with Gary. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know that baby of theirs? Well, apparently, the real mother's turned up out of the blue. But taking it off him? No. Hmm? Told me something else as well, but I promised him I'd keep it to myself. Oh, come on, wives don't count. Well, go on then. You know Zoe was supposed to have taken that 2,000 quid off him? Yeah. Well, that was just a cover story. It turns out that they paid her that 2,000 quid in exchange for leaving the baby with him. I mean, they paid her for it? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. Well, I can't believe that. Why not? I don't know what Leanne's already told you. Hey! You weren't supposed to be listening to that. Well, I couldn't help you. Weren't exactly whispering, were you? Anyway, she did, didn't she? I seem to remember her saying something of the sort. Yeah, and you told us she was a liar. 
Well, how are you going to apologise? Look, I've told you now. You shouldn't have heard any of that. Look, OK, fair enough. It's my fault for opening me big gob. But can we all agree to keep it between ourselves, eh? Well, I'm not going to say anything. No, no, you're not. What about you? I'll try not to. Now, I'll just put everything out. Then people can help themselves. Oh, excuse me. Hey, um... <clears throat> I didn't know you smoked. Yeah. What about you? No, no. I wouldn't normally do it in somebody else's house, but... Auntie M's been very understanding. Almost insisted. It's your young admirer from next door. Do you think you can put her off for now? Yeah, sure. It's um, Toya Battersby. Ah. I'm sure you don't want the company of one of your ex-pupils. <laughs> Not just now. It's like a scene from an old people's home and now you don't want to know. Well, we don't have to stay with them, do we not? Well, actually, I think I do. It's what I do instead of paying rent. Well, then I'll stay with you. Toya, no, you can't mean that. You must have friends your own age. Yeah. Well, then it's them you want to be with. Me, I've got to have tea with the two relics. So you're telling me to get lost? You weird you, do you know that? Hey, um, I noticed Geoffrey was rolling himself a cigarette. Uh, yes, herbal. He's quite keen on them. Is he really? It's cool, she's not coming in. Well, I wouldn't mind normally. Um, I just thought it wouldn't be much fun for Ken. I thought you were a vegetarian. She just can't resist it. Squash turkey. There's nothing like it. Is this to do with Looney Tune next door? Have you had a row? Yeah, you have, haven't you? That's it, innit? Ah, that'll be for me. Have you, love? Have you had a falling out, do? Never mind that. The point is, she's learned to enjoy her food again. Hiya. Hi, you all right? Mm, yeah. Hiya, Nick. Hiya, Nicholas. Hi. Love you, all right? OK. You had a nice Christmas? Yeah, it's okay, thanks. Good. Do you want a beer? Oh, please, yeah. There you go. Cheers. And I'll tell you what you want to go with that. A nice turkey sandwich. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, let's go upstairs. Yeah, and then I've got some news for you. Only Martin telling my mum as how he was paid to hand over a baby. Like I said. Just like you said. What are you doing? I'm taking that money back to Paul. You stop there, I'll see you later. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'll come with you. I can do it myself. I know you can. I thought it'd be nice if we did it together. Why? Well, for one, I'd like to thank the guy. Tell him how much he appreciated him lending us the money. Well, I can do that. Judy, don't push me away just because the way things worked out. I'm not. I just don't want to end up rowing in front of Paul again. You know what happened last time? I'm not having that again. Well, you won't have that again. We'll just go in, give him the money and say thank you. Oh, you say that now, but we're practically rowing already. No, I'd rather do it myself, all right? Never met anyone as nice as you. Don't be daft. No way. He stood up for me before when Gary and Judy came round. Oh, fantastic. No one's ever done anything like that for me. So anyway, I think it's time you got your reward. What reward? Come on, don't be shy. Hey, no. You don't have to do that. I don't have to, but maybe I want to. I mean, there's no need for it. I wasn't helping you, so we'd... we'd do that. All right, calm down. I'm not going to drag you up there. I'm sorry, but... I was only trying to be nice. Yeah, well, you don't have to be. Shine in future, don't worry. Look. It's not as if I don't like you or anything. It's too late now. Well... Nice to see you. I don't know why you're bothering stopping open. That's just what I was thinking. Give us a minute while I shut up shop. I just want to have my full and undivided attention. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, shall we sit down? What's happened to Natalie then? Oh, I've sent her home. She's had a bit of bad news that's upset her. 
Comes here, do you? I beg your pardon. Oh, come on. I've seen you sniffing around. I mean, all right, she's coming free. She's not a bad-looking bird. Jack, she is an employee. Makes it easier. She's also someone who's been through an unsettling time of late. Are you telling me that you've never known a man offer sympathy? I mean, pure, unvarnished sympathy to a woman without having ulterior <laughs> motives? I haven't, no. Well, you have now. We'll see. We'll see. So, what did you get then? Oh, nice. She did. I got a very nice suit with shoes and all the trimmings. Mm. Oh, go on, tell her the rest. Which will serve as my wedding outfit when I get married in four weeks' time. Hey, you did do well. Anyway, that's just right, love. £3.15. And it's no what tell anybody you got it in sale. Because they'll only start making comments, you know, when you're walking down the aisle. <laughs> I've never thought of it like that. Ignore her. Yes, yes, I, I think Geoffrey's a very nice lad. Though, um... I hope you don't mind me mentioning this. No. Well, I'm no expert, but those herbal cigarettes that he's smoking... I'm fairly sure that they're cannabis. It's got a very distinctive smell. Oh, they were, yes. Definitely cannabis. <laughs> you? Yes. What I don't know is what to do about it. If I tell them that he can't smoke them in the house, then he'll only smoke them outside. And he's in trouble with the police already. So, uh, does he know that you know? Oh, no. No, he thinks I'm his dotty old aunt who'll believe anything. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for keeping me company this Christmas, Liz. It would have been a real drag on me old. Hey. You want to put your foot down when you're married to him? Stop all this gadding about. Oh, I shall put my foot down. Gently. Hmm. Gently. But on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what did she say? Natalie. Who else? Well, not a lot. I didn't give a chance, did I? I just told her to turn around and come straight back out. I suppose I can see why he wanted to tell her. It's just the mention of her name and it just sets me off. It's like when the kids start asking when we're going back to Scarborough again. Straight away, I think about what happened last time. Where are you bound to? And I went into the shop this morning. I didn't tell you this, but I bumped into Chris. And I just said hello to him and nothing much else. But, I mean, it's like everywhere you go, there's everything all the time reminding you. Yeah, I know. Anyway, here's to us. To us. So it's not the same as, is it, as before? Too much has happened. What? You think I'm different? You think I've changed? Yeah. So have I. So how come one week you're desperate for it and the next you don't want it? Where things turned out, we don't need it. There's no point borrowing when we don't have to. OK. But if you should want it again? We won't. And another thing, I won't be working here anymore. Oh, Judy, come on! It's for the best. What, because of what happened? Partly that. What, you think you wouldn't be able to trust yourself? <laughs> I can trust myself. I just want to forget it. I don't want reminding. Look, what happened was only a one-night stand, if that's what you want it to be. I think it could be something else. Well, that's where you're wrong. Now, you've got your money and I'm going. As easy as that? Look, Paul. What we did... Just forget it. It never happened. It did, though, didn't it? Did she get off? Just now. We don't have this far. I think she must be cleaving. Yeah. Sit down and have some breakfast. Ta. You working? Only this morning. I've ruined it, haven't I? What? Well, what do you think? Last night. No, you haven't. I feel really stupid. I bet you think I'm trying to get round you. I don't. Look, can we just forget it? You want me out, though, don't you? Well, you were only staying till after Christmas. I know. It's not because of last night. 
don't know where I'm gonna go. We'll find you somewhere. Mo said something about hostels he have. Hostels? For single mothers. You don't have to pay. I'm not living off charity. I do suppose that's what I'm doing now, really, isn't it? It's what I'll be doing anyway. Look, you don't have to worry about it now. You eat your breakfast and get back to bed and get some sleep. Talk about it later. Hiya. Hiya. Hey, you haven't forgot we're going to my mum's for his dinner, have you? Oh, I don't fancy it. Oh, come on. You know we always enjoy it. Might book you up a bit. <sighs> you know what? I feel better now that we've got rid of that two grand. Yeah. Well, you can work there now and have something to show for it. I'm not going back to work there. Why not? Well, we need the money now that I'm out of work. And you worked there before we had Katie. I'm just not going, and that's the end of it. What are you going to do then? Find a job somewhere else? God, it's not just the money, is it? You need someone to take your mind off things. I want to move. Move? Where to? Anywhere, just away from here. Why? I'm sick of people thinking that they own me. What people? Everybody. Sticking the two penneth worth in. Well, most of them are all right. Well, you're bound to get a bit of gossip, aren't you, after what we did? That's a reason in itself. No, it's not. I could see some point in going to Newcastle when we were getting away from Zoe. But we've nothing to run away from now, have we? No. Well, there you are then. We're staying. If you're looking for our Ashley, he's not here yet. I'm just opening up for him. Why should I be looking for him? Because torches go on burning long after they've been set down, that's why. Yes, well, I couldn't give a monkey's about him. I still can't understand why you two split up. You were getting on champion, weren't you? Obviously not. He wants his head examining, I say. He wants his bumps feeling. Taking on that whiff and stray. Your own baby's enough work. Somebody else's. You've not lumbered yourself with a kid, so obviously you've got something between your ears. Sorry I'm late. Been changing nappies for your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. She's moving out soon. I believe that when I see it. I can see what she means. That Zoe's got her feet under the table from where I'm standing. I'm trying to find her somewhere to go. Well, don't let her wheedle herself out of it. She's on to a good thing sponging off you and she knows it. I can angle it my own way, OK. Right. What are you up to, Serena? I'm going to let the kids play with the toys for a bit, go to the park. Do you have to go to work? I lost two days last week. I'll lose another on Thursday and no one's help. Oh, no. Look, I'll try and finish early. What's wrong? You're not still mad at me because I told Natalie, are you? No. Well, what then? Well, it's all very well telling her we're back together. But you're still working with her every day, aren't you? Yeah, well, there's no way around that, is there? Anyway, it's only business arrangement. Come on, Kevin. After what you two have been through, it'll never be as simple as that. I've got to work. Not with her, you don't. So what are you saying? I find a new job? No. Just get rid of her. She owns half the business. Well, tell her to sell her share, then. I haven't got that power. So you're going to go on rubbing shoulders with her every time she comes in the office? With me sat here wondering if you're going to be tempted again or not? Well, I won't. Look, all right. I'll put it to her if that's what you want. Well, I'd hoped it's what you wanted as well. Well, yeah. Now you mention it, it would make life simpler. And if it brought us closer together, then... Yeah, I'll do it. Tell me to mind my own business, but I just wondered how Zoe was going on with the Katie. Shannon. Shannon, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, she's fine. She gets tired, though. Oh, well, she will do. She eating properly. Yeah. Good. Well, if you need me, you know where I am. Oh, well, thanks, Marty. Nice one. Cheers. Oh, actually, there were some words. What? Well, she can't stay with me forever. And Maud was saying something about hostels for single mothers and the kids. You know, where they get looked after. Well, you mean like battered wives? No, healthy ones. Right. Well, I've not heard of anywhere like that. I know social services will put you up if you're desperate, you know, in bed and breakfast. <laughs> I think Maud's living in the past. 
Sounds like days at work, I'm <laughs> well, No, there are a few places like that, actually. I'm, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, it's all right, Mrs Bishop. You carry on. Well, I say a few. I know of one. It's over in Newton Heath, run by the Catholic Church. Mm, I was going to say, because the council don't do anything like that. Oh, well, how'd you get in? Well, you need a referral from your priest, normally. Oh, so do you have to be Catholic? Well, there are other avenues in special cases. I could give you Father Jackson's number, if you like. Yeah. Well, I know he has something to do with it. I, I know him from my work at the hospital. Mm. I'm not being funny or anything, Emily, but... Well, it is all right, this place, is it? Well, I've never actually seen it, but it is nice by all accounts. Right. It's not scrubbing floors and saying your rosaries all day, is it? Oh, goodness, no. I mean, that is from the days of the workhouse. <laughs> it might not be the lap of luxury, but it couldn't be worse than a bed and breakfast. But I don't know if they have any free places. Oh, well, if you could just give us number. I'd be glad to. See Nick? Not since last night. Still asleep when I came into work. <laughs> and I never do, will I? Sorry? Oh! You've said it! At last! What? Sorry for calling me a liar when I said that the mallets had bought that kid off Zoe for 2,000 quid. It were true all along. Hey, now what's all this? Gary told Martin, as you well know. They gave her that money to help set her up. Oh, don't give me that. Well, whatever they did, it's none of our business. Exactly. It's not for us to judge. She judged me, and she didn't even know the truth. So it's you who should be apologising. If it's anybody's fault, it's yours for putting the story about in the first place. Mine? Yeah, if you hadn't broken Zoe's trust, none of this would have happened. Putting Judy and Gary through it like that. <laughs> putting them through it? What about me and Zoe? Being slandered for stuff we'd never even done. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, so all I did were wrong, but you were right. All of this was a misunderstanding because you opened your mouth in the first place. <sighs> I'm wasting my time with you, Anna. You rich, you, do you know that? Come on, just for a few hours. No, honestly. What are you going to do all afternoon? I'll find something, don't worry. That's what you need a break from. Tell him I've got flu, all right? All right. It's not going to be nuns bossing you about all the time, is it? No, she said it's not like that. And Pri said it was OK on the phone. Let's just go and see it. And if it's no good, we can think again. It's worth a try, so. Uh, I hear you're looking for a mechanic. Why? You offering? Could have my arm twisted if the money's right. Yeah? But I've got my own business. Doing up and selling cars. Oh, so what are you looking for a job for? Oh, no, I'm not giving that up, no. This is what I'm trying to say to you. I can only help you out part-time. Right, so uh, what qualifications you got? They never asked me that on the rigs. When I fixed the helicopter that time, in a Force 10 gale. Hey, right? don't get much call for helicopters round here, though. Oh, smart, eh? Go on, I'll give you the try, then. Yeah? Start now, if you want. You can do the 60,000 mile on the Ford over there. Or you can strip the gearbox down on the Vauxhall, see what's wrong with it. Take your pick. Yeah, well, you think I'd work for a sarcastic git like you, you can think again. I'll stick to being my own boss, sir. <laughs> I trust you had a good Christmas, Mrs Grimes. Oh, very agreeable, thank you, Emily. You didn't miss Maureen too much? Well, she phoned on Christmas Day, which was nice. And she's very happy with Bill, which is all I care about. It was my first Christmas for years without Mr Sugden. He kept himself very busy, you'll be pleased to know. He was in and out of the kitchen all Christmas morning, advising my friend Joan how to cook the turkey. That's not Saint Joan, is it? <laughs> well, he's obviously settled in there. That's the main thing. Well, I won't sorry to the back of this year. <laughs> you won't. It's not been good for either of us, though, has it? I thought you were happy being a single woman again. Yeah, I am. Well, you've got nothing to worry about, then, have you? She's moving out again, apparently. Who? Zoe. And who told you this, that bloke that you don't talk to anymore? Yeah, we talk. I mean, it's just that when you're not over it, you don't speak to each other. Yeah, that's it. You just talk about them, don't you? Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> right, so is that the last that we're going to hear about him, then? From now on, good. 
You're still all right for tomorrow then, are you? Well, what's happening then? The sales. We said we'd go and look for a new chest of drawers for the spare well, room. Well, you might have to do that by yourself, love, because I'll be busy. You put it in your diary. Yeah, I know I did, I know, but so much cropped up. What? Ball note. Well, it can't be now if you've cried off. I mean, first Monday after Christmas, it must be important. Come on, what is it? I should carry on asking you to tell me. Oh, all right, but keep it to yourself. Oh, go on. Well, you know this uh, Millennium Committee I'm steering? Is that all it is? Yeah, well, there's a big vote tomorrow. What's on? What kind of toilet rolls to have in the committee room lavish? <laughs> no, no, it's whether to build the Millennium Concert Bowl. Come oh. on. You heard. Oh, you mean like a Hollywood Bowl? No, no, not as big as that. No, no, it's like um, an open-air auditorium. That's what they call them these days. Oh. Where's it going to go? Red wreck. All over it? No, just at the top, where that bit of a wood is. Oh, that's not very big. Well, it doesn't need to be big for weather. We're not Greenwich, you know. Who's going to use it? Well, anybody that wants to. You know, there'll be um, concerts, uh, amateur dramatics, bands on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, the months are planning and this is all you come up with, a glorified band stand. Well, you did ask and think on. Don't say no to nobody. I don't think anybody will be interested. Oh, you'll be surprised. <laughs> She didn't even apologise. No. Blamed it all on me for not keeping it a secret. What? And then your grand stuck her arm oh. in. So she can talk. Go back a ship into her gob when she gets going. Talk about hypocrites. No, no, they make me sick. Well, look who it isn't. What are you looking at? That cow slapped me the other week. Yeah, for telling the truth. Right. Now see what she's got to say for herself. I'll tell you what I'm looking at. You're talking to me? Well, I don't see any other liar around here. Who are you calling a liar? You said it wasn't true that you gave Zoe 2,000 quid for that baby. Oh, not that again. You had everyone complaining about me telling lies. Oh, it's them Battersby's again, scum of the earth. Why don't they just disappear? Yeah, well, why don't you? Because this piece of scum was telling the truth. You did give Zoe that money for the baby. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. Because Gary told Martin. So now you can tell everybody that it's you who lied and not me. Hey, now, come on. We're not having this on these premises. Go on. Tell them. Tell them I were right all along and apologise to me. I'll never apologise to you. I said apologise oh, to me! on, then! You call me a liar again, and I will. Oh, come on, love. Look, it's all right. Come with me. Come on. Now, look, take no notice of them batters, Biz. Nobody round here believes the word they say. The trouble is, she's right. What? We did give Zoe that money. Well, even if you did, it were because she loved that kid, it weren't it? Well, I can't have kids. Mm. Zoe didn't want Katie, it just made sense. And then it all went wrong and... We should never have done it. It's against the law. Well, you only had best of intentions and that's all that matters. Look, in your heart, you've done no wrong. I should never have hit Leanne. Well, that'll sort itself out. There's no else going on, is there? No. Well, then, your conscience is clear. Look, you've not to be ashamed of in my book. Oh, so Madam? I wasn't the only one to get a tongue lashing, then? Oh, you got off lightly. Do you know, Alfie and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, where is Alf? He's gone home to do some paperwork for this big meeting he's got tomorrow. What mm. big meeting? Mm. This millennium thing has been working on for the last 50 years. <laughs> They've actually made a decision, would you believe it? Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sworn to secrecy, but you're going to find out sooner or later, anyway. <laughs> so, they have decided to build a concert ball on the Red Wreck. What? That's exactly what I said. No, it's a kind of uh, amphitheatre with a stage. Well, where are the kids going to play? Well, it's not going to cover the whole lot. It'll just be where that wood is at the end. And what'll happen to that? They'll chop it down, I suppose. <laughs> Is this definite? Well, they're voting on it tomorrow morning. Watch the town hall chimney for little puffs of white smoke. 
Oh, that'll ruffle a few feathers if it goes through. Oh, oh, it'll never come to anything. You know what they're like. The budget will get smaller and smaller. They'll finish up putting a little plaque on a park bench somewhere. Oh, I don't know about that, Audrey. There's money been set aside for that. We were after some at the hospital. How much? Hundreds of thousands that we're talking about. Have they got sponsorship? Yeah. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, if it took Parliament all that time to decide on that blinking dome, I mean, I bet this what, bowl or whatever it's called never see the light today. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Like your word when you've a minute. No time like the present. It's about the garage. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, but all that's happened, it's not going to be easy as working together, is it? I don't suppose it is, no. So I suggest we dissolve the partnership. Oh, she hasn't wasted any time, has she? This is my idea. So what would it mean? I mean you were uh, selling your share of the business. Oh, it would, would it? What, just like that? Well, that's the simplest way. Well, for you, maybe. Well, just think about it anyway. No, there's nothing to think about. That business is all I've got, Kevin, and I'm hanging on to it. So, so how are we going to manage? Have you thought what the atmosphere is going to be like with us both in there? Yes, but we'll just have to be grown up about it, won't we? Oh, like you're being now, you mean? What does that mean? It means you're just doing this to be awkward. I have invested a lot of time and energy in that business, Kevin. And not to mention money. I bought the computer system. Yes, so therefore it would have pushed the value up. You'll get more than what you paid for it. Will you sell it then if it's going to make such a profit? It's my bread and butter. And mine as well. Uh, Natalie. Them empties will come in very useful when you've a minute. It stops punters coming round the bar and sticking their gobs under the taps. So, that's your final word, is it? You are not going to get rid of me that easily, Kevin. I'm going to be as busy as ever in that garage, whatever you and Sally want. And I'll tell you something else. I'm going to start by giving Chris his job back. What do you think? It was all right, I suppose. Well, I thought it were nice. It were clean and friendly, and it's better than a bed and breakfast. Yeah. No excuses, really, have I? I've got something for you. What? Information. Go on, then. Well, are you going to let us in? It's really big. Well? You know Alf Roberts? No. Well, he's a councillor, and he's in charge of some Millennium Committee. And they're voting tomorrow on what they're going to do. Really? Concert bowl on Red Wreck. That's it. Well, it'll mean knocking down a wood. You what? They're going to get bulldozers in and flatten a load of trees. How do you know? I've just heard his wife going on about it. You sure? Well, there must be something in it or she wouldn't have said it. They're voting tomorrow. Morning. Right, don't tell anyone you've told me. I won't. Go back to work tomorrow, find out all you can, OK? Well, there'll be tunnels on Red Wreck. One step at a time, eh, to her. Got to make sure it's happening first. Oh, you should have seen her face, Zoe. It was brilliant. There was no need for that. She got me and she was in the wrong. I had every need. Yeah, but she's not right with it, is she? Gail said I should have kept me trapped shut about money in the first place. Were you mad with me for that? I don't care anymore. I mean, I'm not going to be here for much longer anyway, am I? Why? Where are you off? Some hostel, if there's space for me. Hostel? It's run by a church. Why? Ashley wants me out. Huh? Well, that's nice of him, isn't it? I don't blame him. I mean, he didn't owe me out. It's been nice of him to do what he has. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather stay here? Of course I would. It's the first place I've been happy for ages. It's not going to be for much longer, though, is it? A concert bowl? I don't know what to think. Well, it's not what they're building, it's what they're knocking down. A wood. Well, I'd hardly call it a wood. A copse, perhaps. It's still trees. They're living creatures. Oh, say, I've always been very fond of those trees. I remember after the great storm, the relief that they were still standing. <laughs> and now they're going to be cut down, just for some publicity stunt. Well, the millennium is a big event. It only happens every thousand years. Our concept of time is completely arbitrary. A man only invented the calendar because he couldn't get his head around infinity. Mm. I hadn't really thought of that. And a concept bowl for who? The people of Weatherfield, have they been canvassed? I haven't heard anything, I must say. Yeah, it'll be a stitch-up between the councillors and the builders. They'll split the profits between them. If the story's true, of course. Oh, yeah, we need proof, obviously. Well, I don't like to be uncharitable, but Audrey Roberts isn't the most reliable source of information. No? She is partial to embroidering gossip. Then there's the question of Toya's motives. How do you mean? 
Well, she does seem to be currying your favour. Even if there is some truth in what Audrey says, Toya may have embellished it to impress you. Mm, you could have a point. We'll wait until tomorrow, see what happens at this meeting. They send their love, and they hope that your flu gets better. What's up now? You told Martin. What? That we'd given money to Zoe for Katie. Did I? Well, you've said something. Yeah, I said I said something. I, Why uh... did you tell him? Well, we, we were talking. Oh, I don't know. Do I need a reason? The whole street knows now. Oh. Because Martin told Gail, surprise, surprise, and Nick overheard me. Do I need to go on? How did you find out? Because Leanne Battersby bore me out in the rovers at dinner time in front of everyone. Oh, Judy. Then you wonder why I want to leave. I'm sorry. But we did something crazy and there was always a risk that somebody would find out. No. Not if you'd kept this buttoned. I can't live like that, Jude. Not telling anybody anything like criminals. Couldn't have a kid, but we managed to give birth to a nightmare, didn't we? All the more reason for us to leave. Hey, how are you girls? You been good for your mum? Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, you see her? She won't do it. Trust her to be awkward. That's what I said, but she denies it. Says she's put too much time and money into it. She don't want to pull out. Well, she'd hardly admit it, would she? Hey, she's even talking about setting Chris back on. <laughs> That's not spite. I don't know what is. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I'll have to think again. She got any ideas? Oh, said if she felt that strongly, she'd sell my share. Well, why don't you? Because it's all I've got. It's all we've got. It's my livelihood, Sal. But, Kevin, you're a good mechanic. You could get another job easily. You're not serious. I know it's a big thing, but our marriage has to come first. If we're going to make a go of it, Kevin, that woman has to be right out of our lives. And if she won't sell, you're going to have to. A couple of minutes ain't gonna make any difference. Sit down, Sal. Look, what's the point in me selling my share of the garage to Natalie? I've told you. Look, I am the garage. Without me, there's not a business to sell. I like being my own boss. If I worked for someone else, I'd have to dance to their tune. Go in early, get home later. I'd be cutting my nose off to spite my face. But it's not about that. I know what it's about. It's about trust. Look. I want to prove to her how, how much she trusts me. I reckon if we give her time, she'll get bored. She's had time. We might have even raised the money to buy it ourselves then. How? Alone. Remortgage the house, find another investor. I don't know. I might win the lottery. Well, if we do, then I'll give her the garage. But I don't want her to waltz off with what's rightfully ours. Look, are you with me? So, what raves have you got lined up for New Year's Eve? I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, of course, I was forgetting. You'll be stopping in, babysitting. That's it. No, one of the nights having a party. Angling for an invite, are you? My dance card is quite full, as it happens. Police band, bingo, sing song round the piano. Entertainment for the brain dead. Well, play your cards right. You might make Percy on the mistletoe. That's what's worrying me. I might just have to go to the Rovers. Hiya. Hello. All right. What can we do for you? Um, I just thought I'd come and tell you the firm from Hostel. There's a room come up from tomorrow. Oh. They don't hang around, do they? I know. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I thought I'd let you know you'll have to yourself again. Right, cheers. Right, I'd best go start packing. Should take all the ten minutes. See ya. Yeah, see ya. I'll have to leave it to you to ring me because well, you're not gonna like it. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth then. Hear what? About the council's decision to bulldoze the red wreck. Don't talk ridiculous. And build a mini version of the Sydney Opera House upon it. Is that true? <laughs> Where have you heard this? In the pub last night, Martin told me. He said a little bird told him. 
Look, my lady's under the dryer there now. I must get back. Audrey. So it is true, then. What's that you're reading? Weatherfield Gazette. Well, today's paper's here. I, I know, I'm just checking. There's no mention of a bandstand here. Concert bowl. Well, there wouldn't be if it's as top secret as Toya claims. Then again, she could have made the whole thing up. Well, it's a pretty complicated plan for a 15-year-old. She's not the brightest star in heaven. Mm hmm. <laughs> what am I saying? Complicated. The Weatherfield Concert Bowl. They must have been on acid when they thought that up. So what if I use your phone? You promised me faithfully you wouldn't say anything to anybody. I didn't broadcast it. It just slipped out. We spend months, years, talking about projects. We get the best PR in the district on the case, and what do you do? You blab it out after umpteen gin and tonic to the nearest person who's passing. Alfie, Alfie. Chill out, love. Chill out? Do you want this blue shirt put in the wash, John? Uh, just a sec. I'm, I'm on a call here, oh, dear. Sorry, I didn't hear the phone go. No, no, I'm not happy about it. Or would you be? Oh, well, yeah, if you're holding a gun to my head. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I appreciate that, Steve, but, I mean, it, it's New Year, for heaven's sake. Who is that? Is it Steve Cabal? <gasps> Don't tell me he's got your work in New Year's Eve. Let me speak to him. But, dear trees. This is ridiculous. John! What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm giving him a piece of my mind. You're trying to get me the sack, more like. Was he telling you you had to work on New Year's Eve? Why didn't you tell him he could stick it? we got plans, remember? Yes, I know we have. Bill Murphy's called in sick. What am I supposed to do? You could try standing up for yourself for once. You could try reminding him that you worked all over Christmas, Christmas Day, for God's sake, and you deserve a bit of a rest. And if you can't bring yourself to tell him, then I'm more than happy to do it for you. I'll handle things my way, thanks. But you won't, though. You'll just roll over and play dead. Oh, rubbish. Says a lot for our future, doesn't it, John? If you haven't got the guts to spend the first night of the year with me. And that says a lot for your faith in me, three weeks before our wedding. You surprised me. <laughs> yeah, well, I only wish you'd surprise me sometimes. It's money. Taxpayers' money. Why won't people consult at grassroots level? Toya, will you check them sausages for table four? Why? Well, because the poor chap's been waiting. Oh, because they counted on people's apathy, and they probably counted right. I mean, ordinary folk aren't interested in global issues. We'll see. Oh, let's ask the man himself. Mr. Millennium. Mr. Roberts. Hang on a minute, let's look at the menu first. Mr. Roberts, we've been hearing rumours. Oh, yeah. About the plans for the Millennium? They say you're going to knock down trees to build a bandstand. Are you prepared to comment? Well, since you're asking. The Weatherfield Concert Bowl will bring this town into the 21st century. Oh, by destroying one of its few areas of natural beauty? Not destroying, enhancing. Built by the people, for the people. It'll attract all the top artists in the country. Like who? Like the Spice Girls. You're going to bring the Spice Girls to Weatherfield for the millennium? Well, no, not exactly, no, no. No, but the world is our oyster. You can quote me on that. Good, because the Gazette are keen on an article, possibly a campaign. Council pulls red card on red wreck, locals cry foul. How do you feel about that, councillor? He seems to think everything's going to change. Well, it will, won't it? He seems to think he can just click his fingers and I'll give up my stake in the garage just like that. Well, it would make life a lot easier. Not for me, it wouldn't. Anyway, I put him straight. I told him to get his finger out and get things back to normal. Not on my account, I hope. Chris, I thought you liked your job. Look, I don't want to spend my days working with a guy who hates my guts, I told you. Yeah, but... Yeah, but nothing. I don't blame Kevin for sacking me. I'd have probably done the same. He acted like a hypocrite. Unlike you. Look, all this fuss about me losing my job. You're not doing it on principle. You just want someone on your side. I felt... Humiliated. I mean, I was disappointed, of course, but what really got me was the thought of telling people I'm taking second place to his job again. Tell him who? You don't have to put an advert in paper. No, but you know what I mean. What do you reckon? Am I making a mountain out of a molehill? I think you're being very tolerant, Deirdre. But? Go on, what are you going to say? Don't take this the wrong way. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Have you ever thought that he might not be working? Hey? Do 
you think he might have another woman on the go? <coughs> What's so funny? I thought he might belt me one for saying that. I'd know. Oh, well, that's what they all say. I've been there, remember? I know what it's like to have somebody lie to you. I know what it's like to lie, come to think of it. I'm not saying I believe it. It crossed my mind, that's all. Not John. He's too straight. He might be a workaholic and a spineless one at that, but he's no philanderer. I don't think he's got the imagination. <laughs> Yeah, I've just been to that journo from the Gazette. He's interested in your story. Oh, what? <laughs> My life story? The Red Wreck. <laughs> you said... I said, yeah. But they wouldn't have touched us with a barge pole without confirmation. Now we've had it, it's all systems go. So all that stuff about the headline? Little white lie time. Sorry. So, if he's interested in interviewing locals, can I count you in? <laughs> Too right. <laughs> Do you think we'll want photographs? Afternoon. What do you want? Oh, nice welcome. Thought any more about selling? No. All right then, how do you fancy buying my share? Not interested. Not possible. Not a good business move on my behalf. So, you do admit then you couldn't run a place without me? Uh, mechanics are ten a penny, Kevin. But I prefer the setup the way it is. I just want you to know that you can't walk all over me. You and Tony only got this garage because I bailed you out. So what are you after? I'm after a return to the status quo. It's as simple as that. This place worked well before and it can work well again. I can handle it. Or is it Sally that can't? No, Sally's cool. There's no problem on that score. Good. Then it's business as usual. I'll take the books. I want to double check the figures before the VAT returns go in. Can't stay away, can you? Yeah, I thought I'd better stock up. I'm gonna have enough to do tomorrow without wanting round for shops and all. No, I suppose. Can you reach us down a packet of them nappies? So you old pack then? Near enough. It took a bit longer than ten minutes, if I'm honest. This one doesn't know the meaning of travelling like. I'll get this. No. I mean it. I'm going away present like. No, Ashley, you've done enough. What time will you be back tonight? About six ish, well. Just wondered. Right, see you later. See ya. She's finally going. Well done, lad. This calls for a celebratory cup of tea. Will you join us, Sal? No, I've got to get back for the girls. Oh, never mind. One fifty. Right. Tap. See ya. Uh, could you open a packet of biscuits while you're out there? We'll push the boat out. Don't tell me you're at it and all. Hey? Forgetting what you come in for. You must be putting some of it in water. You could be right, yeah. Afternoon, Mrs Grimes. Um, I wondered, has that soya milk come in yet? We ordered it specially. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. Packet of oh. indigestion tablets, please, love. There's a cue, Mr Roberts. Hey, no guessing who that's for. You want to keep that hippy dippy nephew who goes under control? I beg your pardon? He's played havoc with my digestion today. Poking his nose in, threatening me with the, the press. He don't even live around here. He's living with me. And if the council's serious about this concert bowl idea, I think we should all be asking questions. Here, here. Listen, we'll answer questions to the locals. <laughs> Ask this young lad here if he objects to us bringing jobs and entertainment into the area. Keep me out of this, sir. Thank you, Maud. And where will your renter crowd be at the Millennium? Not in Weatherfield, you can bet. They'll have flitted to some other protest at the taxpayers' expense. So, why didn't you ask the taxpayers what they wanted? 69p, please. They may stop the pain in your gut, but they won't stop you from being a pain. Stay up. You and your cronies on the council. <coughs> oh, hi. I was expecting Julie with the girls. How are you? How was Christmas and everything? Fine. Right. You know Kevin's back. 
I heard. We thought it would be best all round, really. I was just wondering, are we still mates? <sighs> Chris, of course we are. Good. I was going to say any chance of a coffee, but uh, some other time, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hi. There's no tea on. I wasn't expecting you yet. I left early. I'm honoured. What you said this morning has been playing on my mind. I said a lot of things this morning. About me being gutless. Did you mean it? Yes. I did, actually. Well, could we talk about this? Oh, we did talk about it this morning. You just went away and ignored everything I said. No, actually. Or did you tell Steve Capel that you wouldn't be working on New Year's Eve? No. Well, there you go then. It's not as simple as that. I'm working for you as much as for myself. I'm trying to guarantee us a good future together. What makes you think we've got a future? What do you mean? Well, if you haven't even got time to enjoy the present. I'll make it up to you. When? Next New Year's Eve? Oh, John. I'm not trying to stick the knife in. It's my pride that's hurt more than anything. Something Liz said this afternoon. What? Well, she said maybe you weren't working all the hours God sends. Maybe you were seeing another woman. What? Well, if she thinks that and she's our friend, what's everyone else thinking? I'm going to go and start the tea. Anybody home? In here. It's a good job you weren't much longer. It would have been ruined. What? Sit down. Other side. What's this? Open it. Oh. When did you do this? This afternoon. She screamed red off when I stuck her hand in paint. Oh, God, the stay. Do you need a hand? Uh, no, sit down. You like it well done, don't you? You know me. Put an elephant on my plate and I'll eat it. Oh, jeepers. It is an elephant. Don't be daft. into Uncle Fred's this afternoon. He told me what to do. Wrote it all down for me, times and everything. I've never been much good at cooking. This is brilliant. Well, it's just to say thanks for everything in that. Well, here's to peace and quiet. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's not funny, you know, John. No, 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 it's not. Well, then take that smirk off your face. You don't really believe it, do you? What, that you've got another woman? No. There is another reason why I work so hard, you know. It's, um, it's because I'm trying to prove myself to you. Prove what? After that business, not telling you I was a pilot, I always got the feeling that you were, you were disappointed. Wished I'd made more of myself. No! Look, I, I don't care what job you do. I want to be a success. I want to get to senior management level. But why, if it's going to come between us? Well, the pressure eases off a bit, then. You can work from home more and be your own boss. I see. I got the sniff of a vacancy in the spring, working alongside Steve Capel. I didn't say anything because I didn't want you to get your hopes up. Look, I've told you. As long as it makes you happy, I don't care what you do. It would be great for us. I could have an office at home. You could slow down at Sunliners, maybe even go part-time if you wanted. We'd have as much time together as we liked. See, that's, that's why I have to keep well in at work. Am I ever going to win an argument with you? <laughs> oh, and whatever the lady wants, a double. It's a 
middle of the jar, aren't you? Would you rather see my Scrooge impression? Cancel that order, landlady. Uh, no, no, it's very pleasant. All right, go on then, and whatever you're having. Hey, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just wondering how you do it. You've been burnt out, nearly bankrupt. And look at you. If you felt like you know, you'd still come up smelling the roses. Yes, I would. What's your secret? Have you heard of the Michael Vernon Baldwin two-point plan? One, a bit of luck. Two, plain old hard graft. That's where I'm going wrong. Too much number two, not enough number one. <laughs> we should be thinking long term. There is flora and fauna to be considered. The hoary groundwort. You've just made that up. Oh, you're showing your ignorance, Curly. You've heard of it, then. Well, who hasn't? Hey, Vera? Oh, uh... So you never made it into the Boy Scouts, then, Curly? A ten out of ten for intuition. Whereas you can tell just by looking at Roy that here is a man who knows 50 different ways to tie a knot. Yeah, I bet you can light a fire with twigs, can't you? Has it happened? Do you know, it... I've always wanted to do that. Well, my memories of the Scout troop are not uniformly happy. Hey, don't tell me I had trouble with your walk, <laughs> So what's wrong with this place? Mm, work for Vera? Mm. No time. I think I've had enough of pubs full stop. Ah, you'd rather be this side of the bar, eh? Can't say I blame you. So then, why don't you work for me? For what? At the factory. I've got a vacancy, you can have it. I'm not a machinist. <laughs> so what? I've no experience, I'd be too slow. You can thread a needle, can't you? Yeah. And you got used to your feet, no uh, arthritis or rheumatism or anything? No. And you can hold your own with a group of gossiping harpies, can't you? Oh, I've had enough practice. Ah, well, that's it then. Start Monday. Like, why are you doing this? Why me? I don't know. Uh, maybe... Hey, maybe that's where you're going wrong. Too many questions. When a bit of luck comes my way, I grab it and run. I don't hang around and say, well, why me? Rather, neither will I. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here, tonic water. Found it in back at cupboard. You didn't have to eat it all, you know. I've always been the same. Me mum always used to say my eyes are too big for me belly. Any better? A little bit. Cos I'll have to throw you over my shoulder and rub your back if you're not. I've never lived on my own before. Me neither. Be weird, won't it? You'll still visit, though, won't you? Bring Shannon. Well, it's probably best if you come to us, you know, Judy and that. Don't expect to date, though. I won't. Ashley, thanks for putting us up. You didn't deserve all the stick you got. More stick. And I hope you sort things out with Maxine and that. Mm. I hope so. That's my fault and all. No, it's not. It's hers. You don't have to go. All day I've been thinking about you. No visitors. Doors locked at nine o'clock. You and Shannon sharing a bathroom with strangers. It's not right. I've been dreading going. Well, let someone else have the room. Give it to some girl that really needs it. You can stop here till you find a place of your own. What about your Uncle Fred? I pay rent. It's up to me. They've got Lou and Maxime especially. If we get back, it's got to be on my terms. The jealousy's got to stop. So what do you say? If you saw. Right, then. She had a bad dream. She's going to be forgetting now. She didn't wake Rosie up, though. Hey, mind you, take all the cane to wake her, won't it? You okay? No, not really. Why? What is it? I saw you this afternoon with her. It all looks so normal. It's just business. She just turned up, nothing happened. I was kidding myself, Kevin. I can't handle the two of you working together. Nothing happened. I've told you we've talked shop, talked VAT, end of story. It eats me up inside. I've been on pins all afternoon waiting for you to ring me, saying you're going to be working late again or something. It's over. I've told you. Yeah, well, I know that in here. But in here, I can't believe it. I trust you. Honestly, I do. But I don't trust her. 
Look, I've been doing some calculations, and even if we sold you a share at a loss, we'd still have a lump sum to fall back on. Buttons. That's all it'd be. Well, I could go full-time at the factory. Maybe I'll ask Mike if I can have some overtime. We'd scrape by, even if it did take you a few months to get another job. All right. So who am I supposed to sell it to? She hasn't got the money. I've asked her. They're not exactly queuing round the block. Well, then dump it, whatever. Just get rid of it. Because I would rather starve in a gutter than go through all that strain again. Sally, you're not thinking well, straight. Well, maybe not, but I can't help the way I feel, can I? And I hate to say this, Kevin, but you owe me. Half get back to the shop. I wish you'd have some dinner. I will soon as Shannon's finished. You're getting quite good at all this baby stuff. Yeah, well, she knows me now. I think she likes me. I hope she does, anyway. Of course she does. You're a mum. Yeah, I'm your mum. Oh, Ashley, will you bring some of them rusks home from shop tonight? I think she's teething. It's weird when you think about it, teeth coming into your mouth. But it fails often. I expect you're right. Though nobody can ever remember that far back. Maybe that's why. Thanks for letting us stop, Ashley. I mean, that place were all right, but... You know, what I really want is somewhere of my own. Or me and someone else. You'll find somewhere. And until you do, you're welcome to stop here. It's really nice here. Nah, it's nothing. Look, I'll have to go. Mm. I'll see you later. See you. Bet you think he's your dad, don't you? Well, he's not. Bet you wish he was, though, eh? Hi, Maxine. Oh, come on, at least you can speak to me. What about? What about me and you? You've got it all wrong about me and Zoe, you know. Oh, that's interesting. There's never been any. You know. I swear to you, Maxine, I need you to believe me because I don't want us to finish. Right. Well, answer me this, then. Where is she at this moment in time? Who? You know damn well who. She's in house. She's got baby in back, you see. Anyway, she's only staying till she can find a decent place, so... Goodbye, Ashley. Maxine! What? There's nothing else to say, is there? Oh, yeah, sorry, there is just one thing. A nappy new year. And I hope it's a well-covered one. I won't have a cup of tea, thank you, Mrs Bishop. I don't want to be away from the cafe longer than I can help. Besides, I'm drinking it in there all day till it's coming out my ears. No, I just wanted to confirm action meeting, re this millennium concert ball nonsense, tomorrow evening, Rover's return. You've cleared that with Alec Gilroy, I hope, because he can be very unhelpful. Oh, yes, Mr Gilroy said, the more the merrier, <laughs> and also the thirstier. So, if you just put the word around, I mean, obviously, the bigger the attendance, the more impressed will be our council opponents. Yes, of course. Did I show you the letter I've written to the local paper, by the way? It's it's rather eloquent, though I say so myself. And I thought if we all signed... You two have got a nasty shot coming, you know that? You and all the other protest virgins. Geoffrey, language, please. No, you can't win by writing letters to the local rag. You can call meetings, you can fill out petitions till the world chokes, and little good it'll do. I know these council Hitlers. Oh, come now, Geoffrey, you're just being defeatist. And, and I, for one, want to be able to say that at least we tried. The try is not good enough. We want to win. And that means direct action. It means us lying down in front of the tanks, yes, and some of us being crushed if necessary. I'm going up the Red Wreck now, way up the terrain, work out where we're going to build the barricades. I mean, saying he's a vegetarian, it doesn't seem to have made him anemic at all. We're going out tonight, celebrating your birthday. Mm -hmm. Can I have your present then? Why don't we stop in instead? Well, where? Our house is no good, our tower will be there. No, I was thinking more like our house. Because if I have to babysit the kids, my mum and Martin will probably go to the Rovers to see the new year in. And the kids will be asleep by nine. Oh. Your mum's watching me now, isn't she? I can feel it on the back of my neck. Yeah, she is. I knew it. If looks could kill, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> I'm back, Gail. Sorry to leave you in the lurch like that. I can't think the coach, Roy. Oh. Um, tomorrow's protest meeting is definitely on in the Rovers. All welcome. Oh, nice one. I'm fed up of getting chucked out that pub. Is Spider going? Spider? 
Who's Spider? Oh, it's what Emily Bishop's nephew calls himself. I don't know why. Oh, and I don't want to. He seems to think that reasoned argument and peaceful protests are a waste of time. Even as we speak, he's up that red wreck, working out where to dig tunnels and erect fortifications. Oh, he promised he'd take me with him. What kind of finish work early and head off to We'll Argo? discuss that when you've tackled that washing up. Hey. Hiya. How's the girls? They're over at Wheaters. Hey, she says she'll babysit tonight if we fancy going out. Fair enough. Listen, I've been beating my brains out all day today trying to think what to do about Natalie. Look, if she won't budge on selling me her share of business, then maybe we should see a solicitor. Let her see a flaming solicitor. I'm not with you. She wants to be awkward, right? We'll be awkward and all. And if we're awkward enough, she'll be glad to sell us her share just to get her money back. So what have you got in mind? Well, all the takings from the garage come to you, don't they? And she gets a share of the profits, if there are any. Just tell her there aren't any and she's got nothing to come. She'll soon get fed up of having all her money tied up and nothing to show for it. Is that legal? I don't know and I don't care. That'd be her problem. Take some thinking about, but... Yeah, you're right. There is only enough money coming in to pay me a wage with me being single-handed. Kevin, offer Chris's job back. I told you before, you were well out of order sacking him when you did. There's not a man in this world who wouldn't have done the same as me. Maybe, but still, it doesn't make it right, does it? He might not even want his job back. He probably won't. Well, that would be up to him. But at least you could start looking for a replacement with a clear conscience. Now then, my happy little band of workers, don't look so miserable. I've come to take you on the annual staff outing. What are you rumbling on about now? We're going to lock the shop and we're going to Rovers. It's New Year's Eve, we've had a long and trying year, and we're all in need of consolation. Well, that's the most sense you've talked for many a long day. Thank you. Ashley, put your face straight, for pity's sake, I'm paying. He's been miserable all day. No, I have not. You haven't said two words. There's no law that says you can't be quiet if you want, is that? He's pining for his lady friend. I say he's pining for his little waif and stray. Oh, he actually, lad, is that what it is? And you can always go and visit her, you know. At this home she's gone to. Don't put ideas like that into his head. He doesn't want to go visiting her. He's well read. I'm not well read. For a start, she's not gone. Eh? Hey, you told me she were leaving. That home wasn't it... right. So we're not baby this day with me for the present. She's battling on to you, lad. She's got you totally besotted. No, she hasn't. And I'm only doing what I think's right. I can't just throw her on the streets. I don't care what anybody says. Ash Ashley, come for a drink and we'll discuss it. No, thank you. I'm going home. Oh, and I'd just like to say Happy New Year and all the best for 1998 now. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Curly, all the best. All right. mm. Are you coming in tonight to see the New Year in? No, 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 you can't, can you? I mean, no one can get a babysitter on New Year's Eve now, can they? Well, for once we can. Ah, Nick is volunteered. You are <coughs> a teenager willing to give up his New Year's Eve? Yeah, it gets better than that. Today's only his 17th birthday and all. He's sick in his treatment. He's got a disease. Yeah, well, between you and me, I suspect he's got his girlfriend turning up. You know, that Leanne. Oh, dear. Probably on a promise, I know. Yeah, that'll be it. I wish I was that cunning when I was 17. Uh, yeah, so not a word to Gail, cos she'd sooner stop at home from now till doomsday than let him get close to that Leanne Battersby. Right. So... Yeah, yeah, well, all right, all right. Have you noticed, though, men spend a hell of a lot of time... Not, not telling, telling women, women things, things right? yes, I have noticed. Good luck. I'll be glad to see the back of 1997. My word, I will. Innkeeper, what are you having? I'd like a glass of port, please. Large scotch and threat, if you please, landlord, and a drop of your finest Lord Gort. Right, you are. No, it's been a punishing year, is this? And you know why. Our Maureen. Got it in one. Have a drink yourself, landlord. Yeah, well, that's very kind of you, friend. And now our Ashley's making a fool of himself. I suppose you're right. I suppose she is using him. Which is what women do all the time. I've had my fair share of it, I said I've had my fair share. What, women? No, not women as such, no. They're machinations. That's what I've had my share of. Hey, Spider. Have you come to see me? There's something I want to show you. Oh, great. Um, 
Someone said you were at the Red Wreck today. I could have come with you. You'll get your chance. We'll be fighting battles out there soon enough. For now, take a look at this. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, I bet you've never seen one of them before. Hey, up. What's going on? What's this? A uh, spider's just showing me a photograph. Yeah, well, it better not be anything rude. It's a hairy groundwork. You what? A hairy groundwork. It's an endangered plant. And it's growing underneath those trees up at the wreck. The ones the council want to chop down. Well, we're going to save them and this. You see, Dad, it's rare. It has to be protected. Oh, yeah. Well, if you ask me, it's not the only thing round here that needs protecting. Evening, Natalie. Hi, I'm just going to hand my coat up. Right. Yeah, I think we're going to be busy tonight. Oh, New Year's Eve? Well, of course we are. That's why you got the extension. Mm. So, you're going to be working for Mike Baldwin, then? Oh, good luck. Hey, does that mean I need him? No. A lot of people round here have got no time for him, but he's always been OK with me. More than OK. Well, nobody else is offering me paid employment. At least you got a job to look forward to in 1998. I wish I'd got what you've got to look forward to. I um, know. I'm very lucky. <laughs> oh, what's all this for? Well, it's New Year. And, um, because I'm a very lucky man, with a very wonderful wife. Uh, well, that's true. And uh, very wonderful children. Mm -hmm. It's also to say thank you for being so patient over Christmas. Uh, not that patient. When you told me you had to go out on Christmas Day. I know, I know. That swine of a boss of yours really takes advantage. And I've told him. There's not many wives would stand for it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This company he works for, though, they don't have to take liberties. I mean, calling him out over Christmas. They must pay him well, though, because he's very free with his money, isn't he? Yeah, there? there is that. But I'd rather have less money and more of his company, especially after we're married. I, I mean, look at tonight, for instance. You really want to be with people, don't you? So, where is he right now? At the airport? Yeah. You know what you could do? Get a bottle of champagne, jump in a taxi and get out there. Hey, that's a brilliant idea. I might do that. <laughs> Should I? He'll love it when he sees you walking in. Oh, you're right, I will. <laughs> Alec. Hello. Could you sell me a bottle of champagne to take out, please? Yes, of course. And would you mind ringing me a taxi? Tell him I'm going to the airport. <sighs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Liz. It's going to be a brilliant surprise. <laughs> Well, this is very handsome of you, Nick. Hey, minding the kids while me and your mum go out. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind stopping in. Yeah, still, can't see you being lonely. <laughs> hey, don't worry, won't be telling your mother. <laughs> Gail, are we going now? Yes, what? Yes, I'm coming. Just saying goodnight to the kids. Oh. oh, I feel awful leaving you in. Hmm. Especially on your birthday. Oh, it's no big deal. I'll have my fair share of nights out when I'm in Scotland. Yeah, OK, then. See you later. OK. Come on, you can take me out. I'd love to, dear. <laughs> OK, see you later. Listen, we'll be back about half twelve. We'll see the new year in and the Rovers. All right, yeah. Um, enjoy yourselves. Well done. Okay. See ya. You know, next year, when he's 18, you ought to throw him a big party. Why? Someone throw you a big party when you were 18. Yeah. Shivering. Yeah, I know. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Come in. I'll make you warm. Ooh. Oh, who's this from? Who are the Fergusons? Oh, just some friends I met when I was in Canada. They live in Scotland now. Uh, actually, I've been meaning to tell you. Um, they've invited me, and I'm going to stay for a few days. Oh, when? Tomorrow, I was thinking. Oh, I won't see you. Oh, well, you just have to make the most of while he got me then, won't you? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Uh, we're just closing, but if you know what you want, then I can... No, I'm not shopping. I've come to see John. <laughs> he's not gone, has he? No, he's on holiday at the moment. 
No, I mean John Lindsay, the sales director. He's standing in for the manager. It's been on holiday since before Christmas. <laughs> no, that can't be right. I remember him saying how nice it would be to get some time with his wife and children. I don't think they were going away, though. Stopping at home, I think he said. Oh, right. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll serve Kevin. Thanks. Just think of it as a Christmas present a bit late, and your New Year's resolution is they're just customers, OK? OK. Sit down, go with Yes, Kevin. Right, a large juice of the Scottish grape for me, Angie's, and... Oh, Liz, what are you drinking? I should be getting you one, by way of a thank you. Ah, oh, no, 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 that's all right, no. Give her whatever she wants. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I told Liz she could start at our place on Monday. As what? A machinist, what do you think? Joint managing director? I've got two of those and that's one too many. <laughs> a machinist? You've done it before, have you, Liz? Not for a living, no. I have used a sewing machine, though. Terrific. You took her on without consulting me. Right. And if it doesn't work, I'll fire her without consulting you. I've got a great New Year's resolution for you, Mike. I must consult my partner before taking on extra staff or otherwise spending our money. Great, I've got one for you. Although I sometimes wear a trouser suit from time to time, I do not wear the trousers. Excuse me. I couldn't help hearing. You're starting at our place. But you're not a trained machinist. Not the way you mean, no. Oh, that is brilliant, Mr Baldwin. It's not right. There's loads of skilled machinists out there crying out for a job. Learners hold us back, don't they? Will not make us bonus. And Liz is crying out for a job as well, and do you know why? I heard you and your mates went round to a pub, made an exhibition of yourself, and she got the boot. So I wouldn't mention it if I was you. But I tell you what, I bet she'd be more use than your Leanne ever was. It's not what I'd call beautiful. You'd not wear that in your butt, no, would you? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. No, I can't have that. It's prattle. Any beholder who found that beautiful would need his eyes tested. Beauty or otherwise is beside the point. It, it is an endangered species. You're not siding with them cranks, are you? I had you down as a responsible businessman. I am. And we should be planting more trees and flowers instead of concreting over the few we got. I'm a responsible person, Mr Elliot, and I'm certainly on Geoffrey's side. It's Spider, aren't you, Emily? Spider. The only one who calls me Geoffrey. You can't call him responsible. He'll be a stranger to the electoral register all his life, he will. It's a good job your mum didn't walk in just now. She really hates me, don't she? I won't last. She'll be all right. I know why. It's because she thinks I'll take you away from her. <laughs> you never know. I might just do that one of these days. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish you were going to Scotland. I'm really going to miss you, you know. So why don't you come with me, then? Do you mean it? Can I really? Yeah, why not? Ferguson's a sound, they won't mind. Oh, but your mum will. So we won't tell her, eh? Oh, Nick, it'll be brilliant. Just you and me together. Yeah, it'll be great. Not to say goodnight or I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I've never even been to Scotland. I don't even know anything about it. Oh, yeah, we do. I know that you can get married when you're 16. Oh, is that right? Guess there's something else we better not tell my mum, eh? <laughs> You must think I'm a total scatterbrain, but I, I was so sure I'd find John here. Only I, I've got this present for them, you see. So I, I was thinking I could just pop out to the house with it. Only they've moved just lately, haven't they? No, still the same house I've always lived in. No, still Oakside Road, number 15. <sighs> got that wrong as well, didn't I? <laughs> Good night. I've been getting a lot wrong lately. Fast asleep. You're gonna dab under all this baby stuff. Didn't feel like a man before. Well, I mean, she was mine and I knew I wanted it. I couldn't stop thinking about her, but I didn't feel like a man. But I do now. Actually, if you wanna go out, you can, you know, if you wanna go for a drink. I'm not bothered. 
Yeah, but all your friends will be there, won't they see a new year in? I won't mind you going. It's not fair stopping you having a good time. I'll turn up here with you. Do you mean it? Yes, I do. What? Just wait here for me, please. Hey, Chris is in. Yeah, I've noticed. Good. I'll go and have a word with him. I want to ask you something. Look, I came in here for a drink. I don't want to run right. No, neither do I. You got yourself a job sorted out yet? No, not yet. Right. Do you fancy doing a couple of days next week? What do you think about that? It's OK if I can, it's fine. Oh, that suits me, then. I need the money. See you Monday. Yeah. What you don't realise, young man, is that I am just as much an animal lover as you are. You? You're a butcher. A master butcher, and as such, I'm all in favour of cattle and sheep and such like, roaming around in green pastures as nature intended, because the finest meat comes from summit that has looped over a gate and felt the sun on its back. Well, to me, that makes you a barbarian. I'm proud to say that I'm a vegan. In that case, the sooner you get back to your spaceship and return to the planet Vega, the better I'll be pleased. I'm not having that spider fella hanging around after I've saw him. She hangs around after him. Look, I know his sort. She's young and daft and he'll take advantage. I know why you're thinking like that. Because that's what you did with me. <laughs> Shut up, you lot! It's nearly midnight! Are you ready? You don't know who I am, do you? Uh, well... Well, I do seem to know you from somewhere. Who is it, darling? Who on earth is it calling at this time of night? Hello, John. Having a nice holiday? I'll tell you who I am. I'm the woman who doesn't exist. And you know something? You're the other woman who doesn't exist. What's she on about? I've got no idea. As much in the dark as you are. <laughs> 